it's a podcast about podcasts, Talking podcasting about, about the podcast that we did. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's true. That's a Joe Budden podcast. That's true. It's a mind. You got to be careful. The whole shell company thing came from Joe Budden just talking it did, shit. It did. Because, you know, those be the most. At the end of the day, we're and we're not going to do anything about it. What's your favorite tampons? I'm not going to lie. I think he the one that gave us a copyright strike. I was kind of taking it out on Roy. I think mm. it was him, though. Well, yeah, now we have to move on because that was a disgusting way of getting through that, nigga. <laughs> have fun. Andrew Schultz looks miserable at Brilliant, brilliant idiots. idiots sometimes. Period. But I'm laughing at shit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. The I dog did. The I dog, saw, dog I said it. I, don't ask nobody about me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You reach out directly. That's mm -hmm. just how. That's just how I feel, bro. <laughs> this yeah, is period. Personal. Like, if somebody somewhere sitting around, it's like, yo, this shit is crazy that they cared as much about podcasts. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, but the people here, they definitely get. They a know fuck. what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Welcome, world. Bomb, bomb, beating people. This is another installment of the Homeroom University podcast. This is the podcast about your favorite podcast. Uh -huh. I am your classmate, Tone Groove. Jay Nobles. AJ the Menace. White man behind the boards. Yeah. Yes, yes. We're back in the building. Yeah. We're feeling white hot right now. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean, it happened. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Welcome to all the new people. Is there Hello. anything else to be said now? How about it's a little redundant, but for real though, shout out to Joe Bunning. I know you're watching, nigga. Shout yeah, out, shout yeah. out to you. Yeah, um, room paid really for. We talked a lot about it on the five dollar Patreon, which you should check out. Yeah, uh, in the description. But um, get in on your graduate level. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah. your bachelor's degree. Yeah. Please study. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. spit. Yeah, please <laughs> study. But you but, know, um, if, if you're a new listener, shout out to you coming from Joe Budden, fucking with yeah. some young up and coming niggas, because you have no idea who we are. Yeah. But you're about to find out, nigga. Class is a session. Yeah, and, um, that's a fact. Overall, yeah, man. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, yeah, uh, office hours, hashtag office hours. If you're new, yeah, you probably right. don't know. Hashtag office hours. You put that down in the comments you see. And like any question or concern. We gonna answer it the following episode. Mm, it's very, it's really mm -hmm. that simple. But treat it like extra time with your professor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is yeah. when they're not doing the lecture. They're sitting down, taking notes in the office, like study hall, asking questions about your homework. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the office hours normally come to the end of the show, but make sure y'all follow us on Instagram, yeah, uh, TikTok, all that stuff. Menace Material, ENT. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the Reddit Homeroom University. Um, mm -hmm. we're everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Homeroom University. So and shout out all the new lovely ladies that's tuning in now. Yeah, yeah there's <laughs> a lot of y'all. There's a lot of y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The loving the baritones. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, let's just get it. Let's just get it started. Should we go straight over to uh, B? Do it. Should we go right over to, to Twitter Space? You know where your heart lies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, last night I got a text message from Danny. He's like, "Yo, I was on Twitter Space, and I'm just gonna let you know." Imani called you out, and you know he has some choice words. I can't remember exactly how Danny yeah. said it, but Danny was half in character, half not in character. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you might want to check it out. Yeah, because yeah. like Funk Master, <laughs> Funk Master Danny just woke up in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still yawning and shit. Yeah, so it's like, you know, normally when you talk to Danny off camera, it's regular shit. Like, mm. as you can hear on our Patreons, he's been on like two mm. and on old shows and Shout stuff. Shout out to Danny. He dropped his face. Did y'all see that too? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. He, he was like, 2024, we showing face. Oh yeah. Jesus! Yeah, Did Lord, you, see you, if you can put wait, that no, up. no, 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 no. Y'all remember that picture? Yes. Yeah. With a beard. Are you serious? A little bit older. Yep. Uh, Same nigga. Okay. <laughs> but shout out to Danny though because shout it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes he's, sense. He chubby, but it's, it's like. I wonder if he's going. I wonder if he's going to do his his videos. He's got a formula though. I wouldn't stray out. Yeah, I wouldn't stray out. Yeah, it keep it. I would just stream. if he want to do something different, maybe a live stream, some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Nigga might lose views if they find out he Puerto Rican. But yeah, yeah, Danny was uh. Yeah, he was on a Twitter, he was on space a Twitter with Amani. Spaces, Amani and um, Ian. Shout out to Ian. Uh, shout out to uh, Ian uh, for shout sure. Shout out to Ian. That's a good brother Imani, right there. Imani, guys. Imani. Imani. Imani is not Imani. Imani. Oh, shit. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Imani is the woman version of that name. I did realize that after I watched the old clip back. Yeah, yeah, And we were trying really? to figure out how to pronounce that shit. Like, I know a bunch of Imanis, nigga. Those are women. Yeah, but he also, he also yeah, admitted that he's okay with... People calling him what they want to call him. So Correct. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to the point that he doesn't feel the need to correct him. I'm not correcting it. You know That's what I'm saying? So That's like, yeah. <laughs> nigga said, you said my name wrong. It just sounded good. So I, <laughs> he said that. He said, nigga said my name wrong. And then I thought it sounded good. Fuck it. Hey, look, that's what we going with it. Yeah. And we, we they got to like kind of listen to him because we're bitch ass niggas, I guess. No, no, no. We're no, pussies. we're pussy. That's different That's than different. being a bitch That's ass nigga. Different. Yes. Pussy That's different. We're pussy. We're, we're vaginal. We reek of um, estrogen. Smut. But don't forget yeah. the back end. 
We're talented. Pussies. We're talented. Yes. We're talented. Pussies. And I even said that. I was like, he's objective. <laughs> he's objective. <laughs> he's objective. That's Still, fair. Like, I that's don't want to be like. I don't want to like. I don't want to know be pussy. I don't know how I feel about but that. But in his defense. He kind of had to call his pussy because this nigga got on the couch and said, are you scared of Imani? So, <laughs> yeah. so I was like, when you say that? No, I said that. You said that. No, bro. That's you why. Like, so why did all of y'all nigga, double down on it? You no, went no, no. around the room. You was he like, can you whip your ass? Can you whip your ass? Can you whip your ass? He did, bro. He did. I like to involve everybody. Which is why I'm like... I'm not even mad at this nigga. Yeah, he had to. Because anytime something like that happens, anytime somebody responds, you immediately check the tapes. You have to figure yeah. out what you said. So I said this, <laughs> and then I said, oh, I get it. Because not only, <laughs> not only that, bruh, I feel like Jay Nobles, sometimes when he be tired, he be an asshole, for real. No, yes. so, no, yes. so, yes. He, he, no. No, that's, yeah, that's yeah. no he that's, be that's, an asshole, bro. Yeah, I don't got to be tired. So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's that true. is true, but it's, it hits different when you're tired, though. Uh-huh. So, like, I, you had the look of, like, we were on hour three and a half, and you were like, that's the nigga talking shit? Yeah. yeah. Look, you going to let him beat your ass? <laughs> look, <laughs> like, I, his level of patience. I might have been just trying to drive home the point, which y'all <laughs> said no. And then, but then, then <laughs> well, and, yeah. yeah, as as you went around the room, I yeah. was like, bro, fuck no. We're like, what are we talking about yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's not but you also wouldn't let it go. But it just happened. It happened. It happened. So we're you know, talented yeah. pussies, but I think it's better if y'all heard it because we're it's expensive. amazing. Yeah. We're yeah, expensive. Yeah. We're expensive, talented pussies? Yeah, we're like the escorts. Are we? Yeah, that's what he said. We yes. hoes with some promise. What, what did you listen? Uh, let's just listen to it. I'm like, what? To like a big house and you don't know where my address is? Oh, my God. You're going to be crazy. Um, nah, but uh, who are the three people talking about you, man? Let's wake it up. Hit pause real quick. Let's wake it up. Yo, oh, you know that. what I did? Cause I like- Hit pause real yeah. quick. And just bring it back just a little bit because I need everybody to hear what Danny just did. So, yeah, yeah. First, of, first of all, <laughs> hey, Manny, you don't... Don't be jumping after Danny like that. Danny yeah. threw a tree down and you jumped on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. you already accepted niggas calling you different names. Yeah. Danny said, hey, man, let's go ahead. And let me th- let me, yeah. You know, I'm going to throw some chum out here, nigga. Uh-huh. Get and, you know, as, Roll over. And as always, we're always at the tip of niggas' tongues. Like, who are those niggas that I want to speak of? <laughs> yeah. these, like, what are you talking about? God, <laughs> it's, it's always like that. Like, come on, but bro. Danny literally, yeah. that's how I know. Danny had some sort of conversation <laughs> with the nigga. I know he did. I fucked with him, man. It though. felt like. It felt like it felt like that because why else would you just like why else would you be on Twitter Spaces and be like yeah let's go ahead and wake this shit up who was the three niggas you had a problem with uh-huh. what <laughs> like what I listened to the leader and I didn't hear nothing about no three niggas mm-hmm. so I'm like okay that was a nice little setup and yeah. I appreciate Danny because he's a good content creator yeah and he's supposed to do that shit he yeah. sounds like an excellent playmaker nigga. He, he, he a sounds, young Chris Paul yeah, yeah I, I like yeah. that I like that because yeah. I remember I remember I told Danny because Danny early like. First couple times we even communicate, he was like, "Yeah, man, I cover podcast breakups." He was like, "If y'all break up, I'm on it." And I was <laughs> like, "And I said, nigga, I said, nigga, kick our back in. Yeah, you know what time shit. you do what you got to do with Tim's on, nigga. <laughs> with Tim's on, nigga. This God is content damn. at all three fifty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, give me think, my cut, nigga. I do think Imani said something about three bozos or something like that beforehand on the lead up. Oh, okay, I think you. he did I say mean, something I, like I that. I missed that then because yeah. I was <sighs> skimming through for when he popped up yeah. in the thing. Yeah, he said something so like I that So I went before. back a couple minutes, but I might have missed that then. Yeah, fuck, nigga. Don't ever forget our six man, nigga. It's four bozos, bitch. Literally. <laughs> nigga, don't you ever forget the best six man of the year, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. There's four bozos over here, man. Oh, yeah, let's just hear them then. Right. I told you, I, I go back and I watch it. So I saw that Joe had, um, uh, who's the, Menace? Ian, yes, yes, Menace. Yes, um, yes. And salute to them. I saw that he had them on recently. And I love that Joe just don't be telling people when certain people going to come through because I know he know niggas is going to act up. But I saw a video that they actually did where they were reacting to me threatening Danny. And Holy shit. Danny. I remember that. They're like, this is the dude that they can beat people up. Yo, you know what's so funny? <laughs> I love I love when I see people like speak that like me. that. Cause I don't underestimate nobody. Like I just don't because I I just don't know who the fuck you could or, or could be or who you could know or whatever. Yeah. But I love well, listening I to niggas like that talk because you know those be the most pussy niggas. You oh the God. most pussy <laughs> niggas. Like, those That's those not be the ones that really be pussy. Like nah, yes, I can get beat up. Like I ain't I ain't above getting beat up. 
But um, <laughs> it's one thing to be willing to fight and then also be pussy. And them niggas just look pussy to me. Mm. So to, mm. yeah, you gotta be smart. Video, yeah, you gotta be smart. That's why you gotta get the drop first. I, yeah, there's I'm a reason why Joe guys, didn't let you I just know. Gotta, I just gotta let you know. I saw them playing basketball. A couple of them can dunk. I wouldn't yeah. give a fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Danny said that shit like, like, like really yeah. I, I've always, you got to be athletic to dunk, man. That's all I'm saying. Coordination. <laughs> Danny seen him dunking on 10 foot rims. Man, so but nah, Jordan nah, Jeremy. Let, let me, let me also, dunk. let me not go at it. And, and even though I do think them niggas is pussy and they approach I Oh, my it. God. But um, but salute to them, though, because I like their content and they do good content. And Did you like Fair. Did you like the episode? <laughs> I love that. Did I like which episode? The one that they did with Joe? Yeah. No, I think that shit was trash. What? Whoa, come on, E. Stop. Uh, I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. Why do you think it was trash? Because I, I enjoyed it maybe because I like hey, talked hey. about Pops. You can tell he had the same stuff. Like, look, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm hating. hating. <laughs> I just felt you all niggas. Okay, okay. You got me. Yeah, fat. Yeah, <laughs> so he loved the episode. Man, be, yeah, he loved it. But what the thing is like, I was about to say, man, the nigga appreciated it. Shout out to him, Manny, for real. Uh, you know, I'm glad he knows us now. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're menace. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's and better I, than... It sounds like this is all just fun. Like, he yeah. don't even sound truly pissed off or irritated yeah, about the situation. Because the shit was light. And at the end of the day, we're pussy, so we're not going to do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. What's, what's y'all favorite tampons, nigga? Yeah, man. Uh, I like I pads, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Max yeah. pads. Yeah. 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 Lord had a yeast infection last yeah, week. I'm not putting it. Why are you still there? Nah, nigga. it's still there. Oh, shit. Nigga, why set vaginas? You might want to make some Hawaiian rolls with that shit. Oh, my you know what I'm God. I got an herbal remedy. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> herbal remedy is Jamaican herbal as fuck. Well. You sit over a pot. I don't use. I don't use white products in my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Lord masturbate with castor oil. God damn. <laughs> Get that quick moisturizer. That shit is lube. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. But yeah, man, I like that he was objective too. Right. So like um, initially when I heard it, I was like. Oh, you really pussy. <laughs> so like, you got a good pH. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't nigga keep his pussy clean. <laughs> Would you bet a 7.5 nigga? Get your ass up there. Um, so yeah, so like initially when I first heard it, I said, man, I do appreciate him. Yeah. Being so objective, and then I was like, "Let me look so I can find some dumb shit that he does." Besides, like these responses, which are always corny, mm. I'm like, "Let me just see what else I can what I, what else, let me see what else I can hate on from this nigga." Was uh -huh. in his background, and then I was like, "His music's not that bad, even though clearly this is a fucking outdated format of songs uh -huh. that you're making." And then I do think he's good on the podcast too. So yeah, I'm like, he is good even on the right there, you yeah, articulate he, him so very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, even right here. So I'm like, I can't shit him on for that. So I just, I guess I just shit on him for these terrible fucking like. This is the you gotta you gotta learn a different lane. So Wait, yeah. this is the easy lane to go. You just call niggas pussy, say I'll beat yeah, you up. Yeah, yeah. But is call his music bad? It's not nah. bad. It's just old. Like he sounds like he came out when Trey Songs was first popping. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. it's not bad, but it's I'm not listening to it. You he's know what called I'm up in some glory days that like mm -hmm. he, yeah, he's yeah. not on the Neo Soul Trap wave. Yet. No, he's not. No, nah, no, no, no. That that, that transition has not been has not been made. Oh, but okay. it's like outside of that, he's still kissing bitches through the phone. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you can God. still tell he likes. You can tell he loved, he's great on the podcast. He does do interviews on his YouTube channel. He started doing his own little, like, one-on-one -on -one sits downs. The nigga loves to hear himself talk. You can tell, like, he yeah. was giving an intro to this one nigga. I said, damn, are we going to see the other nigga? Like, yeah. Oh, the when, camera didn't even pan. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, shit. Like, damn, nigga, you love yourself. I'm yeah. like, yeah. let me ISO this intro for you. Yeah. 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 Like, so I'm like, I'm like, it's a lot of gas, nigga. I just mm. need to see what I'm working with. Great who, does he, who does he be talking to? I don't know. These are people in the music industry because he okay. was an artist. I think that's how him and Joe met on a music front. Like they known each other for a year. Him and Joe got several songs. Together. Joe just got the hit first. Oh my god, they yeah. both they have songs together. Yeah, kind of sad ass studio recording sessions. Yeah, they with got, them. Yeah, they got songs together. So they've known each other for a long time. I don't yeah. know if it was the music that connected them initially uh -huh. on some shit, but whatever. I think, like, I think that nigga went on tour with Michael Jackson when he was a kid too, low key. What? I gotta look that up, low but key. I think that's something that might have happened. Now we I, have to. I, yeah, I believe for so. For what reasons? We have I to. Know, now, 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 I could, <laughs> then they might have been joking, but I hey. think they said some shit like that on one of the pods. I'm gonna look it up and find out for sure. I we pray. now. If, we I'm, if I'm out, you know what I'm saying? If I'm crazy with that, then I'm off. I'm off. Niggas tell me, but I believe I did hear that. Hey, oh, I don't know. It sounded like your man, he was Peter Pan in Neverland Ranch, nigga. He didn't want to grow up. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yo, but then, nigga. But then, so, yeah, it's just, like, the only thing for a man, bro, it's like, I was like, should I kick his back in for real? We're already giving him more of a response than I thought we were going to give him. Because in my mind, I said, I can't waste time with this nigga. I'm too busy irritating 
the nigga that got me into podcasting to to the utmost degree. You, you know mean his saying? boss? No, <laughs> no, you talking about his secret oh. beef. Hey, I'm talking about Charlemagne. I'm oh. too busy terrorizing this nigga. So like, I'm like, I'm going back and forth with Charlemagne. What? Uh-huh. Should I be going back and forth with Imani? You, got time you know to what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. I, I don't just, low man. I don't know if don't I should. Man, I don't know man-y. if I should. You know what I'm saying? He's too busy flirting with Charlemagne. Oh, <laughs> don't keep yeah. nagging each other. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just irritating the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, um, that's tough. But yeah, man. Uh, shout out to you, nigga. Shout um, out to you. Shout out to you. You got your full response, man. Hey, we're pussy. Everybody's pussy, man. Everybody pussy and um, everybody's pussy. Tampax Pearl, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quality. We kind. apologize. We was on our period that pot. You know, oh, we get man. bitchy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh, nah. Man. Shout out to Imani. I mean, at least he watched it. Yeah. Yeah, at least he watched it in full. Uh-huh. He's objective. <laughs> We was in your seats, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. White man was in the seat. Doing I think, a better actually. job actually, than you. Yeah. White man put a butt groove in your seat, nigga. Yeah. 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 I hope you fart. Did you fart? A couple times. Uh, yeah. How much yeast yeah. did you leave behind from your pussy <laughs> ass? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I did feel relieved, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> really uh, he said from when you were in the going, you just got that gush. Yeah. God bro. damn. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, I think that's it for you. Uh, appreciate you. I know you're here now, so hit that subscribe, man. Drop a comment, yeah. man. You know, become if a you, bachelor. Fuck it. If you do something on your own, I'll come and support it. You know what I'm saying? But until then, I guess I'll see you on Joe Budden shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. But uh, you see, these these are my favorite kind of like back and forth because it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's lighthearted. We just exchange <laughs> jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's yeah. a, that's the funny thing about him. It's like when he made that initial video to Danny, he was like. Don't hit me with no joke shit, nigga. Yeah. That's all you're getting, bro. Like, yeah. you're, that's all you're getting. Oh, and, yeah. And then Danny just did another, he just did another Imani drop. Uh-huh. And um, Imani went in the Twitter space trying to manipulate niggas. You know what I'm saying? Talk about, I would really appreciate it if you guys didn't buy into, uh, buy into narratives, like, at all. That would be really dope. Nigga, no. We're content creators. Yeah. Keep the fuck up, nigga. Yeah. We yeah, we live uh, off narratives, okay? And isn't it a You narrative? started one last night. We're it's, continuing it right it's now. It's weird I'm to like, say, but he's like a more evolved version of them all, where it's like, I'm still trying to live by these rules, but I also good, know how to... Point. He's more outspoken. You know what I'm saying? Mean. I know how he's to... Just, yeah. He's just more outspoken. He's got a nigga. better temperament for the platform. For the, for the, for the platform. Yeah, for the that's game a, that game. Game. That's yeah. a good you point. But his philosophy's the same. Yeah. Every nigga, and I don't even know if this, if he Imani was ever a street nigga, but every nigga that's new to content creation, it's like content creation is literally like them going from the block to a corporate job. Even though this shit is yeah. like loose as fuck still. Right, like, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't in here in suit and ties, but that's what you would think. You mm-hmm. would think nigga dropped him at a country club. It was like, I need you to go run this meeting of... B- fucking Fortune 500 companies. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like they need to be battling with that. Sh- Please mm-hmm. don't run with narratives. What do you think we do here? Like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what are we doing? Your, your, what your do you boss think? is what narrative he king. Think? Yeah, what does he think he does? What did, you just <laughs> ran a narrative last night. Like most night. people's opinions he, are narratives. Right? Saying, yeah. What did he just say? It's a narrative to not want to believe in narratives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah. That's what an opinion is. Okay. If it, if it like, gets extrapolated, most enough. opinion like it's, yeah. it's just what it is. So but the narrative argument is faulty. His definition of narrative is just like <laughs> essentially false news, like yeah, yellow journalism. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But well, that's, that's our favorite brand, nigga. I'm my money. I wouldn't say favorite, nah. but you know we like to. Oh, not our favorite. The speculation. Con- type. We like to skip content rocks creators. over that shit sometimes. Like content creators, though, in general. Yeah. Like yeah. it's all narrative based. Like yeah. Ninety nine percent of niggas are speculating. That's why I don't know yeah. why he calling us pussy and shit. He got the whole name Imani. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got a ghetto whole for. name Imani, so he yeah, probably right. for a woman he probably has hands. I'm gonna yeah. bow out of this one. Gracefully or. My name is Lauren. I can't really say too much. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Oh, <laughs> so you, yeah, you got a white girl. Oh, name, my God. Though. You lucky he didn't call it. He didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, he knows probably now. Over. Yeah. yeah, now he does. He's oh, yeah, now he does. That's yeah. fine, nigga. I don't care. Well, oh, man, we'll be looking forward to your next light skin rant. Um, yeah, shout out to all the mulattoes. Yeah, it's a perfect, <laughs> yeah. it's a perfect time to throw the beige out there, right? That's yeah, a yeah. perfect time to throw the beige out there. The favorite tone people, mm-hmm. they tend to have, a, um, you know, sensitivities. Yeah. But at least we did a good job. Yeah, you did good on Twitter Spaces last night. You did. Oh you no, did, I said like we on Joe Button because that's what he was saying. We did spectacular. That yeah, he said true. he hated it, but well, no, you're right. He said he was lying. He yeah, was he was lying. He, he was wanted to hate it, which he a lot was, of people did. Yeah. A lot of people did. Yeah. There, was, there was a lot of niggas doubling back in them comments. Yeah, they said, yeah. I'm back. It yeah. was actually fire. I don't yeah. know Sorry. what we did at the 15 minute mark, but for some reason that was the turnaround for a lot of niggas. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm rocking with this. I do shit, remember man. the intro being a little faulty. I was like, Yeah, it was just a little. It just started off slightly slow, but. 
But it yeah. didn't take long. Shit, nigga, it's a podcast. It's, it's real a, life. It's Fuck. real life. It's a podcast. Yeah, you know it's a, it, mm-hmm. it went how I was supposed to go. Yeah, it probably. Uh, <clears throat> let's go. Where do y'all want to? Yeah, let's jump into Cat Williams. So, yeah. I mean, look, this is late at this point. It's not even that it's late at this point. The initial drop has happened. Cat Williams and Club Shay Shay has completely broken the internet. Fucking mm-hmm. broken. Mm-hmm. When this first happened... I was like collecting responses. I was like, oh, said the entertainer responded. At this point, too many people have responded. It doesn't even. It doesn't matter at this point. How much do y'all appreciate Cat? That's what we need to be talking about. <laughs> that's well, first of that's all, the conversation. That's what I was about to say because, nigga, Cat Williams was the first comedian I ever actually liked. Like, I remember watching Pimp Chronicles when I was like nine or some years old. That was the Green Blazer. Yep. Right? That was the Green yeah, Blazer. Yeah, was, when, yeah. when Lil John came out in the middle of his set, got the crowd hyped up, and that nigga went on yeah. after Lil John and still killed that shit. Yeah. Like, he was just a legendary nigga. And, like, to see what he's doing right now is no surprise because he's always been the nigga that told what he saw. Yeah. yeah. Even in that very special, he was talking about Michael Jackson. Yeah. He was talking about uh, Professor Opie getting something in his Opie. Yeah. In a yeah, Hollywood yeah, party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting his Opie diddle. Getting his blowhole torched. Yeah, the whole... It's a good one. Yeah, I, I'm now that you say that, I'm trying to think, was that, like, the first... Because I feel like once you get into stand-up comedy, uh, he might have been the first stand-up comedian special... Where I'm like learning the jokes. What, like, what do you remember mean? Remember him and recite like, them at I'm the like, playground. Yeah, later. Exactly. Yeah, like I'm remembering yeah. the jokes. Okay. Like that might have been my first one because I'm trying to think if there was a special before then Cat that Williams. had me like that. But Kevin I Hart might have did that because I remember there was just an era when niggas was at school yeah. where retelling Kevin Hart jokes. <laughs> no, that too. And Kevin Hart had the DVD game on lock. For sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it was like when he I was- He got working, it at the end of the DVD game, He too. got it. Yeah. He was at the back end of the DVD. Like, Kevin Hart was in the barbershop. Yeah, Speaking for sure. of Kevin Hart, well, you, you think, like, he what went he through the back true? door? I don't know, bro, because- Is that or, an or, indie window? Well, somebody going through his back door, yeah. Yeah, nah. Oh, no. Well, no. He, he, he Kevin Hart got fucked. That's what he has. No. Well, he understands. So. Yeah. In, in the context of that, like, this nigga Kevin just popped up out of nowhere in L.A., and doing movies and shit. See, the whole popped up thing out of nowhere is always kind of crazy. Just in because LA, in LA, yeah. But <clears throat> I'm not, from the average perspective, from the objective mind. Yeah, the Cat Cat Williams story is I, where, he popped up in a lot of places that I just I was like, yo, where the I can't. Did you see that video? He, I couldn't keep up with the timeline. Go to the LOI notes. There's a video of Smack like doing like, yo, I swear to God, one of my oh, G yeah. homies. Bro, he sold crack some dope back in the day. I swear to God. Oh my God, that I shit. swear to God, Smack was you like know, that. No, no, I saw that. I, was like, I saw that was on back on fig. That yeah. shit was so weird. I was like, but I think I don't think. Why would he lie about that? Unless there's another nigga that looks just like that, Cat Williams. I don't know. I, there's still okay in terms of like how much do you, what Cat percent do what, what percent of this interview do you believe? Uh, that's I think the truth. Ninety. I, I think Smack. Has, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the interview, the Cat Williams interview. I give it ninety percent, probably. I, I, Believe that you believe is the truth. I believe a lot of it is the truth, but of percentage, course he's a percentage. comedian. That's all I was about okay, to say. Okay, percentage. Percentage. Eighty five. I'm at eighty five. I think 85. I was just about to recap. I was about to say eighty five. You got to give him five for like 95. he's a, he's exaggerating for comedic effect. That's, yeah. that's yeah. five percent, and then ten percent of like perception. That, I was, but yeah, yeah, you literally yeah, took yeah, the word yeah, from yeah. me. Ten percent of because what he believes. Is what the he truth. believes is the truth. We yeah. all saw the same thing. We just felt a different way about it, and yeah, it's like exactly. you know, perception is. Because even the but, Kevin Hart thing, for all intents and purposes, people will say we popped up out of nowhere, nigga. But yeah, nah, we forty one episodes. No, 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 no. But there's a difference between the internet's documented us. It's completely different. Like the context of him saying Kevin Hart popped up out of nowhere, he means that. It's like where the fuck did this nigga? But come he's from? only saying yeah. that from like, the context of where he popped up at. It's yeah. not, you know, something like how big Meaning the rise like, was, like how big the rise was. Is what I'm I saying. think I'm here, here. I don't count. Like I count in like the comedic effort being true because that's just like you know it's a oh, joke. Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. Be, for I sure. think ninety five percent of yeah. the shit was just straight facts, and five percent was like you comedic, know comedic exaggeration. Yeah, comedic, bro. I, I looked up his IQ. There's like a bunch of different numbers. I saw 167. That's probably not true. And if you watch true. LOY on Wednesdays, before that, I made a joke about it being like 116. I was wrong. And that was still high. It's probably not 167, but it's very high. The nigga was a child prodigy, bro. He like, actually. He could have graduated college at 12. He could have. He actually was reading books. When you think about it, he might be the most 
most supernatural genetic specimen ever, man. Because he's, well, yeah, he's okay. four, so, four He can run a 40-yard dash. That's yeah. why I'm confused because I'm just like, I don't know. That's why I'm at 85 because... You can't believe that a nigga can do all of this, but like... Somebody has to. <sighs> Somebody has to well, be You want to know what's crazy? How like, you can't believe the good shit, mm -hmm. but like, if they were was a comedian that was like, yeah, Cat Williams, I've seen this nigga get whooped by a middle schooler. Like, that shit would be, like... There's video evidence of that. But, like, <laughs> we saw that, yeah. We can video believe, evidence. But why can't... We could believe that, like, the bad shit, even though it's video footage, but I regardless. wouldn't believe that if I just heard that and no footage. I wouldn't believe that. The, but what I'm just saying is that, like, even him saying Kevin Hart popped up out of nowhere, I've nobody's ever seen a sold-out Kevin Hart show and all that other stuff... I was like, it's a little speculative. even watching his, even when he was telling us where he ended up, I got lost in the country of where he was at. It was like, you grew up here, then you ended up in Florida, then you ended up a in A lot Oklahoma. of that was because of Shannon Sharp's, you know, I don't even know how Lack to say it. Lack of question asking. His interview strategy, you know you what I mean? You think he did good? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. think he did as good as like everybody's making it fucking seem. Like he definitely wasn't, you know... Like for Bill Moore and that shit. Sure. Well, he also, like, it's he's not also at, stressing that it's, it was a conversation, not an interview. It's not at 36 million that, that views makes it worse. because of what Shannon Sharp did. Even Shannon Sharp said post that he was like, the first 20 minutes, I was trying to really figure out what I was going to do because he mm -hmm. was talking. Bro, and yeah. I haven't even asked the question yet. Yeah. And I got two hours of question cards right here. Yeah, no, literally when I watched it, up until the first commercial advertisement break that Shannon Sharp did, Nigga, I was over there like, what the fuck is happening right now? Like, mm -hmm. he was shooting. The was shit that, because that two minutes that we saw, that was immediate. Yeah, he was shooting from the hip. You told yeah. me that before I started watching it. That's what I and told you. I, I yeah. said, bro, it doesn't take more than 30 seconds. It's lit. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, as yeah. soon as you click that shit, but I think it's, it's up. It's good to let that happen sometimes. Sometimes you got to let the nigga go for a while. Bro, you don't it, stop yeah. that. That's, fuck no. that's 36 yeah. fuck your million questions. views. Yeah. Yeah. Cards are dead, bro. Yeah. I can carry. He was I gonna, carry. He wasn't going to ask him nothing nowhere near as interesting no. as what Cal Williams was just pontificating. Exactly. Yeah, right, It right. wasn't going to happen. Yeah. It was beautiful, man. And I, you know, I said it was a therapy session because that's what it felt like. You know him what I mean? just getting his shit. That was, that was Cat Williams doing a special. For sure. That was, was. a special. Yeah, it was. Sure. That was a, that was a, you he can, gave him a, a special. I, I'm going to have to go to the tour now. You can tell he yeah, got an hour of material just waiting. Well, it's he just, released that he's on tour now. Yeah, he's, he's on, on tour, tour, but like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. A special is coming. Like, oh, yeah, the, yeah, that yeah, official, yeah. I don't know matter. if it's going to Netflix or anything. Yeah, yeah the Dark Matter Dark shit. Matter tour. I, I did see yeah. that. But to, the last tour that I saw, the last special that I saw him do was World War something. It was when he was in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, and I think it was called World Wars something. Probably. White I, man with the quick hands, but yeah, I wasn't y'all probably of, heard that. I wasn't a fan of that one, though. It was okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wasn't, it wasn't his it was best okay. work at all. Yeah, it, it was yeah. okay. It was okay, yeah. So it was like, I still watch a cat special when it drops, but I mean, of course, I'm definitely watching some shit now. You know this what I'm saying? This was going to be hot. Yeah. This was going to be hot, nigga. Be like, white hot, nigga. Yeah, I saw the Jacksonville, Florida one. It was like, cool, but mm. it made me want to go to Jacksonville because he put so much lore yeah, on nigga, it. It's but, the mm -hmm. age of the Aquarius, nigga. The truth shall be set free. I was Is just it? about to say, over, That's yeah, we in the age of Aquarius. And overall, like, this nigga was just a man on a mission. It what was a couple lies. What does that mean? It's, um, it's, it's like religious. Oh, we okay. were in, what was the age before that? Pisces or some shit? Uh, I don't even know, bro. It's some like astronomical, astrological. Don't act shit. like you don't know, nigga. No, no I don't all the way know it. I'm not gonna fake like you do. I don't know how I feel that. I do know, know it's the age of the Aquarius, though, because that's been, what he said. Niggas been hugging their organite. Nah, nigga, it's yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's the fact that y'all are both over here like it's the age of. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all niggas don't know about the zeitgeist and equinox <laughs> yeah, and all that shit, don't. nigga. Yeah, nah, it's, 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 it sounds like you got nobles, but it's the area of time we in. Nah, I don't man. have nobles. Nobles just fake. He like to make fun of me. No, no. no. Yeah, that's all it is. This nigga Tony really into it. <laughs> <laughs> but you brought it up. Who name dropped it? <laughs> right. really yeah, you reminded me, nigga. Hey, Cat Williams said it. Cat Williams is on the truth tour, nigga. Hey, I mean. And I feel him because nigga sat on that same couch and just told Afton what in his perception straight was lies. absolute bullshit. Straight lies. And to be fair, so out of all the responses and like all the shit that we have seen so far, it's like nobody's really calling him a liar. Nobody not, said there's not, no. There's not a single person calling it's, him a liar. It's actually comedians coming out being like, yeah, I've gotten 15,000, 10,000. Yeah. I saw that video of Boosie talking about like, nigga, I got out of jail. Yeah. He gave me 15,000. And he was yeah. emotional about that shit. Like yeah. literally everybody that he mentioned responded. Even people that he didn't mention responded and affirmed yeah. what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... um. 
Kevin Hart responded. He just clowned him on. They were. I thought that was pretty funny. They were doing something. Yeah, it was pretty funny. They With were the doing, plastic cup boys. Yeah. Was yeah. that with the plastic cup yeah. boys? Yeah, they, it was there. Yeah. They were yeah. commentating on. Um, yeah. uh, like a football game. Nah, I will be real. Like I don't know. If, I can't remember if Cat said anything about the plastic cup boys. I've never seen a single joke from a single plastic. I've never seen a plastic cup boy joke ever. It's probably ever. Niggas don't ever, ever. Can we look those up? Ever. I looked the them up. Plastic cup boys. I I vaguely know what they look like, but I've never heard a joke by them ever. I mean, Only when they wit, uh, Kevin. If you want to go crew for well, crew, that's the crew that opens. If you want to go crew for crew, Cat Williams' crew is a lot funnier. He got Lunel. <laughs> close. Who was that? Who, what's I the, know. What's the I light skin nigga name? Lun- the red. Red, uh, uh, red something. Is it red? I, I don't know. Uh, he's light skin. He's red bones. Well, fuck you it. You talking about that, a little chubby, nigga, kind of chubby, older nigga? Slightly red. It's yeah. Red. Yeah. I think. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. His crew was funny because the Plastic Cup boys, like, we just named it individuals. Yeah, Kevin Hart <laughs> definitely doesn't want to go nigga crew for crew. Nah. Like, let's battle it out on the stage. <laughs> he don't even want to go joke nah. for joke with Cat Williams because I don't think there's a person under the sun that would say that Cat Williams, I mean, that Kevin Hart is funnier. But Kevin Hart has also been doing so much shit. He's moved away from being able to hone yeah. that craft. Like, he's not a, really a comedian anymore. Is that? That's his, but he, do, he did it on purpose. But it's like... Cat is still on these jokes, nigga. He gonna uh, out-joke that nigga But you see, because he's a pure bread. Yeah, he's, he's a pure, pure bread. bread yeah. comedian. Adam, Adam Sandler's still a stand-up comedian, even though he's doing all the movies and shit still to this day. Kevin Hart's is so weird. Is he that nice with it, though? Is yeah, he, still he just nice sold out the PNC last time he sold was Sold out, there. don't tell me he's nice. Is he nice? Who? Oh, I don't know. Who? Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, I'm not sure. I Probably, never really. That's what I'm saying. He's Probably. Probably. He's pro- I feel like he's, there's no way he's bad. Did y'all ever yeah. like his stand-up comedy? I've never seen a stand-up. i seen a stand-up comedy. It was funny. It was funny. It's old, yeah. Do you have a joke that you like? No, because it's like I didn't go down Adam Sandler deep dive stand up. I went in Adam nigga, Sandler. Nigga, what's, your, what's your favorite Scarface bar? Like, that's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, just yeah, asked yeah, No, nah, but you like, can do that. Nah. You can do that with rappers. What's, what's your, your s- favorite Jay Z bar? Nigga, I just asked you. Don't. I asked you what's your favorite Scarface bar. I don't listen bar. to Scarface. I don't like Scarface. Ask me a rapper I like. Larry I'm June, nigga. Larry June. I loosely like Larry June. I can tell you my favorite <laughs> but, Primo Rice bar. But that's that's what you just asked him. Like it's one of those. It's like no, you but see. with comedians is different because it's like you remember the bit. You right. you always remember the bit. Oh, he God. even told the story of the first time he started <laughs> reciting jokes. But it, it's still it's <laughs> Adam Sandler. Like when you really like a joke, bro. You don't he's remember so that. just he's it's, so far. He hasn't done stand up in so long consistently. I remember every movie. Like, I remember Adam yeah. Sandler movies more than stand-up. Like, yeah, me pulling yeah. the Adam Sandler stand-up, i probably seen the nigga stand-up clips like seven times. It's like, all about what you it's put. Not, you know what I'm saying? I've in. watched every yeah, movie yeah. damn near, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, And some niggas, like, funny is different. Like, some niggas are funny actors, but they're not funny comedians exactly. and vice versa. But that's how I feel about Kevin Hart. A- funny actor, not funny comedian? No, movie, actor, yes. He's Good to, an actor, okay. yeah. I enjoy Kevin Hart acting more than stand-up. Yeah, he's For not sure. really acting. Because comedian. when he's standing up, it's just a bunch of... Yeah, movements. it's a bunch of him acting. Sound. I'd rather, I'd rather have him in the movie with the effects, better lighting, lay yeah. the whole scene yeah. out. Yeah. I'd, rather, like, I'd rather see him in the even when he was killing YouTube, mm-hmm. and like that's what like blew his career up to be worldwide. It was like he was acting. You it's know, a what lot saying? of physical comedy. Yeah, it's a lot of physical comedy, which that shit is hilarious to me. So. Yeah. It's it's cool, but yeah, I'm not cool. rushing to go to a stand up for Kevin Hart though. Nah. Yeah. Especially because he's he he doesn't. I think he. I mean, I won't say like separated it, like separated comedy from himself, but he's in a weird place. He's a like where he's oh he's trying to like hold on to that badge just because it's like it's something you can hold around. Like nigga, I'm I'm still the king of comedy. Well, no, I don't think it's because he's bigger than Joe Rogan. The thing is, you never lose it. You you never lose it. Like when you never never lose it, and when you and when you're so successful, your license as a comedian. Once you can lose your, com- your license, but you can lose your you can, status. No, as you like can, the top but you can brought up Adam Sandler. He ain't dropped a special since the nineties, nigga. I mean, unless you show the skill, you can lose it. Because no, yeah. but that's the thing. but that's so, the difference. Yeah, like that's like, like the weird this difference. Is a, this is the biggest thing. It's like sure you don't lose that you did stand up and you were successful mm-hmm. at stand up, but then you've been for Adam Sandler. You've been doing movies, so like. Adam Sandler ego might get affected if a comedian goes up to him and be like, bro, your stand-up is trash, though. You know what I'm saying? Even though this nigga's career is crazy successful. If he truly cares, if he it truly, would hurt You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, that's, and mind you, we also got to keep in mind, like, mm. Kevin Hart, I mean, not Kevin Hart, Kevin Williams and Kevin Hart, they do not fuck with each other on no, any level. Not. Yeah. It's not even close. So yeah. it's yeah. like, no, no. So, yeah. yeah, so it's like, <laughs> so in terms of like, that's where 7% of my 15 is going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just all conversation. <laughs> all conversation. just don't like that little motherfucker. Yeah, uh-huh. he ain't that nigga, bro. It's mm-hmm. just what it comes down to. So it's yeah. like, I hear what you're saying, but a lot of it, 
It sounds ridiculous, but I'm here for the jokes. Fuck mm-hmm. it. You and know what I'm also, saying? he might also like hate because he took the roles that he thought was demeaning to like real niggas in his oh, words. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's like, nigga, Kevin Hart is pussy in his mind, like off the rip. Like you took the roles I declined. And not yeah. just the pussy roles, but like there was roles that Cat Williams was supposed to have, but his situation got fucked up. So they gave it to him. It's yeah. almost like Hollywood pitted them against each other. Yeah. Cause okay. like this, the nigga that come and clean up everything well, I don't do. So we're obvi- they obviously look at us in the same light to some extent. Oh, oh, yeah. And Short it's, black funny The niggas. industry is putting us yeah. together. Yeah. But yeah, also, yeah. Kat probably feels like he's on a higher pedestal. He like, nigga, everything you got, I had first. I just decided not to. Because yeah, he was yeah, righteous. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He didn't want to yeah. get his back door open, nigga. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, and shout out to uh, Lil, uh, Ludacris. Because allegedly <laughs> Ludacris, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so... The, was Ludacris saw, kept his sideburns. He saw the devil and shook his hand. Bro, well, it was just the sideburns. He didn't have no spread booty cheeks allegations. Yeah. It was like, cut your sideburns and cut your hair. But that's like, it's levels to the Illuminati, nigga. Yeah. Like, that might just been the initiation one, phase. Entry level. But, yeah. but entry level him got him 20 sideburns million. Sideburns means a little bit off the top. If you get, you're like, nigga... <laughs> Oh like you get what I'm saying? Shit my get deep, God. nigga. Shit get oh deep. Oh like, God. like, just pause for a second. Literally. Just think about it for real. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Out of like you know, cheese pizza. Out of everybody on boys. that list, I was like, I was upset that Ludacris got brought up because he was uh-huh. my, he was like my favorite. Like, I still fuck with Ludacris heavy, and that freestyle he kicked was kind of fire, but. It was just like, I was yeah. like, Lord, please don't say this nigga was spreading his booty cheeks. Yo. This is going to fuck my childhood but, up, nigga. Yeah. You, <laughs> this is literally. But if you fucking react to the freestyle Ludacris drop, it's like, oh, yeah, man, something happened. This nigga, did you see the freestyle? Nah, I, I didn't watch it. it. He cut his sideburns. He did? In like, the freestyle that he responded to Cat Williams. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I know he did no, no, that. No, I didn't no, 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 literally in the freestyle. Okay, he was okay. like cutting his sideburns. We're just saying like in their yeah. time at the table. It was cut your sideburns and ditch uh, the afro. Yeah. Okay. But then I, it was funny. No long I, hair. I yeah. accidentally. Well, Luda said that, that? That sounds crazy. Cat said, Cat Cat said that. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah. It sounds crazy because I was about to say I accidentally entered into Wayno. You remember Wayno? Everybody yeah. knows Wayno. Yeah, yeah. pause Wayno's, on that a little bit. It just sounds crazy. Yeah, Wayno's yeah. <laughs> live stream on Instagram. And I don't know why I was in there. I genuinely don't. But long story short, Wayno was like, he was like, y'all just hear niggas and just believe them. They told Ludacris, I'll give you $20 million to shave your sideburns. <laughs> nigga, I'm shaving my sideburns. Yeah, I was yeah. like, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. He was like, nigga, this shit grows back. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. they, they, didn't, they didn't say spread your cheeks for 20. Yeah. Cut your sideburns. Sure, nigga. It's, for a movie franchise and, and 20 M's. I'll yeah. do that. Like, that shows you how quickly the internet will run with some shit and niggas is really on it. Because... Well, I know, and same with me. I mean, shit, when I was watching the Cat Williams interview, five minutes in, I said, fuck it, I believe everything. I mean, a, it happens. I'm at 100%. Why not? And then once Kevin Hart got there, I said, the percentage started dropping. Start I said, dropping I, I said, God damn it, you hate this nigga mm-hmm. so much. It drops the team because of the Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah. It's like immediately. Yeah. And then you leave the five for exaggeration of mm-hmm. comedic story, mm-hmm. you know? But so, even yeah. that five is a little truth. It's just emotionally true. It's just mm-hmm. different. Yeah, 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 right. So I'm definitely glad uh, Cat, you know, is... Uh, Vocal, you know. Every yes. time he speaks, it's he's fucking loud as shit. Oh yeah, let's check to and see what it is right now, because right now it is. I think it's thirty six million. Unless it's, million. It's, it's, Monday, it's Monday at ten thirty p.m. Pretty much. So yeah, it's at uh, it's gonna be the first thing. It's at uh, oh damn. Wow, it's not the first thing. I mean, it is when you go to his page. It's still up here. How 30, many views? Thirty six mil. Thirty six million, nigga. Yeah. How many days how is many that? Days? Five. Five days. Jesus. You think he could touch forty? Yeah. Yeah. You think it's going to touch 40? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. It's only five days in. What's the highest viewed interview of all time? Is this one now, right? Interview? Uh, I, don't nah, I don't know about interview. Probably about that. can't be. What's put Michael Jackson be like, interview or something? Yeah, or like fucking yeah, Adolf it's Hitler. crazy. It's not going to be a Michael Jackson one because a lot of those big celebrities like that, those interviews were coming out on TV on first. TV. And they were so, uploaded in 2011. Yeah. But and the they still happened. going to got a million views. Yeah. But so it's, it's, still no, got it's a no telling mil- what it would have Exactly. Had. Yeah. It's like some of them, you can't even really judge it. Like, that's why it's easier to judge like Justin Bieber's career. His first music video was literally the yeah. day that that record came out. He's documented. And nigga. it's at like 2 billion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's yeah. it was there from the beginning. God damn, but shout out to Cat Williams but I knew, oh, <laughs> and all his victims. Uh, XXX and What's nah, that? Nah, this is no jumper. It was, know, it was 22 but, mil, though, seven okay. years ago. Okay. That, yeah, I know that's always been the biggest piece of content on Adam's channel, channel right there. Yeah. But that, yeah. That interview was crazy. That was another. 
That was another one of those moments where it's like, let that nigga go. He's Who doing X? a lot. The ex interview yeah, at yeah. the no jump. He, I'm like, this nigga's doing a lot. Yeah. This nigga <sighs> was run, he was like a motor mouth, but it was making sense. Uh -huh. You believed everything he said. Uh -huh. The nigga was like, let me tell you all my old rap names. Hey, I, I used to be a conscious rapper. You want to hear a verse? This nigga remembers the entire verse. You're like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? This interview. He was high on life, nigga. Yeah, yeah LA, bro. Nigga. It's like, yeah. He's a fluent stream of consciousness. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's pretty much what Cat is. And now the nigga was strategic, bro. Just his execution on getting at niggas. This nigga Ricky Smiley is crying in the morning making tea. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. You have really. You, yeah. This is true. This is true. It's you like, touched a lot of souls, <laughs> nigga. Know. He's a real black woman. <laughs> yeah, He's worse than a Catholic priest. That shit was crazy. Yeah. I put in my I put in my contract. I won't work with him unless he wears a dress. What was Ricky Smiley's next movie? I think it was First Sunday. Mm -hmm. And what was he wearing? Uh -huh. A dress. And yeah. that's one of those. That's a five percent. I believe that's comedic effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it might be shit. No, that might be true. That might be true. That's what made him cry. Yeah, you think so. Yes. That might be true. Because he even prefaced that with there's something that nobody in Hollywood knows. Yeah. That's yeah. what he said. So Bruh. it's like that's the a truth, lot of embarrassment that comes with that. Who do you coming, have to have to make that happen? Like Well, when you're that nigga and you still want to be a part of the project. Yeah, it's in your contract. Yeah, whatever mm -hmm. the contract signs for it. You want to be a part of it? Sign put put the dress. <gasps> Put the dress on, nigga. That's crazy. God damn. But and I can understand why that would make that nigga cry because it's one thing to be embarrassed, but like your emasculation of that as well yeah. too, mm -hmm. attached to it, and we're all just like because everybody was already like you put on a dress again, but then the reason, <laughs> yes, it's like oh shit, like oh nigga, even, yeah, you well, that's embarrassing. Even Brandon T. Jackson talked about it. That nigga said some shit like I thought he was trying to play me. I'm like a young nigga trying to come up, do this shit. Later, he was like, nah, he was trying to help me. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, liked, I liked his story about um, Ice Cube responded, but the response, Ice Cube was just talking so slow. Shout out mm -hmm. to I love Ice Cube. Yeah, that Cube. shit was unbearable. But he, yeah, he just talked so slow. Shout out to that old nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with him heavy. He's a I CEO. Just, yeah, I just I, just, I was trying to skip through. <laughs> I couldn't get to the part. I didn't 1. hear. 1.25, shit. I didn't hear if he uh, addressed the part. I like Cat was saying that he wrote every line for Money Mike. I didn't know that. Not well, every line. He addressed it. He, he yeah, did address he that. Addressed it. He came out and said that essentially, like, Cat Williams is a star. And when you have a star in a role like this, they're going to punch up that role most yeah. of the time. Got you. It's okay. like the Jim Carrey effect. Yeah. Like, got you. Okay. certain niggas just have that charisma yeah, sure to where a, they write their own role yeah. in the process. Right. And it's right. way it's better. Like, sure, there's a script, but I'm going to take this script and, and make yeah. it more. Because Money got Mike was you. supposed to be a smaller character. He ended up becoming a way bigger character after Mike got in there. Gotcha. He was just so good. Right. Gotcha, he kept gotcha, ad living gotcha. and yep. it was just working. Yep. And he did address the claim that um the ra the Ricky great. Smiley was sure. willing to have a grape yeah. scene, but it, apparently Ice Cube said that that shit was never in the script. And it was I was a completely different movie. I really don't believe him. I, like, because you had an attempted grape scene in the movie. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, so it's, why would you attempt to have a? And I, but and the thing is, to, he said I would never film no shit like that. Like, there's nothing funny about grape, all that other shit. But you had an attempted one. Yeah. And attempted grape is funnier than actual grape because it's just easier to justify. Yeah, true. Especially but, when it's man on man like that. It's yeah, like man on man. Yeah. But a, a pimp too. It's like, it's the yeah. irony and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know but it mean? sounds like maybe even if they wasn't going to film it, if it was just like something they got alluded to off screen, it sounds like mm. Money Mike was about to get something in his rectum. Yeah. And Cat Williams wasn't having that shit. Cat Williams said, He's about to get a money shot, nigga. And that was a, and that was, that's, that, that, that Improvisation, taking the the pliers, mm -hmm. walking the nigga out the house, then running down the street. Mm -hmm. Shit, it's hilarious. That shit probably yeah. wasn't even a set prop. He just <laughs> yeah. had that shit in his pocket <laughs> yeah. 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 Just for no reason. So, do y'all think? Uh, okay, do y'all think Cat Williams was doing drugs? At some point, it feels that way. Oh no, don't know. I, I don't that's know. what Smack said, and it's like when you just th think about the story, like you left it's at just thirteen, hard to Smack. you was in Florida, you started pimping in Oakland, like nigga. Eventually, something leads to crack. Man, the nigga just has a lot of charisma, but like some of the moves, crack is extreme, some though. of the movements, like I don't know, I'd be like. But crack but back then was like a recreational drug, especially as yeah. a 15, 16 year old. Yeah. And like he getting and I'm into not comedy. Crack on him. I'm just saying, like, and that's hard the thing. Drugs. They yeah. put crack on all crack black, on. not all black comedians, but that's just what they immediately throw out yeah. there. Like he's on drugs because he lost he his mind. Been, it could have been anything. It could have been heroin, meth. It could have been a lot. There's well, more than crack just crack. Is a lot better than that. It is. But All the, of those are crazy hard. Pause. It is, but Kat said in the interview, <sighs> maybe he's never done anything more than tobacco, weed, alcohol. Okay. Well, that's then, the then hardest. Yeah. He's never done hard drugs ever in ever his life. Ever sniffed a line? 
That's what he said. He said never. Okay, well, I, maybe, I can maybe believe that. I believe, I believe him. I, I believe, believe he's never that. done maybe. nothing. I don't see a reason to lie. Well, I mean, there is a reason to lie. I just don't think he would do it. It's just that dark look. Yeah, I don't see a comedian running from the fact that he used to do drugs. Like that's, that's yeah, that, yeah, that doesn't make part. sense to me. You know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. It goes against being a comedian. Sense, like you're supposed and to use it's him also weird. So it's like I don't know. I just really believe that he just hasn't done it. And if he did, maybe he did it one time, like on some Angie Martinez shit. Like we but did even crack. Then, we tried crack to, one time because this is the new hot thing to do. It'd be easier maybe to say he that if he did it one time. Like so, even true. That, you just like Obama admitted to snorting a line. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like. Why I just don't believe he did it hard drugs like he said, and then it does make me look at the Kevin Hart thing weird when they the Breakfast Club interview resurfaces and he gets up there and he's like, "When's Cat gonna take accountability?" And Cat, you chose, you know, Kevin Hart was going in. He was like, "You chose to not show up to set time. Mm -hmm. You chose to do this things. You chose other things." And then Charlemagne was like, "What did he choose?" He was like, "Drugs." Yep. He chose drugs. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, "You <sighs> saying that shit definitively?" I'd hate the nigga too. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, bro. You and that's, def pro that's probably the hate for both of them. He definitively went up there and said Cat Williams was on drugs. Period. Like, yeah. Now if this it comes is a out, fact. if it comes he out, he wasn't even worried about defamation or nothing. That's like, he, crazy. he said it on that's the Breakfast Club. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, bro. But drug, defamation, drugs is one of those terms where it's like it's weed real. is a it's, drug. It's, it's like, exactly. It's broad. Yeah. Or it's I could just vague. I could get oxycontin from the pharmacy. It's I'm on drugs now. You know what I'm saying? Ibuprofen, nigga. Yeah. Cat Williams would never. Send out a defamation. That's snitching in the comedian world. Damn, if Kevin was lying on some shit like that, we gotta look at him a little more like the evil nigga, right? I and do I look the low evil mob boss. That's yeah, what yeah. I mean. And shit. comparatively speaking, he's the in, he's considered the industry darling between the two. So oh, it's like sure. usually when you the teacher's pet, like you got a warped perception of what's going on yeah. anyway. Like you think everything master say is correct. You yeah. know, it's a little bit of that. That might have been what other people in the industry told him about Cat Williams. Yeah. Like, the niggas on drugs. Like, it's set times. There's rumors that spread around Hollywood Man, that could really... that shit so definitively. That like shit was... Like, he knows. Like, like he sold him right. rocks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nigga, that yeah. shit was definitive. I was like, yeah. damn. Yeah. I was like, so now that I'm believing Cat that he never did drugs, nigga said, I've been 145 pounds my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. All right. Well, <laughs> well I don't believe you did drugs either. Dead nigga. checks. Then the nigga, then the nigga the ran then the nigga ran the 40. He didn't do a 4-3. What, what he drugs did it stable? pretty fast though. What was four, his time? It was four, a 4-7. Four, four, seven. Seven. Yeah. No, it was a 4-4-7. Four, four, it was? 4.47. Four, four, so we can only imagine like 10 years ago what nigga, would he have done then. Nigga, you know yeah. I was like shit 15. That shit confirmed everything. I said, he's I believe everything. He didn't, except, he didn't do a 4-1 though. Yeah. This is the only time That was fast as fuck though. He yeah. could have done a 4-1. He could have. He could have. You saying could Bolt have. Can he just do did a, a seven, nigga. He's cat Williams. How old is he right now? <laughs> right. Uh -huh. The fuck you saying? This Bolt, nigga was nigga? pimping at fifteen. Like Cat Williams, nigga. He left his home at thirteen. That was the best response. <laughs> right. He could probably be a little super head, nigga. My hands are up, nigga. Like it was <laughs> touche. I know, nigga. You got it. You got he was it. pimping at sixteen in Oakland. Yeah, Cat oh, is an interesting dude, man. He's Cat the Williams. greatest person to ever He's live. The greatest, essentially, right? He's right. a one of a kind. Like what the fuck? And I just don't know, bro. I felt like Shannon Sharp after those first twenty minutes. I'm just like. I don't know what to do or say. Man. I'm confused right now. And he he's probably I'm just listening. scared. And I feel like yeah. Cat doesn't like he doesn't talk this much shit this often. You know what I mean? Like this often. They took him out of hibernation, nigga. Yeah. I don't what know mean? what happened. Three it was winter time. He don't be talking this much shit. He probably does on stage, but That's it. That's the only place. But that's he, not maybe. but you know what I mean like Oh, just like get out there and just go crazy. Like talk the shit he knows, like the shit that's he does do that, but it. he usually holds back names. Yeah. He's usually speaking yeah. in yeah. Yeah. Shows on stage. And illusions. Oh, yeah, especially yeah, on yeah. stage, but like in the interview in this one. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. like names, yeah. uh, Illuminati meetings. Nigga. That's because everybody was already on the club Shay Shay before. Yeah, yeah. He All had things he was talking about. He was like, he was like, if everybody gonna come up here and lie, I'm gonna come up here and tell the truth. Everybody, nigga, Cat Williams receipts surfaced. Nobody else's receipts resurfaced like that. Yeah. This is one of the rarest times where <laughs> no. a nigga pop big shit. Nigga, and everybody confirmed it. And but it was it, validated. But it was peer be, reviewed. To yeah. be fair, it's only been five days. Some niggas might be in the background gathering some material. We have a it solid. It shouldn't take that long. We have like a solid eight responses right now. That's pretty high. That's a lot. It shouldn't take. Yeah, if he, yeah. it might be more than eight. I'm just like, I know eight minimum. That's true. People That's responded. People. Like even, was, Mike, <laughs> even Mike Gibbs responded, and he was like, "Nigga, I wish Cat would have said my name. I'm on tour. I need some promotion." Yeah, I was like, like, "Yeah, that nigga." Yeah, I ain't never. 
That nigga Cedric, that shit hurt me. Okay, Cedric hurt me though. Cause I like said, man. I I've lie. always liked him as always a always movie said, nigga, man. not me as too. a comedian. I ain't like him that much. I liked him on Kings of Comedy. I liked, I liked him a lot. Yeah. I liked him on Kings of Comedy too. Yeah, yeah Kings, of Kings of Comedy was big. He, Bernie from, was always the best, but you know. For, yeah, yeah, and apparently they was hating on him for that. But for me, yeah. he was a comedic actor, like how Kevin Hart is with you. No, I'm with you on that. I liked him in a haunted house. Was he? Was it? Was that him? Was that him in a Johnson Family Vacation? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he's hilarious in movies. Haunted House shit was sentence. hilarious. That man. was probably his best work. Yeah. <laughs> that Haunted House shit, best that work. Best no question. Yeah. Yeah. We just probably had that shit first, though. You, we, it's shit that we don't even know that's yeah. going on in that's Hollywood. That's true. <laughs> that shit, that was that, one of the 30,000 scripts that came across his desk. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. The call for a crunchy, fat, black Dis nigga. Disrespective, yeah, Faison and shit. Oh, yeah. That, he Faison, okay. that's, that's mm -hmm. what the whole like 30,000 number came out. He was like, it's oh. 30,000 scripts. And Faison has not seen a single one all year. <laughs> I was like, God, when you really put it like that, it's, it's amazing. Like, God, hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. This nigga sucks. There's like two niggas, like comedians like that, Faison and Ari Spears. I'd be like, Yeah. I need y'all to do something more than just because when I see you, you just hating <laughs> on niggas. And I I really need to laugh at something that y'all Yeah, you're do. a comedian. You shouldn't just be on Vlad all the time. I, like, yeah, I want to see you doing have, You shit. haven't made me laugh in a long time. <laughs> yeah. But and it's be, starting to bother me. You well, know Aries be on Vlad making niggas laugh, though. He's funny, he? but it's just <laughs> no, no, no. He, he does. pissed too many people off. Yeah, he pissed too many important people mean. off. He be looking sick too, bro. And yeah. you can see the hate under his eyelids. Yeah, bro. Like he, he be just looking, fesses he be in his looking, face. He be looking sick, dog. Like them dark circles around his eyes. I'd be like, look, that's like because it's hard life, nigga. That's some comedy, man. Being nah, be, nigga. coming off, he comes off hateful sometimes. But he even being ugly like that, you can't be too hateful. Have y'all you know watched? Like, I think it's a rite of passage when you look like, like that. But you know what I mean. Nah, like, have, so you can have, call him in ugly. You just yeah, can't yeah, do the true. counterpart. Have y'all watched? Yeah. Uh, so he went on Tiger Belly. That's the uh, Bobby that. Lee and uh, yep. his bitch shit. I saw that. Yeah, that shit was pretty cool because it's like he was, you know, vulnerable was, in that shit. He was like, "Yeah, man, I used to be an asshole, but like I'm much healthier now." Which mm -hmm. he looks, you know, what I mean, yeah, he looks like that's you know. A little yeah, sea moss is better than etiquette school, nigga. It teach you manners. You get yeah, that diet, yeah. right? Every time I see him, I be like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Yeah. But yeah, Faison, too, I'm strong. like, I don't get what's going on with Faison. It's kind of it's kind of yeah. weird, though. Like, I feel he like get it either. Cat yeah. Williams, like this interview, for some reason, it's kind of like stamped him, like in some weird way as like the elder. It's, yeah. it's the resurgence. Yeah, like, you know, it's a reminder. There's a there's, there's a level a of respect that he always should have had. Yeah. But he's getting it now. Yeah, it's a reminder. That's true. It was it's a good reminder. Because yeah. he's funnier because, than all these niggas. And we can't act like there wasn't a phase when shit was just crazy. It mm -hmm. was just like you're fighting middle schoolers. That yeah. shit is crazy. Oh, pull up Cat Williams runway mink coat this is another this is like 10 years ago when he was beefing with kevin hart it sounds and he was like plastic cup boys we drink out of real glassware he said runway what <laughs> mink, <laughs> mink. <laughs> <laughs> this is cat williams a prince the cat shirt. williams oh no that's something else <laughs> he, that broke, one right there, he broke right there. his kevin hart oh this one i remember this yeah yeah we'll, we'll end on this one too because i think we're at like 20 minutes yeah on no this. we didn't give cat yeah, we on this we on this one for a minute. fucking minute for every view he got on that fucking interview. <laughs> yeah, pretty much <laughs> it was only necessary one minute for every million uh, views shit. yeah it's only necessary but yeah like it was this shit happening like see i seen your stuff on social media boy boy i know you what you do but you do it for play play if you do it for real here it is kevin I got a show at your hometown in Philly. <laughs> I'm going to take my special there. On that stage, we can put whatever you want. A full court basketball court, a boxing ring, two microphones for a rap cypher, oh. or you can get your ass dusted in comedy on that stage. Jesus. But it's $1 million up for each one. That's $5 million, Mr. 28 million in Forbes. I'll be bringing mine in cash, Mitch. <laughs> bring yours however you want. And since you're not a puppet, don't bring no white people with you then. That's a $5 million bet individually. You can take it all or you can take it part and parcel. This is the new movement. How recent is this? 10 years. Okay. Hey, oh. and tell them plastic cup boys we make enough money to drink out of real glassware. <laughs> As he walks off to his PJ. 
He's, in a, he's in a mink with a Lamborghini and a PJ. No, in the nigga, background. he's in a mink with a black uh, champion hoodie on. Underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. The duality. Yeah, it's yeah. just like there was a lot of that happening for a while. That mm-hmm. wasn't the worst thing. That wasn't happened. the worst, but that was just like he was hoarse. It was yeah. early in the morning. Yeah, you it know, was, you going to the nigga's. There was a lot going on. So, and it's like that's what happens when you think you could beat a nigga at every nigga metric there is. This nigga said basketball, uh-huh. boxing, yeah, swim lessons. <laughs> so I'm better than you at everything. Yeah, like anything Sorry. that you could possibly imagine. What would you yeah. like me to bring? What do you? What is? What are you the best at? Let's yeah, bring that here. That mm-hmm. shit was crazy. What if you trained your whole life to be good at? <laughs> oh, comedy? I'll dust you on that too. Yeah. <laughs> Cat probably is better than him at most things, probably. Now that I'm thinking that about it, maybe not boxing. Not running. But definitely either. running. What? Man. He's faster than Kevin Hart. For sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I agree. I yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't so, think I I'm agree. faster than Cat Williams. He better I'm, not do this menace material Olympics. Oh, we're we're losing. Yeah, nah, yeah, for yeah. sure. We're losing. Y'all, y'all losing for sure. Y'all niggas losing. He could probably lift more than me, too. <laughs> I can definitely, definitely live more than all you niggas. He could probably do more pull ups. Like, that's the thing about Cat. Like, he probably does, like, <laughs> yeah. like the most. The odd exercises? Yeah, uh-huh. like. <laughs> he could do more Bulgarian squats than you. Like, ab <laughs> exercises? Don't even try it. Like, right. he's winning. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I could do crunches for seven hours. Single leg yeah. squats a thousand times. Like, yeah. what, nigga? Wacky shit like that. But, all right, man. Shout out to shout Cat. To we Cat, appreciate man. you, man. Motherfucking legend. That's as good as it gets right there. He did that. Uh, let's move over to the Royal Mall. So, Eden got fired officially mm. after taking off Yay. and trying to s- surgically remove Julian's head. Yeah. To Should we be cheering? <laughs> yeah, is this a good yeah thing? let's do a round of applause, I think, actually. We have we got no fake one to insert. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Fuck it. That's good enough. Yeah. That sounds like four people. But they're all doing all the work. Like, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like four people that just watched a great show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, shout out to um, Julian. Juli- Julian's the one that got punched that- and attacked. Yeah, shout out to him. His bully's gone. Yeah, well, apparently he's the one that, like, you know, he he's... He filed the request. Yeah, I think he has a pretty high position. Like, he's, like, manager. He His job is to help. Be the brains of expansion of the mm. of the brand, and, and if the, you're fucking with the, the expansion, yeah, like I think him and Rory work closely together. Mall as well, but I don't know. It just feels like Rory and Julian are really like, how do, how how do come, we grow yeah. this? Thing? How come in the video when we was reacting to it, Rory seemed a little like distance from it, like. Like or was he just kind of shell shocked? Because like, he's had a regular job, and he knows you can't just beat your employees up. Correct, like, yeah. you know, you can't do that. That doesn't happen anyway. I under, yeah, I understand that. Like this is a podcast, but uh, it's gonna yeah, run employees the same. really trying to hurt each other is not good for business. That's not good for business. We <laughs> yeah. have to do something about this. You know, what I yeah. said that. I said that at the beginning too. I was like, I don't know how them niggas gonna work together after this. That should should go without. What saying. What would Joe have done? Oh, I don't. He, he'd have put the fight on Patreon. For he sure. would have hid the accounting. <laughs> he would have oh, he would have went, went to the bar <laughs> he'd have went to the bar and been like I'll buy that footage off you give me, give me, the, give me the security camera facts Who and, did, and create and a whole new level give it to level. Jason Lee mm. ah, this nigga no academics he would never he would never skip out on academics he would give it to academics first gotta go to you guys well that's the thing academics and, he don't be having like no secret shit like that but he also hates Rory mm. so this is gonna assist in bringing the Rory empire down Strategically, strategically, from one of and your own enemies. Joe's gonna give it to Ack and be like, "You didn't get this from me." And Ack will lie. Yeah, That's, I remember Star was like, "I'm not putting this on here. I'm not accusing academics of this." But the Ack put money on Freddie's head after the whole the whole thing after the whole Yonkers Rundown. thing that mm-hmm. happened, where it was like 14 niggas, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Cause this just happened on his birthday, and I don't know." This is a little fishy. What this? What better birthday gift than watching twenty niggas a knuckle beat sandwich. up <laughs> twenty niggas beat your op up? Yeah, with his girl. He was like, with his girl. He's like, did Act put some money in the streets? I'm not accusing him. It's so just this, too good to be true. <laughs> too good to be true. Life don't usually Yo, pan that, out that's like that. The best that. birthday gift, right Big there. Big Act. Yeah, Shout Shout timing nigga. was impeccable. Mm-hmm. But, but who, who, where is who do y'all respect more between Julian and Eden? Because it's like, these are two different strategies. Like, one nigga, he used the melee attack, you know, that's physical, you know, testosterone influence. But the other nigga kind of went corporate and played a little chess. Like, I got you removed from your position. It's hard to respect Julian. Because of how it happened. Yes. Because of how it happened. Yeah, but just based off the play. Because of how it happened. 
Because, like, he got punched in the face. He went and sat down to talk to the nigga about it after. Like, he just kind of went out very vaginal. What Imani called us, that's what really, like, you know. I don't want to even call Julian pussy because that's a mean thing to say. You well, know, I feel but good calling him pussy. Nah, but he's a cool guy, though. You know? <laughs> that's his, I think, I, that's his I think, ideology, man. I'm not going to lie. Gonna lie. I think he's the one that gave us a copyright strike. I was kind of taking it out on Roy. I think mm. it was him, though. Oh, so he is pussy. I think he. Oh. I think it was him, though. I think it was him. That's not a bad thought. Yeah, I we, think it was him. Because I asked, I asked Danny, too. I said, I said, this fuck nigga Roy just gave me a copyright strike. No one has a million videos on YouTube. Using the, using the exact the, the, same the, content. Same content. Video and all, nigga. All we did was play 30 seconds of audio. Yeah, we were shitting on it, but what the fuck? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he expected us to then do Then he it. was like, that might have been Julian. You can't think it's... I said, good point. I didn't mm -hmm. care at the time period. Mm -hmm. I let my 90 days pass. Respect to the game. Did you mm -hmm. appeal it? I didn't even appeal it. Mm -hmm. I said, fuck it. I'm going to re-upload it. And it, it worked out even better. The shit had been up for like four months. It only had 2,000 views. I uploaded it and did 2,200. I did 2,200 in a day. If that oh. hypothetical is true, then... I think it was Jillian. Damn, this shit. Well, it would, it would shit. lend to the Shout idea to that he's an asshole. And that's a, that's a, that's a corporate route. That's yeah. a very punchable in the face offense. Yeah. Jillian. Yeah, we'll call him Jillian. All right. Because <laughs> he's a bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jillian. So yeah, I was yeah. So um, I don't know. You keep calling niggas bitches. You got some fives to put out, nigga. Y'all saw the bitch too. <laughs> nigga, no, nigga, that no. I that, literally said I don't want to call him a pussy. But it's just the way you emphasize it. Like we refer to him as a bitch. You I, called him a bitch. You mean when? He, I, I wasn't even talking about that. I was talking about that aggressive ass sit he took. No. I'm over here like. <laughs> What the fuck? Like, <laughs> oh, like, why is my ears doing this? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is my happening? bad audio listeners? <laughs> yeah, but um, but nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I. To be fair, I don't watch the Ray Mall podcast. Y'all know this. I'll stop saying. We'll stop. We'll try to stop saying that as much throughout the year. We don't watch these things, but uh, shit happens sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? God, I didn't hit the timer. Again. We watch them, just not in full. Yeah, it's just I'm not We're, dying to watch it. But long story short, so my feelings on Julian or Jillian, I'm gonna go based off of what everybody says that does watch it. The Reddit fucking despises this nigga. Uh -huh. Olay said <clears throat> that he's told stories on there where you're like, oh, this nigga's actually a piece of shit. Um, oh wow! Why is every the, all right, so this is a Reddit post, and so I, I believe these are all a, the stripes against Julian. Yeah, Jillian. Jillian. Oh, Jillian yeah, is a textbook definition of a. Reckless Jeez. at the mouth and expects others to allow it. Spineless mm. and self-righteous. Reformed drug addict. There's a couple of those. How many Whoa. reformed drug addicts become podcasters? What drug? What? Drug addict. You normally put drug addict when it was something hard. Yeah, too. I'm, I'm thinking perks. Some nah, more, more, nah. You don't think so? Nah. A was, little bit. Purposefully mocks mm. and drug disrespects, addict. especially if he's, if something it's else. sacred or taboo. Admits to exploit a personal issue for content, then cries out in public in response. Go down. Reform drug addict is a good thing, though. I was about to say, I was literally That's a just positive. preaching that. I don't know. I'm really hard on drug addicts, man. But reform. Reform is a good thing. Reform, yes, that's true. But it's spineless, if you're, though. It's spineless. Spineless. But especially if you're truly reform reformed. Spineless. But then, look, let's. He spineless, mocks people, he mocks sacred oh. things. So, like, if I'm talking about how I just found the Lord and you, like, Start mocking my newfound yeah. faith, nigga. Fuck you. Now yeah, I'm, I'm going to sure. treat you for like sure. you're on, like you're a junkie now. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like you don't know better than you a fiend. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like the fact that you were ever a drug addict. I'm going to always treat you like a drug you addict. Can't talk to me, especially when you talk to <laughs> yeah, shit. Fuck certain, you. Yeah. And who is uh, this ready Make user who knows everything? <laughs> Lauren, why did you just come in, bitch? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit <laughs> fucked me up. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's calling him a bitch. He's a, he's a, he's a <laughs> Jake Noble super nigga complex get to you, nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scroll up. Let's shout out this Redditor archetype. because this post is lit. This is Monkey Music. Yeah, Monkey yeah. Music. They were, they were born in the late 80s because they did Z-I-K. How did you feel? That's a, that's that's a great period. find right there, yeah, AJ. late 80s. For you sure. gotta be thirty to even know that though. Got to, got to. <laughs> shout out, shout you gotta out to be my thirty boy to look at it. <laughs> shout, shout out to Summers. And I mean, you shit like when you got. Yeah. That. All right, so yeah, it's like, and then even um, Olay was talking about he had that story where the girl flew him out and uh, making out with another nigga on his couch because she hated the nigga so much. And he was probably high. He might have been on drugs, but that yeah, it just he seems like a really hated person. 
Yeah. And it's weird because it's like he has to be some type of like asshole. He ha- it has to. It has to be. It's too consistent. There's too many people saying you're a terrible person. Nobody says that about you. And if you're not that. People are gonna come out and be like, "Nah, yeah. nigga, all my interactions with him been cool. Like, yeah, he's really a good guy. He's Look unanimously the, the, asshole." Co- the comments on that one post, nigga, it's two hundred and seventy-five or something like that. Mm, two hundred seventy-one. Just people oh. pontificating. Yeah, Go to the comments. comments. Let's see. Let's see. What's the public perception? Well, the first one. Jillian slander. Oh, Turn somebody already get up on it. <laughs> No, no, no. That's you. Oh, that's me. Okay, okay, okay. This okay, nigga July. said Julian Slander turned that shit up to an anti-black cornball. They didn't put anti-black on that list of grievances. Damn. What the fuck? He's racist as well. I just said he- in another thread that Jillian is soft and got downvoted. He's really the issue here. Okay. Right. right. All the offense or disrespectful jokes Julian makes on the pod makes me think he's 10 times worse off air. It was only a matter of time before we got snuffed. Mm. Disrespectful. Okay, and so... They, and Eden did say, you should watch it back. He, he talked crazy. Yeah. You're like, it's, it sounded like... He wanted. I, I kind of respect Eden because it's a nigga that think they can keep playing with you. Yeah. You know, when a nigga thinks that they can keep playing with you, that you know you can whoop their ass? Yeah. Like, you legit, I know I can, I can really hurt you. I have you. the capabilities. Yeah. And I, it's, which is why he was so unapologetic. You got you got to respect the name. Well, I also, agree with you, but also, he, he could have he could have nipped that in the bud before well, that happened. Nah, he he went out in blazing glory. He, he knew he was gonna he get fired. He, he did because he, he probably did. knew Julian's real position as uh-huh. like the nigga who could fire him. So yeah. like that's why he was on there smiling because he was like, "Yep, it, I, I I would love to see y'all again, but it's probably gonna be my last yeah. day." Like, nigga, loved hanging out with y'all. Yeah, that, you that, know what I'm saying. That theory has some merit to it because you know. Nobody ever really gave a real reason for why he got punched in the face. It felt like this was a punch in the face for everybody who's ever come across this nigga. Yeah. Like, he was getting reparations. That's what I'm saying, For bro. every attitude they say he handed They this nigga up. is such a prick that it's like him getting beat up is not surprising. And they say he comes off like he, you could, he moves like a nigga who's never been punched before. And I think Eden just... Showed him what the real world, what happens in the real world. What he's talking crazy. Like, not every nigga can go to her. What's that girl named Ayala, the Save My Life woman? I have no she idea. She had a reality show when, like, she was, she was essentially a therapist, right? Ayala. Niggas would go oh, the in black there, girl? The, the black, black lady, and she would just save niggas' lives. Not everybody can get talked to in a calm, soft tone mm-hmm. and be able to get through their grievances. Like, some niggas need to get or, punched in the face. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a necessity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this nigga's a reformed drug addict. Everything he knows is, is hard. The fact that he was a drug addict, I know he needs to get punched in the face. Like, right. I punched a couple. I punched a couple junkies in the face. Just, That's off, how you, just because, like... You punched a couple junkies in the face? Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, just, just it like... makes sense seeing your mugshot. They just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... A nigga just on drugs, think he can talk to you, and just punch him just immediately. Yeah. It's, it wakes him out, they high. Yeah. And drug like, addicts the dog, are the best yeah, at talking like, shit. What the fuck, nigga? You're a, you're a junkie, nigga. Yeah. If you're talking to a sober nigga, you got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and they barely even feel it. Yeah, you don't beat them up. You just punch them once. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, yeah. it doesn't, it's never more and than And then that. they respond like Julian. You might kill Jillian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, you respond, they respond like Jillian. Get well, up like Jillian, it never even happened. Um, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, like, let's let's look up. They said the audio now that Eden is gone. Mm-hmm. Eden went out with like a real nigga. He gets my respect. They said that that last, the most recent episode, that shit was terrible. The audio was. They probably got some new intern like, in there it, trying to figure shit out. Apparently there's nobody. So like, let's, uh, let's watch. <clears> let's, <throat> like a clip? Yeah. Wait, wait, the audio experience was... This said like the audio sucked. Like it sounded terrible. Is that supposed to be a mashup of Cat Williams and Maul's face? It yeah, is. Okay, it is. I was about to say, what the fuck is their cover arts are pretty wild normally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This, that's that's the latest episode. That looks like a real animal though. Oh, this is him saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Adam was fired. You want me to go back to that? Yeah. That's yeah, it. That's why he was sad. Okay. Was that it? Yeah. How do y'all know that? Love this. Uh, you're Jillian, and you just see like your bosses tell like the nigga that punched you in the face like yo I love you <laughs> <laughs> you will be missed that nigga said nigga, you, you will be nigga, missed you my heart <laughs> nigga what ma you that nigga Jillian he's a prick he's gotta be a prick bro oh, nah. niggas what? must really hate him he might be good at what he does in terms of like networking and shit like that and like 
helping the podcast grow. Or his but father is actually a, a senator, and like, yeah, they you kind of need they to have did. that nigga around. Yeah, or that's what a lady. He's, if too, good you, of a, he's do, too good of a resource. To if you yeah. fire him, there might be repercussions for that shit, nigga. Like, yeah. this is daddy's son. Yeah, he might send a wolf to come get you. And has Maul say. ever formally addressed this issue? Like, has he like, Probably in this said episode. what he thought about it? No, he just did. He had much love for him. <laughs> nah, but he yeah, had much the, love for the dude. Go to the chapter marker, see if there's anything about them talking about it. You know them. Ain't no way. How we spent the holiday break. Click Starbucks. on the click on the actual chapter. Oh, you talking about to where we can see it all. So we, yeah, we can see it all. Oh shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you zoomed in too. Yeah. yeah. Cat Williams, Jason Momoa was a bad actor. Nah. Yeah, now nah, they not addressing this shit. They moved right on to that shit. Yeah. It's Rory your mom, man. They not talking about it like that. <laughs> 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 they not excited about anything. And plus, if they got a senator's son in there, like, yeah, man, let's just move on. Jason Momoa was a bad actor. I guess he's pretty subpar. Yeah. He That's, just he just fits a role that niggas that, need yeah. in movies. I'm not mad at that take. It's just, yeah. It's a, a on-point take. I need a Kyle Drogo, nigga. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, I would actually, he's probably not a bad actor, but he's just not, like, Good. He ain't the best. He's I mean, decent. I, he's decent enough to star in a DC movie and have it be purchasable. He's, he's, he's mid. He's yeah, mid. that's what I'm saying. He, there's no purchasable DC purchasable so DC movie recently in a long time. Like they all suck. Kind of. Yeah. Nah. I wait for HBO Max to get them. The Joker. Joker was Batman. Yeah. yeah actually, it's a couple yeah, of them. A, a, but those couple. are those the are two. Joker, not the, the new Joker. one. The new one. The new one yeah. too. Fuck it. Yeah. It's probably good. gonna be good. I wasn't fucking with that one too much. I fucked with it. I watched it twice and I was like, I'm not doing this again. Nigga, you watched it with the wrong guys, nigga. That shit was crazy. I shouldn't need assistance to watch it. If it was good, it was going to be good. <laughs> what made you double back? Because I was like, did I really not like that? Let me just start fresh, oh. watch this again, start to finish. Uh, I said, this ain't it. You was smoking a cigarette a, while you doing it. Yeah, I know you <laughs> was doing sober. something. I was clear-minded, nigga. That's I'm the like, problem. He was objective like your man he was. This nigga. shit was way too, it was just too drug out. And then when shit started picking up, the movie ended. I was like, what the fuck? I feel, okay. I hate that shit. Like, yeah. I was like, nigga, it was like two hours of buildup, 15 minutes of litness. That I'm shit not, pissed me off. I feel you. It, I still enjoyed the movie, but I'm not really excited for this next one because it's a musical, right? Allegedly. Nigga, I watched The Dark Knight. Every time it's on TV. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what spot it's at. Even Effects. if you're not watching it. <laughs> I don't care. If it's playing in the background, it's staying yeah, on. It's, nigga, staying like, on. it's just one of those movies. It's just one of them shits, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, yeah nah. Hey, man. Eden, shout out to you, bro. You deserve what? everything. You, you, you had a great 2023. You was out here delivering gifts and blessings and life lessons. And landing punches. And in 2024. Connecting with a lot of people. And in 2024, and your unapologetic energy was really just like, mm -hmm. that was it. That was the vibe of 2023. Yeah. He's unapologetic. One, he's one of those, we don't appreciate him until he's gone. Yeah, and and it's real. You know what I'm saying? Such and, uh, leave. You're such a real nigga. The, the Rory Mall fans are sad to hear you go. Mall and Rory, they, they sound like they're upset that they had to let you go. Nigga, yeah, but yeah. It's sound just like they need counseling to One person plays this. corporate, the other person doesn't. You know what I'm saying? We know... We know Maul does not play corporate at all, but you know Maul respect that fist. Rory's cups, gonna nigga. Rory's gonna have to do what he has to do and put them in the best position he could possibly do. You understood that. We respect that you understood that. Yeah. Hopefully, we see you pop back up at Flagrant, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Who fucking knows? But Damn. wherever you go next, because it seems like all y'all get shared up in New York. We hope it's a good move. I next. was about to say, if you still don't have a job by the time you know we, you know, really yeah. blow so up. Like, yeah. Hey man, you might. We Pull might up. need a new white man. Yeah, come but on. If you, Lauren. But, if, but if you try Lauren, nigga, everybody's jumping you. Let's be very yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will get stopped the fuck yeah, out, and yeah. we will Shit, put it on Lauren might not need our help. I can and take we, that Laura, one of my And Lauren might not need our help. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We might have to help him. We might have to help him to stop Lauren, and then we're pulling it on Patreon. Like, <laughs> Lauren, don't forget your wife. You can't fight with your fish. You got to fight with your lawyer, nigga. You got to talk him down. Right. He's white and Jamaican. That's a dangerous concoction. Yeah. I hope he had his savings account. Shout out to him. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so did we talk about we didn't talk about what we we didn't talk about like the Joe Budden what we did. We did the awards pretty much at Joe Budden. Yeah. The Patreon episode. So for those uh -huh. that don't know That's what happened. Yeah, we were at Joe Budden. Obviously, if you're a new person here, we're just going to go into detail a little bit about it. We had Reddit on fire day one. I yep, just wanted to say that. Yep. It was Reddit, a blaze. Reddit was a blaze. When I opened it up, it was just, oh, there goes homeroom. There goes homeroom. There goes homeroom. <laughs> but for those who haven't seen the Patreon, just go to Joe Budden's Reddit. You can watch it. It's only $5. 
Uh, we did a podcast awards, and we have awards. I'm not going to hand them out officially today because we still need y'all to go watch that episode and go support yes. yeah, what we yeah. did. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we need y'all to go over there. But um, Some well-thought-out superlatives over there waiting for you. Yeah, to help some you wrap superlatives. Up this podcast. So yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. So, yeah, homeroom every year. We're going to do a superlatives thing, or it'll be a yearbook. And um, right now we just have the superlative pages of the yearbook, essentially. Yeah. But maybe this year we'll, like, consciously be able to go through and – add the podcast yearbook together for mm -hmm. real, you know, exactly. have yeah. the classes together. Maybe we'll name other people's universities, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah, yeah. or, you know, segments. You or know, like uh, fraternities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, the Joe Rogan sphere, mm -hmm. the flagrant mm -hmm. sphere, the yeah. fucking button sphere. You the know? nigga net. Yeah, Rogan the, five the size. nigga net, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't wait for the nigga net segments. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been dying. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah. So you've been cooking for seven days. <laughs> Wow. Seven days god, and seven nights. I can't nights. wait. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I love the nigga net, man. Um, but yeah, I was about to say we went yeah, on Joe so, Budden, we did our thing. Yeah, I did put some of the uh, clips that Adam that did get uh, make it over to Reddit, so we could pull some of those up and watch <clears throat> just some of the stuff that we were talking about. Now that y'all know. Oh wait, never mind. This is way more important. Yeah, this I is way better. I was thinking about this too. Completely forgot about this. This is the one you put in there, right? I did. I put way more than that. There's a. Uh, it's um. Reddit Joe post. This That's deserves. the title of the thing. This oh, yeah, is his own go, go. thing. So I was about to say, this deserves his own bell, right? No, no, no. This is the bell. This is, oh, we'll good. say this. So as we did that episode over there, right? The comments are lit. They're positive. Uh -huh. They start They start negative, to be very clear. The yeah, comments yeah, yeah. start negative, and then they get positive. Big Sloth has won his own award. We do another eulogy for Big Sloth. Uh -huh. We didn't go into detail about his fake followers and fake fan base and all that other shit. Nah. There was no point just because it's no been done point. already. We yeah, sent them yeah. away very gracefully, you know. We sent them away gracefully in really good spirits, really yeah. high spirits. No threatening, you know, yeah. nothing it's like, like yeah. that. The joke was literally on him. All we could actually do was laugh. Yeah, yeah that's literally. how crazy it was. That's how, how crazy it was. And of <laughs> Big course, Sloth. Big Sloth never fucking fails. Yeah. He has ignored us since... Since the, the ex, since the, ex, the since we exposed that he's a fraud, yeah. uh -huh. he's completely ignored us. But he couldn't ignore this, so he was in the Patreon Patreon comments. This nigga paid to hate on us. He Think paid to hate on us. That's crazy. He paid five dollars. This, this is this is perfect. This is good. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> it's it's perfect. amazing. He's the gift that keeps on giving. He niggas. really is, bro. It never stops. And one of the best parts about Big Sloth, and we saved him for the last. We so did. he went. He, he was special. Watched bro. all of oh, it. Oh shit. And he watched we two got, hours and 20 minutes at least. Yeah. Because it was like 2.30. He watched like 2.20. Bitch ass, Nick. <laughs> so look, <laughs> one of the moments that I had during the explosion video where yeah. I was like, Big Sloth used to like brag about, this is my third YouTube channel. And then in my like rant, I was like, Yo, nigga, this is your third YouTube channel? Probably because you be buying views yeah. and YouTube don't allow that shit and they popped your fucking channel. Yeah. So as he comments on Patreon, this nigga still has one of his old YouTube accounts linked to his Patreon profile. Mm -hmm. Old and foolish. So when I click on his YouTube account, it does not take me to It's Up There podcast. It takes me to the landing page of the account that never ex that does not exist no more. Exactly. And the message that I got to read on that screen mm -hmm. confirmed exactly what I said. I was like, yeah. oh my God, I was right. I was right. This yeah. nigga's a fraud. Is that it? Or this these are just video. comments. All right. So this is the video. That's the video. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, the video. Wanna Will you be able to zoom in on the video? I tried to. It won't let me. Mm. I have a screenshot of it just as well, too. Okay. So I don't even worry about the video now? Yeah, I don't even worry about the video because I have a screenshot of <laughs> oh it. Oh, my God. We're going to have to go and look at his YouTube page after we talk about this because it got worse. Bro, his Nigga. fucking YouTube page is so trash. Okay, so for those who don't know, I'll just do a little bit of random side talking, but it still all makes sense. For those who don't know, if somebody was to hit your like page with like a copyright strike or something mm -hmm. like that, the only way to get to the video where that video used to live on YouTube is to have the direct link. So like when Rory and Mall podcast hit us with the copyright strike, it's not going to show up anywhere on our page, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but if I had sent you the hyperlink a text message a month ago, you could click it, go there, and it'll say this video has been taken down by the Royal Mall podcast mm -hmm. yeah. or channel. Content that's is no longer That's the same longer thing big. that happens with YouTube channels. So that's why this still exists. And when you zoom in, this is what it says. This account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy against spam, deceptive practices, and misleading content or other terms of service violations. So essentially, 
You was a fraud, nigga. Yeah, so the uh, the hypothesis that we had of you pay to play and your accounts got deleted because you buy views. This nigga be so, so stupid. Spot on. It was literally spot fucking on. Yeah. I don't like this nigga. I really don't. <laughs> I never thought I would not like a nigga in this like in this game. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, that's such a stupid thing to it's such do. Such a stupid thing to do, but it's like when you earn it, you earn it. Yeah, now nah, he you deserved this. He he wanted us to not like him because the very first time we ever mentioned the nigga, we gave him props. That's the craziest part. Yeah, this all I started like, off with respect. I said, "Yo, I found y'all. this nigga." Yeah, yeah y'all. because you had never seen it. Yeah, yeah. I said, "Yo, I found this nigga. I think he, I think he nice." Yeah, yeah he nice we all, we all I wouldn't did. go that far. Yes, y'all I said, did. I said, we, I said we that. Y'all I said did. that. I you didn't agree. say he was nice. You agreed. I said I like the interview he did with Charlotte. I just said you I agreed. Like him. Nah. I just like it. Yeah, Play I, the tape. I, agree. I, I, it I, I, I definitely said, I agreed. Up. I agreed. Everybody agreed. Yeah, I, agreed. I hyped him up for real. And I was At like, I don't know, bro. The clips I be seeing, this nigga seem like he going in. Like, yeah. I fuck with it. I was fucking with it. Mm. And then <laughs> the, the fucking Bray Idiots episode happened. And the wheels fell off that bitch. And we really was clowning. We wasn't really disrespectful with him, but it was after that. Well, I mean, he's matter. sitting on the couch, so there's no telling what was said. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we were disrespectful. Yeah, blame it all on me. <laughs> Y'all was over there agreeing. Yeah, this nigga big sloth so nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? This nigga trash. Uh, this nigga might be our yeah, so, man. But we saved him for last. I got to see these messages. Like, what did he say? Like, was he just saying? Oh, yeah, some of the screenshots of some of the stuff that he says that he said on Patreon. Yeah. That was it, what you saw. Yeah, there. who is big sloth? Somebody replied, it's up there podcast. And he said, that's what I want to know. And then this is this was what really threw me off. He said, wonder should we sue for lying? So Big Sloth, the street nigga, is talking is, to himself. Is, snitching. Is, is flirting in the comments, talking about, I might have to sue these niggas. For lying about what? For lying about what? I definitely said you bought fake counts and you, and you lost your account. And boom, boom, there goes the proof. Right Damn, there, nigga. nigga. Like, yeah. I, sue yourself. <laughs> yeah. Sue yourself, nigga. Sue yourself for being a fraud, my nigga. Yeah, like what did okay. we say that could have possibly been not nothing? True? Nothing. Yeah, we've never said anything. We've never been nothing but objective about. And this it's crazy because he doesn't know how bad he makes Charlemagne look. Like he's yes. bringing down the stock value of Charlemagne every I time he's brought up. Their that, association you know feels a little bit looser since now. Now, now, now for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's because Charlemagne really surely. thought he had. He thought he found the one. He thought he had influence. He no, sees something he, in him. Nah, he was only. He a thought couple he found months the. Away. He, he thought he found the next ones. Yeah. Like. Like how Joe was smiling during the intro uh, when we was up there. Yeah. Like, this nigga's like, yeah, they, he thought he had this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga thought he had the next wave of the future of podcasting. Nigga yeah. thought he was talented. The wrong, you sent the wrong email, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Say, <laughs> that nigga wasn't it. Nigga, you got a creature. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You got big sloth. But he was needed, though, because I feel like he's all, like, if we do this right, if we market him well, he can go down as, like, like a, an idea and a concept to be a big sloth. <laughs> it's almost like it's not even about why hasn't he leaned in, why hasn't he leaned into that yet? Because he's foolish, AJ. He's, he doesn't understand marketing. Look at his new YouTube page. It's oh my God! Yes, let's go to his YouTube page. The nigga is dumb as fuck. He's got Looney Tune characters on as his fucking avatar. Nigga, I hope Disney it's copyright like, nigga, strike supposed, you. But it's like the not, classic with the money and the bank Donald Duck doing the money spread. That shit was that shit was the game. Pause that shit. Yeah, that shit. That picture was on a fucking graphic tee at a flea market in 2001. Yeah. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit literally. wasn't even screen printed. They airbrushed that shit. Bro. I hope he gets sued. <laughs> and who it's that? A, he got his little niggas in the back. They locked up too. Yeah, yeah, y'all nah. see them? See, that's, that's like, Lil Daffy. That proves he's a bad role model. You're supposed to be putting the youth on the better things. This nigga Loon is actually crazy. Look at this, bro. And you got to understand, <laughs> right? Yeah, like he's crazy. Crazy. He went to Fiverr. It got He worse. found the Indian dude that he liked. Uh -huh. Do you remember he, it got better for he a second? He chose that. When what? did it get better? It did get better. Because remember before his it banner? Was it was bad. That's what have, we and, said. Well, his banner but had it, no pictures of him at all. It was like green. random ass. It was green. Uh -huh. It was like random people. It was like... It was literally the most random people. Then he updated it, and it was a picture of him. It's up there. Pockets was a lot more simple. Yeah, this nigga has reverted to being even worse. Yeah, he's resorting to comical strategies, and it's kind of sad to watch because and he got it in. Oh my! Oh my God! God. He changed his studio set, so too? he's a hundred. He oh well, I get the whole Looney Tune marketing, but it's still just goofy. Yeah, everybody gets it, but it's stupid. Oh yeah, I keep. And why hasn't I he been sued yet? Yeah, nah. I keep forgetting his name is Big Looney. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's his real name. It's on brand. It's on brand, but it's still, it looks, it's not executed well. There's a way to do this probably. Yeah. 
Nigga, we've been calling you Sloth for so long. I literally couldn't even make the it connection sounds, when I saw Daffy Duck. Who I was, was like, why is it? I was like, why are you doing these cartoon characters? Mm-hmm. Like, I completed that connection. So this actually is on brand. It's on it's brand. Just stupid it's as fuck. Executed yeah, it's well. Stupid as shit, There's a better though, way yeah. to do it. Yeah, it's just dumb though. Damn, that's crazy. I forgot what your name was, nigga. We really don't give and a this fuck nigga that professes that he's nobody to be played with, but and then Joe Budden just in his cartoons. Then Joe Budden just was like, yeah, fuck it, disrespect him. You know what I mean? He didn't like try to stop us, nigga. <laughs> yeah. No, really, he, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, like he, you gotta no, understand. He, he was saying, "What a perfect way to end on that doof." And yeah, <laughs> you literally, yeah. bro. <laughs> doof is the best word for him. It's so cartoonish. Yeah. He gave us five names he didn't want us to speak on, and he was like, "I'll make an exception just because it's like, ah, fuck it." Like you gotta understand that. It was five. I thought it was like three. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a perfect time to put this in there. Somebody in the Instagram comments, they was like, "This episode should be." Inception, the title of it, because it's a podcast about podcasts, Talking podcasting about, about the podcast that we did. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That's, That's true. A Joe Budden podcast. That's true. It's a mind fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of audio that you got. Episode go forty one, Inception. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was like, yeah. that kind of hits. I'm gonna go ahead and give you credit for it. I might use that because yeah. we just did exactly what the fuck you said in that comment. Yeah, let us know if you into interning, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. Shit. Sound like sound like you got some shit cooking sound over like there. Sound you got some gold yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah, so, Factual. Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, I put other stuff that people posted from Reddit from the episode. We could play one or one or two of these. I got you. Um, not the mail talks too little. Let's play when Adam when Joe kicked Adams back in. That was screen recorded and posted on Reddit. Mm. So these are just things that were posted all over Reddit the day that the Patreon came out. Uh, I hate when it does this. So Adam I had to refresh. Spoke. Mm. Shout out to them couches, though. Them couches were very comfortable and apparently. I think this is Danny's Reddit. Is this the one that's Danny's Reddit? I don't know which one no. is Danny's. Which one is Danny's Reddit? It's the second one. <clears throat> I think it's Joe the one Biden. with the black and... Well, they all got black and white, but I think his just black and white. There's no yeah. red on it. Gotcha. That's right. Yeah. Then there's the other one that's like white and black. And I, mm-hmm. isn't there one that's green or some shit? Like, there's a, there's a couple of I them I feel like... There. I don't know. I can't... I don't know who's who's. Uh, Danny be getting uh, shirts. Uh, fuck. What's this guy's name? Adam and, uh, Adam and Wack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wack 100 was mine Whack. as well. Adam and Wack. I didn't, yeah, yeah. Adam and Wack or just Wack? Both of them. Adam both should both shut the fuck up at all times. So any word, <laughs> uh, any word he says, this is too like much. it's too much for me. Yeah. yeah. And Wack is my man, but he talks. Wack is a good one. Talks a lot. Yeah. Wack enjoys it. One. Yeah, Wack enjoys trippy. it. He wanted I mean, to be- by definition, I guess podcasters all talk too much. Yeah, true. Like, I can tell the ones that really enjoy speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like Wack want to go have a business meeting, then talk to the fucking the gang members, then get yeah. on the clubhouse, <laughs> then do a pod. He want to get all the podcasters together. It's like, I don't want to yeah. talk this much. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can see him dancing to the sound of his yeah, voice. Didn't y'all do that? As he said, <laughs> didn't y'all do that thing where he just had like 10, 20 podcasters in one studio? Don't say y'all. I wasn't you, there. you weren't there? Okay. No, sir. Okay. <laughs> you was not a part of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> not I, got, I got the invite to the wedding. Yeah. Like, sent a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Like this is the first time we ever played ourselves back on this podcast. That is. So yeah, you know shit is. is getting tricky. Yeah, this is the Inception <laughs> episode, man. This yeah, is, nah, this is, shit this weird. Is ridic- this is ridiculous. What mm-hmm. are we doing? There's no point for that, too. I don't got nothing to say. Shit, I, dope. I don't hear <laughs> it. <laughs> Look at it. You already said it, nigga. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's it. I just want, I was yeah. just, I saved, I was saved. I was so excited. I was just, like, collecting all the links of niggas posting oh, so yeah, that I yeah, can yeah. go back and just, like, look at you shit. Know, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You know, it's oh, yeah, a yeah, proud yeah. moment, nigga. You deserve to be proud of yourself. Yeah, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? But fuck it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it for that. About to say. Big fucking... sloth. I'm, I'm really not going to try to address you for the rest of the year because there's no point. Yeah. We have to address you one more time when we officially give you your award, though. Yeah. Is he going to win it every year, or is it just now the Big Sloth Award? No, nah, it's just one. Yeah. Okay. Unless he really makes a moment. If he does, if he has a phenomenal Kobe year. He could fuck around and, yeah. He might fuck around and go platinum. It is Mamba time. It nigga. is Mamba it's time, Mamba's bro. year, this nigga. This is the so. year. This That's is the year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he really might have a good year. Yeah. Then hey. <laughs> Hopefully, nigga. Hopefully. I pray for him that he does Somebody have a good pray year. for this yeah, nigga's success, because we're not. Pretty much, definitely not praying for. I'm praying on that nigga's day. What did uh, Joe say about Adam? <laughs> Fail, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are, yeah. And it didn't have to be this way, but this is what you wanted. So, nigga, yeah. we're selling what you bought. Honestly, he's already failing. I don't believe he's doing shit right now. 
at all, honestly. Yeah, I think because he's nothing. probably trying to figure out how to get even Becky by the time. Is. Remember when you sent the Dr. Umar shit over? Even even that Dr. Umar interview, uh-huh. that shit was like three months old. A word? Yeah, by the time you had sent that over, I had seen that like three months prior. That shit was old. Mm. Oh. It had just like kind of resurfaced again. That's all. But that was Umar that made it resurface. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Wasn't like, loom. Off of him being a viral oh, nigga. That me. wasn't new. Yeah, this nigga's slow. He, he sucks. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> he sucks. He just sucks, bro. That nigga sucks. You starting to make this podcast bad, nigga. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, yeah. He's got bad vibes. All right, so Joe versus Charlemagne. Now nah, let's go to let's do Joe versus Charlemagne. So Danny dropped the video, and I think it was us again. We yes. should copyright him. <laughs> yeah, we should just tease him. <laughs> no. yeah. That's mine, nigga. Just send him a little strike. Uh, <laughs> Let's send him a little slight, nigga. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so during the episode that we did at Joe Budden's. Joe Budden said that Charlemagne is running a shell company, the iHeart Media uh, podcast. Black Effect Network. Yeah, the Black Effect Network. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm tripping. Network. I said iHeart Media. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, Black, yeah, Black Effect, Black Effect Network. Black Effect Charlemagne shit. Yeah, so let's watch Danny bring this uh, clip in and intro it. You can start it right in the beginning. All right, tempo. Oh, shit, one second. This looks like a mug. Joe shot. Budden trashes Charlemagne, and this is the Black Effect Network. That's right. On a recent episode of Joe Budden's Patreon, Joe Budden decided to take shots at Charlemagne and diss his network. For those of you that don't know, Joe Budden recently had the Gentleman of Menace Material, a.k.a. Homeroom University podcast, on his Patreon. And they basically did a podcast review of the really year. They broke down skip all the podcasts. <laughs> it's freaky, but what right? was interesting yeah, yeah. Skip is that Joe Bud- Brilliant Idiots basically has like a library set. It looks very yeah, keep TV going. Go about adjacent. Halfway through, actually, because he started. I gotta name because these are like I, I don't know. Joe Budden's really trying to reframe Charlemagne as like a company man, okay. someone who's been no, no, created no, 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 by the corporate structure. Maybe not as talented as what people think. I think he thinks Charlemagne is talented, but he's always painted him as an iHeart puppet. And I have to say, man, it's this whole breakdown. Like, I was watching this and I was like, Menace Material, Joe <laughs> Budden. Okay, this is, is Charlemagne. I hope you up. see what's going on. <laughs> he did. What the fuck? You might need to click up with the stop. To click up with you this. might need to add me to the team. I could be, I could be like your your henchman. I could be out there. I could be like the wee bay. Maybe hey, I'm giving quick. myself too much credit. Pause. Maybe is, I'm not. Is Cat Williams and Joe Budden the same? Just like how Kevin Hart and like Charlemagne is the same. I think so. It's like light versus dark skin beef, nigga. Yeah, I think it is. I kind of like that. Jesus Christ! You yeah. always know there's always a light skin nigga versus dark skin nigga. It's the same script. There's just like these pairs up. We don't have to watch this because I forgot he did a lot of side it's commentary. Us, nigga. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot of side commentary. But long we story short, man, Charm, he was pretty much joking on Charlemagne, saying that that nigga runs a shell company uh-huh. because the podcasts aren't really performing over there. But that's not sure. what a shell company is. That's not what a shell company is. So it's kind of like it's just a jab, and it sounds good because like that's one of them words where like you hear it. And you can kind of make up what you think it means. And, and it's he was, close enough to the real definition. Yeah. Right, yeah. And he was also saying that Charlemagne doesn't technically own um, Black Effect Podcast Network, which that's not true. Yeah. Because Charlemagne's made pretty clear it's 5149. That gives you ownership. Yeah. Officially. Yeah. It's just a nice little jab to throw at a nigga because, you know. I was about to say, and he got I, his own... I don't know if Joe Budden wants to get into the whole network conversation because if you want to compare the black effect to anything Joe Budden's done network wise, it's like, nigga, yeah, the black effect is still up and running right now. Yeah. Granted, it all depends on like what you want to count, like the black effect they're bringing in shows that were already kind of these niggas got a board of directors. There's a business operations going on. No, I don't think I don't think it takes much to run. The Black Effect Network at all because all these people were already, already doing. They were already doing. There's no re, there's no build. There's no podcast mm-hmm. building over there. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, these that's people what are I was already doing. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Joe, Joe. It's a little bit different because yeah. he's he was actually trying to build something with like Mandy. Like he was like from, from the, the jump. Yeah. And the, the two other women that I can't remember. Speaking of, yeah. Speaking of her, shout glorious to glorious finger waves, nigga. 
Yeah, those finger waves are fucking crazy. God actually. damn. You know she uses a velvet do-rag. Yeah. Extra compression. Yeah. God damn. This shit don't let you uh, zoom in on this This thing page. got a real website. But yeah, you know, this is just another Fuck. fucking jab in the saga between these niggas. Like, you think they would ever eventually end up on mic again? Is that possible? Because all I don't the little care. petty shit. I don't. I technically. I truly do not care to see them together again. Yeah. I don't just think because I was never. Work. I was never a fan of them together. Nah, but uh, not even a fan of the chemistry. But if they would decided to just sit down and talk about just the right hash it out, type just shit. everything that happened, like not a podcast about a year in wrap up, mm -hmm. but about their personal relationship, I'd watch that nigga. We'd have to. We've talked too much about that's, that shit. Oh, that's never gonna happen. Yeah, that's never. Yeah, gonna no, no, happen. yeah, that, it's possible though. Nah, I say it's possible because bro, Joe Charlemagne, bro, fuck no. Charlemagne is way too petty. Charlemagne will like a post and then come back a month later and take the like back. This yeah. thing is not sitting down, yeah. talking about his issues with another person. Yeah, He's I wouldn't even want that. to see that. A lot of things yeah. would have to happen in between, but is I think Charlemagne would I think be Joe down would be bad. Open for it. And I don't see Charlemagne being down bad anywhere near the flight. Or Joe would have to be down bad. <laughs> nah, bro. Joe's it, pride wouldn't do that. It's yeah, not yeah, even down so. bad. Yeah. It's, it's just like, after a while, you've been beefing with the same nigga for to decades. Worry, yeah. genuinely you might forget. just be like, nigga, Professor X and Magneto, they eventually joined up at the end of the That's movie, true. nigga. We're both mutants at the end of the day. It's always too late, though. It would have to know. And then they have that conversation conversation where all like, those years me. all those years we spent fighting you know, yeah. Just, yeah. I want to see, I wanna yeah. see that conversation though that's like it's just closer to the saga you, you want to see that conversation? I would watch it. I don't know. I don't know if this saga is ever coming to a it. close, man. That's I think like the, the that's close. like when Jay Z and Nas finally sat down and had that official interview. Nobody gave a fuck, really. Well, like, that yeah. was it's different it was with like, podcasts. I remember watching it and I was like, I was hyped to watch it, and then when I was watching it, I was like, you know, I don't give a fuck. No, nah, but Kobe, when Kobe and Shaq did it, that shit was fire. At the same time, should they get along? That's what I was going to say. Like, like, should they even get along? Like, does that even make sense? The closure itself, like, movies have bad endings sometimes. Or, sometimes. Not, or not happy endings, rather. You know what I'm saying? They don't got to be happy ending, nigga. I'm not saying What's, they got to leave the I episode I would say this is a happy ending, though. They, for both of them, they, right? They went they on to do their own be, things, yeah. Well, Charlamagne doesn't seem to be happier right now. The nigga that is driving his, him absolutely mad right now. But, He's not a fan of it. Yeah, but, the ghetto news. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a glass ceiling so. to the nigga net. It, but you gotta like do you wanna just talk about that now? Cause No, we'll wait. Uh, I was about to say. Overall though, nigga, if y'all just gonna keep throwing petty jabs, I wanna see this story end. Fuck that. I don't. I wanna see I would hate to see that. I wanna see I, it culminate. So you saying you wouldn't watch it? No. Nah, do you, do you think do that. you think Charlemagne's gonna respond to him? Calling his company a shell company. Do you think the Joe Budden shots are coming out finally? It's Formally? Gloves off. Finally. <laughs> Charlamagne responds to niggas. Let's he does, not, Let's but not get it fucked up. Not directly. He, not directly. It, well, it happens sometimes. Like, no, no, it happens. I, not anymore. I feel like it depends on how strong like the it. jab was. Like, the whole shell company fucking stick, like, it didn't hurt enough. I don't think it hurts enough. Because it's I not it true. Does. You can prove it's not true. Charlamagne going to respond in some slick ass But he's going to respond probably. without saying a name, like, even though we know who he's talking about. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Joe probably would have did the same thing, but we kind of forced the nigga to say his name. Okay, well, there's two different things. Hold on real quick. You're saying it's not true that it's a shell company, right? I think they're mm -hmm. looking at it two different ways. I think Joe's looking at it the way we would look at a conversation like Drake. So, you know, mm -hmm. Drake can never be the best rapper because this is hip-hop peers. So he can never be the best rapper because he's been caught – with, writing, ghost uh, writers. with ghost writers, right? Right. Okay. But he could be the greatest entertainer. In greatest Joe's artist, mind, whatever. or journey, yeah, yeah, artist. But in Joe's, so in Joe's mind, it's like you don't have no fucking podcast company. All you did was partner with your job, and just put everybody yeah. under this umbrella. You didn't build shit. Which is his mm -hmm. biggest you like, yeah, argument with Charlemagne uh -huh. is that yeah, he yeah. always grabs some white man to hold his yeah, hand. Yeah, and you literally didn't build anything. All you did was took an opportunity that you had from a company you've been working at for ten plus years. And be able to say, I have a podcast network now and took and just give give your homies money pretty much. They're not there was no building involved in that. Mm. It's it's I can take all the YouTube creators that we fuck with, Chigs, say I get two hundred million dollars tomorrow, Jigs, Danny, Flacco, all these niggas and be like, Hey, look, nigga, I'm starting this new thing. All y'all come under me. They're giving me hundreds of millions of dollars a year to give away for advertising. I got to give it to somebody. Let me give it to my niggas who are already doing this. Y'all built that. Mm -hmm. I didn't build nothing. All I did was call you and say, come over here. That's how Joe's looking at it. But, how but that's our, not what a shell company is. But how else are podcast networks going to be built, though? Like Podcast networks are built when you develop it's, 
Each show. Each show. You it, can develop each well, show. Well, that's yeah, the purest. To, that's not always. That's the purest. Well, to the foundation. To the purest. To, to, to the, the like, purest. Yeah, to the purest, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. To so what it Joe is, is to build. Joe is a podcast purist. He how is. people treat hip-hop purists and Drake. To what it is to build a network and to have a network. Right. Like, you're producing the show. We are building one here, yes. Like, it's on house. Like, it's in-house. It's hands-on. Like. Yeah, so like we build, say we build this. If that's yes. what Joe's. To 10 shows, mm -hmm. eight out of 10 successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear shit about no that's black gonna take, but You see, know what I'm saying? If that, that's what Joe's direction is. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Which well, probably, yeah. That, that, that's how me is like the, you know, that's how most, that's, I, that's, that's how he thinks I could, about it. I could, it's but hard to do. But you wouldn't say that about a record label that signs artists. Yeah, you would. Back in why the day, would you, you would. Well, why wouldn't you say it now? Because they don't do artist development. Like, they completely like... Next, that whole like artist development thing. It's that not shit a thing is not even, It's not even part of a record. Yeah. A record label mm. now. It's like, it's like you stay over there in the hood. But that's that was going to be my. That was going to be my retort. We'll Keep doing them TikToks. We might nigga. have to go. <laughs> yeah, to we'll give you fifty thousand. We might have to go to their website because we don't actually know what the Black Flag does for these podcasts. But that's what I'm saying. They could be yes, building shit. That, they could actually be building. So something. what are they doing? They're being being a, the benefit of being a part of a network because it can't just be an affiliation. It is, and more than likely, but that's the benefit. That's the baseline benefits of having a podcast network, which mm -hmm. is why I wanted to start a podcast network. So, like, if you're going out there trying to shop for advertisements, if I'm only bringing one show, I'm only bringing one show. But I can take every show combined underneath Menace Material and be like, monthly, we're doing this many plays, this many downloads, and that will dictate the amount of money that Put they give Put it all under me. one umbrella. Exactly. And then that increases the amount of money you can get from advertisers, which is the mm -hmm. whole point. You go to a network to connect you to the money. It helps you connect to the money. You can do it independent. Adam is independent. Like mm. Adam is one of those like podcasts that like he's really YouTube based, and he's like, you see the advertisements pop up. Like the nigga got shit on the table. He's not getting r monthly reads like loudspeaker network and shit like that. They're getting monthly reads. Bree idiots. It's monthly advertising dollars coming in because they're a part of a network that's feeding them money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the benefit of all these podcasts. The problem is with the Black Effect podcast. Because when you go to some of these podcasts, you're like, okay, let's check out how many episodes they have. These episodes are seven minutes. Wait, out of these seven minutes, three of them are fucking advertisements? Is this a podcast? What the fuck is happening over here? Who's fault is that? It's no, well, it's nobody's fault. Because if it's a loose association and that's the product that the podcast is putting out, that's not Solomon's fault. That is. He signed them. He signed yeah. them, but it's not their fault. Like you saying, you said seven minutes, like it's a like it's a nag on the quality, but that's the quality of their podcast. The quality is trash, though. You can't. There's, that's there's, arguable, but like still, that has no, no, no. It's it's trash. But he's not. Producing. I don't know about this podcast is trash specifically, but I'm just saying there's several podcasts mm. on that network where they're short as like B dot the nigga the comedian mm. from North Carolina. Matter of fact. He has a podcast. Yeah. Him specifically. I, I say when you say B dot, we think of a specific nigga. Yeah, yeah I went. Not Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not talking about Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brian. That's right. Yeah. I went to his because I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't know he was signed to Black Effect. Mm -hmm. I went to his. His shit was literally like 20 minutes. He wasn't even really talking. It was weird as fuck, but it was a bunch of commercials through it. So I'm like, oh, this is just like a, you're just getting a free check from the homie. That's it. And that's the thing. The Black Effect is not a show company by definition. Yeah. But uh, what is a show company by definition? I never look it up. A show company by de Google it. Shell Company is a corporation without active business operation or significant assets. No, which I, these type of corporations are not all necessarily illegal, but they are sometimes used illegitimately. Such as to disguise the business ownership are you from sure? law enforcement. Are you sure Black Effect is in a shell company? What makes it a uh, shell company? How many, how many shows have to be not producing monthly or weekly to be considered a shell company? How many shows? Uh, you like, can't have like any just vacant properties. Yeah. It ha it's almost well, like an abandoned building of a business. Like there has to be nothing going on. Or like you, you like you no go to New York. No active business operations or significant assets. No, no, no. These types of corporations are not necessarily illegal, but they're sometimes used illegitimately, which means it could be a 50-50 it, it, thing. It's, it's a, it can be, but half the company might be a shell company. The other half might be legitimate. How's that possible? It's the same company. That's you the makeup you split of the company. Makeup in of, half? I'm just saying the makeup of the company. He's saying the, there's like there's like ten active shows for real, but the other twenty aren't really doing shit. But that's, right. still, and that's hard to tell. And they might not have uploaded in three months. And, right, right. But that uh, we don't know they do. We don't know the contract. I don't know if that's on their own merit. All I know is that there's active business operations. Even if it's ten out of forty thousand shows, that's active business operations. And significant assets. But that's Without. why that's but that's why you're gonna be 
quote unquote legal, but that's why another nigga like Joe might say, nigga, you're a shell company. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, just because yeah. you say it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, I, you one. Can say yeah, okay, so yeah, technically one makes it not a shell company by yeah, definition. Yeah, and there's like mm-hmm. at least ten, and we but speculate. Just, we we can really go through and see that, how many are active. Whole, well, no, that that whole shell company came up thing when and we were talking about the network. best best podcast network. Yeah. So when you're looking at the entire company. You start looking at those finer and details. A nigga uh-huh. like Joe Budden, it's he sees three details. shows that's like straight ads. It's gonna make him sick. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're giving Joe Budden credit that you wouldn't give to Cat Williams because he mean? hates the nigga. Like, there's a degree of like, I'm gonna not be as objective as I could be because I'm trying to diss you. We do it all no, the time. No, no, no. But no, if we look no, at no, something, no, no, I specifically no. see that there's Hold up. Factually- before before I really started going in on Charlemagne, mm-hmm. I was looking at Black Effect like I want us to be a part of Black Effect. You I went through there and I was disappointed, just like Joe's. I went through there objectively uh, when I had no just taking cheap shots at Charlemagne and getting dirty buckets for fun <laughs> over six months. You, you know, flagrant yeah, like yeah. before I was like literally purposely flagrant fouling, mm. I was on YouTube like, man, this would be the ultimate finish line for us if we can get over the black effect. And I was going through them podcasts and I said, I don't know what's going on over here. I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. I, I went through that objectively. Pure mind. Yeah. So I'm give I'm giving the proper grace. It's, I just you can understand I understand why somebody like Joe would lean into that more. Yeah, of if course. I was out here, if I felt like getting dirty buckets in this segment right now, I would too. You could just say fuck right. Yeah. Yeah. I would say yeah. fuck it too. The niggas running the shell company. But see the, I've seen it from both I can see it from both sides. It's just overall, mm. we might not like how well the network is being ran, but it is a network. They are producing content and it's definitely not a shell company. So everything else is just your personal opinion on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's you gotta be look yeah, you're looking at it as just like the average consumer. I'm looking yeah. at it as somebody as trying to run a network. And yeah. Joe's looking at it as somebody is just trying to possibly run a network or build a network. I don't know if he's trying to do that trenches as a part of it and then he yeah. does Joe But mm-hmm. but that's I'm looking at it as like I'm trying to be up there with them barstool shits. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm I'm trying to get on barstool level with men's material. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? I'm not looking at it. Barstool got 45 shows. Right. 45 of right. them are active. Mm-hmm. All active. You know what I'm so saying? So it's like, you could say... You know what I'm saying? You could say it's not a, a shell company technically, but you could also say it has shades of a shell it, company. It yeah. has <laughs> not yeah. necessarily it's some yes, shades. Necessarily. Shades of... It's shade. If, if shades. That's, shades. And that's the thing, How right? It's a tricky sh- thing because that's like... It's, it's all a scam. Like the fact that you could be... <laughs> the fact that it's you could be... Bullshit. The fact that you could be like... Kind of like fifty one percent real, and then like you know right. forty nine fake, but yeah. you you still real like yeah it, yeah yeah. It's yeah. Literally, the term a shell company is a facade. Like it's right. It, there is no like black and white. Yeah, it's just, it just caught up yeah. because shell co- like you're using a legal definition to where it's like so I get what, so what would you I get the euphemism of like it's a shell company because it's a company, but they don't really seem to be doing anything for real. But that's like. By definition, they aren't that because they. It's almost content. like yeah, but we've already, company, we've, we've crossed that bridge yeah, already. Yeah. We're past that. You're the only one that's still focusing on that. We're moved to the next part. So what's the new bridge? The new bridge. We're just saying this shit looks funny. The niggas still. don't like it. No, yeah, and it looks funny. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. If somebody who was in the no, league, let's, let's, we, we have like to it. talk uh, to him like a hooper. If somebody was in the league and uh, they were an all star <laughs> superstar <laughs> player, <laughs> all star superstar <laughs> player, right? Uh, Top notch nigga, but he only got all his buckets from the foul line. Only you'd be like, ah, he ain't really, you know. Yeah. Would you give him the MVP? Would you give him the MVP? Yeah. I don't Would think that's a that proper analogy. Not maybe it not, but, really it gives you, but it gives you what I'm saying though. It's not. It doesn't it have to connect me all the way. Try to believe what you want me to believe, but it's not the same. I wouldn't use that as a metaphor. Well, no, now we that. have to move on because that was a disgusting way of getting through that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> because, nigga, let's like, be honest, you just made some bullshit. I get up. what you're saying, but that, but, the, but, no, no, but don't like, do I'm that. not about to don't answer an that. analogy that's not the same. They don't have the same significance. I don't think it's a shell mm. company, but it is tricky. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, business yeah. can get very I, finicky yeah, to yeah. where it's like, all right, it's not a shell company, but is every show active? Right, you know, and, and is what, every show producing what is every show producing to its fullest capabilities? No, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know, mm-hmm. but it's like that doesn't mean it's a shell company, even if they're not producing to a certain capability. Right. It's weird. I don't know. I don't even is know what a way shell that we company can, is. Is there a way that we can Google what you get from signing to Black Effect? Like, what is what are they supposed to be providing for you? Ad reads. Is that on their website? Black Effect no, no, merch. No, no, we went over that. We what went over signing to signing to a network connects the podcaster to the money. 
But is that what they say is happening, or is that what most no, no, no. networks that's, do? That's the base level of what a network does. Mm -hmm. Just period. On the base like, level, though. On the base and level. And then commission Dep is the merch, the, the assets, yeah, it's, like the it's, black effect events. It's the support. It's yeah. the support. Yeah. But what happens, all right, so here at Minutes Material, right? Right. If LOI The Show keeps canceling on Sundays, is it your fault that we're not recording? Is this now a sale company because we're not producing? No. That's my point. Because we two other shows are still be producing. Yeah, two others. So we're still at over fifty percent. We've never, I've never gone through. So it's got to be percentage for you. I, for me, it would. For me, I'm leaning more towards a percentage. Like if you have like fucking, and I still would. It's not technically a shell company, sure, right? Yeah. It's like uh, we're, I'm past that. Where it's like obviously there's more than one show producing on a weekly basis. The eighty five mm -hmm. South is on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a couple shows that are on there and that are obviously producing. The, the yeah. show, Loom we won't shut the fuck up. I say we quick, agree because yeah, the yeah. only thing is it's just like at a certain percentage, it's like you're not really doing anything. Like I wouldn't and, yeah. me as somebody who's building something, mm -hmm. I wouldn't walk around with the pride of nigga. I got a fucking network that's smoking your shit. Yeah, for when, sure. When when half of my fucking network is a joke, and, I and my thing walk, is, yeah. I don't know why the other half is a joke. We're speculating on that reason because, like yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. if them niggas is not showing up to work, they not showing up to work. It they, might be one of them situations and, where they got too connected to a bag and they was like, "Nigga, this shit easy. Let's do thirteen episodes thing. a year." And Fuck another it. thing, yeah, Joe, we gotta be careful. The whole shell company thing came from Joe Budden just talking it did, shit. It did, it did, like, it that, definitely that's did. literally what it's from. Yeah. Yeah. But Nick, what would you like, to <laughs> <laughs> nigga? That's my point. That's all I've ever said. Play the tape back. Anyway, it, the, the, it's all like. We got to take it with you know a grain of salt. Yeah, because it just, came from a place of came from a place of Kevin competition. Hart versus uh, competition. Cat yeah, Williams yeah. versus Kevin Cat, Hart. Cat Williams versus Kevin Hart. But uh, but yeah, but I do know that in Danny's video, he was saying, I don't know. I think Danny heard it as along the yeah. lines of Charlemagne doesn't own iHeart. That's not the case though. Just to like. Make well, that. he doesn't own iHeart, but damn, I keep fucking yeah, that up. Black Effect, y'all know what I'm talking yeah, about. He's talking about the daddy company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's connected. like it's been pretty clear that Charlemagne is pretty avid on saying 51 he owns it, yeah, yeah. So it's like when you got the one percent advantage, you, you own, own the company. You own yeah, it. yeah. But um, out to Charlemagne though, I mean, shit. Yeah, 50 you know? percent of Duce and is debt free. Yeah, <laughs> but shit, now that I think about it, debt free is the real tag on that. 100 percent of Ace of Spades worth half a B. That's why I said that. Black Effect might be the most profitable because they had zero overhead. But you know the thing yeah. is, eventually we've you have already to, because built, we built everything that you, all yeah. I'm doing is signing, and you can respect that. And all I'm giving you is money. Literally, yeah. it's the easiest thing possible. I'm not even giving you a weekly requirement. And the thing is, you're not liable for a bunch of other shit that can happen in the process. Like, no. yeah. But doesn't that have to happen to a podcast network after a certain amount of podcasts? After what a certain happened? amount? Of, and what's, like, what, after wait. a certain amount of building that you do on your own, you have to accept new people who already built something or people you're looking out and scouting. You can give them some sort of development resource. Not, you can do some of that, but you have to add people at a certain Charlotte point. Charlotte depends on how big you want to expand. That's yeah, that's true. Depends yeah. How big you, if you want to be if you the do global like thing, that, nigga, yeah. Then you kind of have to. Yeah, if you yeah. want to be global, you have to because this right. niggas in India, you got to outsource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for us, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have it to. Just, at it some depends point. on if you want to though. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. even real. Like Barstool that. is not letting a nigga be under Barstool and not release for three months. Exactly, they're not exactly. allowing that mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like period. They're yeah. like, nigga, we signed you, we There's gave you this money, yeah, we we gave you expectations. Something tells me that those expect those same expectations aren't put on the black effect signees. I, I feel that. Of Which like is, you you have to drop maybe their drops are you have to drop once a month. And in purest podcast form, we're like, once a month, nigga, that ain't no fucking podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we're like, what are you really doing over there? You know what I'm saying? And is there like a time requirement on these podcasts? Like the time it might requirement be niggas might be twenty minutes. Really been taking advantage and of this situation. I was about to say and it might not even like, be a take is advantage Charlemagne, of thing. Is, it, yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Cause it's Charlemagne. Charlemagne Does he really have like his hand in every podcast that's on the Black Effect? No. It's impossible, no, no, nigga. No. It's, it's impossible, impossible, right? It's impossible. It's impossible for so him to keep up with could, everybody could, individually. Bro, it could literally be this nigga gave me this nigga this nigga gave me okay. four million, and I gotta spread this around, nigga. Create a podcast. Yeah. I don't give a mm -hmm. fuck what you do. Mm -hmm. Go down there. I'll walk you through the paperwork. Get an LLC. Set up the web pages, nigga, and I have to dump this money off to somebody. Mm -hmm. Why? Why not put it in my homie's pocket? They don't podcast for real. I just nah. want to get my nigga some money. Yeah. His, you know his, what I'm saying? His only hands on is a phone number. Here, call me, and I'll try to help you if I can. Yeah. You might not person. Call that person. I was just about to say you might not even get him directly. Yeah, you might just go through the board of directors or some shit. This yeah, is an easy fact. contract. You own everything. I'm mm -hmm. literally just giving you money. Yeah. Every month, you continue to do what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna write you a check. It's coming through the daddy company. Yeah. And so, 
it's it's both ways. So then you you just look at things differently. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what side of are you a podcast purist? And, are you just a podcast listener? You don't give it, a fuck about none of this shit. And right. It just depends. Like, don't like, give a damn what <laughs> we're talking no about. Fuck. Like if somebody somewhere sitting around is like, "Yo, this shit is crazy that they care this much about podcasts." Yeah, right? Yeah, literally. Yeah. But well, the people here, they definitely give they a know fuck. They know what's up. <laughs> they yeah. definitely give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the people that care this much about podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Shut yeah. up. Like, yeah, the people Facts. here are like, nah, nigga, that's some bullshit. Uh-huh. You're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it's probably a nigga in the comments right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a shell company. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and they probably, hopefully like, y'all they give. They're arguing right now with ho- us. Dude. And hopefully Literally. y'all give the definition, because I'm still a little bit uh, confused. I'm starting to think a shell company is probably like every company that ever existed probably. In some weird way, <laughs> yeah. In some I, weird I get what way, you're like, like it's somewhere along the it's line. It's always going to be where you I, can I, find I, something within I, every company. A that table qualifies. that you can pass your hand There's under. A shade of that, yeah. I think every company, like shit at McDonald's. Uh, I think every company at a certain point becomes a because versions of shell at a companies. certain point, like nah. you reach a point to where it's like I have visions. You I have, have I have dreams of shell companies now. Like I already know <laughs> I'll create like one or two shell companies just to <laughs> just to put the properties that. I, Right. I don't want people to know that I own That's it. more of yeah. what a shell company you know is used saying? for. Like, That's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. That's more yeah, of what yeah. it is. Like, so something like that, like, I don't want people to know this is my house or this, these properties mm-hmm. are mine. Mm-hmm. I'll create an LLC in Nevada because mm-hmm. yeah. I don't have to get my legal name, mm-hmm. the register it in North Carolina. <laughs> There's Wait, a lot of uh, Most companies. niggas have yeah. shell companies because they create LLCs and ain't Drug dealers have exactly. shell yeah. companies. Shit like that. Yeah. Shit, LOI yeah. was a shell company for like three years. It was just a thing. It was a thing niggas said. And a bunch of legal. Activity. It was a verbal yeah. agreement. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. All right, let's get into. Uh... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get into um, Bray Idiot. So um, let's get into the Negro Net. The Nigga Net. <laughs> well, well ER. Net. No, do y'all want to ER. start on that? Jesus, white man. Well, that's yeah, what Charlemagne did it once. <laughs> we can do it too. Yeah, let's start there. So Charlemagne on his most recent. Uh, episode of Bray Idiots. I actually really want to start here. I think it's more important to start here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. What was y'all why did y'all why was the the Bray Idiots like one of y'all favorite podcasts? Um and cuz that was first. could we all agree that that was pretty much all of oh, our man. first regular my favorite podcast? First yeah, favorite podcast. Yeah, it's for sure. Pretty consistent, right? The Every reason I started listening to other right? podcasts personally. Yeah, 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 right. It was the one that introduced us to the podcasting world period, right? I think they made me think that I could do this shit. Right. So, Honestly. Yeah, yeah, my my question is why? Why? Well, because at the time it was it was hilarious, and well, it was just it's a certain type of nigga. You get what I'm saying? Like the br- the branding for it is perfect because everybody's a brilliant idiot. Well, not everybody, but there's some specific brilliant idiots. I know like what you mean. all of your homies are brilliant idiots for sure. We all kind of halfway know some shit, and then we just fuck around with our way to figuring it out. Yeah. There was the classic ex- examples of that shit. Yeah. yeah, bring it is. I mean, one it had Charlemagne, so it's like that's easy. Because we were already bought in uh-huh. from the Breakfast Club, right? and then it yeah. had Andrew Schultz, which is like we didn't he know he was it. a vague figure, but I the fact that Charlemagne was kind of doing a podcast. My with him, love that was for enough. Andrew had to grow, bro. Yeah. It Facts. grew. That's, it had like to grow. Like at first, yeah. he was like, "Yo, who's this white nigga that be it was, talking?" It grew it was, as funny yeah. as he got. Yeah, and, and literally, yeah. and then it went down. There was a point in time when it went down. All right, yeah, Andy. he kind of lost. All right, his, and then it shot back up. Then it skyrocketed. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I liked All Right, Andy. I was one of the, I was too. a fan. Well, sometimes I, I liked it. Sometimes he got far. He went too until far. like the episode would die. Yeah, and well, it would, it, we yeah. would just be like spinning tires for like when an hour. Die. You know what I mean? But like, even some of that shit was fun. It just, it just depends on what you like. Yeah, <laughs> See, listening yeah. to the brilliant idiots back in the day, it was like niggas making light of some serious shit, made it funny, but like also I walked away like. With new perspectives. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's niggas that think like you. But made it funny as shit. And I was like, damn, I never thought about it like that. But they mm-hmm. did it jokingly. And then they yeah. always had Wax on there who just made shit hilarious. Yeah, wax I think, yeah, we do. Wax we was their babe roof. Yeah, we yeah. definitely yeah. can't sleep on the Wax. Uh, Edition. Yeah, the, the Wax just touches. Just the. Perfect. Just taking the celebrity shot. Oh, my God. Pod, Nigga, there was episodes where Charlemagne wasn't there. And it was probably really fine because we had soaps and wax. Yeah. Yeah. Like, them niggas the, ripped for an hour and 49 show was so minutes. Strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was just like, uh, I think that was the first show that, yeah, it was like, these are really friends. And it's it, it, made, it put everything into a reality. And they mm-hmm. was going for it. And it was really made, every, it put everything into a reality where it was like, Sometimes they have some brilliant shit on there because they might have a brilliant nigga gunplay might be on there. There's uh-huh. so many legendary episodes you can just name off real quick. Yeah, they were good hosts. Like they're, they're good. They're good hosts. They're talented. Like, and it was good, right? And it was but 
in its recent years. And honestly, before we started this show, before we started mm. this show, I had already fallen off of Brilliant Idiots. And it was like a natural fall off. It wasn't a, it wasn't a uh, one thing happened in an episode and I got to the point where I was like. You got an oh. ick. Yeah, I got yeah. an ick. It was just like slowly over time, I stopped caring. Mm. Bray Idiots dropped. I was on it the first moment. It, the shit notified my phone. Mm. I'm pressing play, right? Yeah. But then it got to slowly to where I'm like, I'll wait a couple of hours. Maybe I'll wait a day. Maybe I'll wait a week. Yeah. Maybe I'll miss a week. And, and, it's, and it got to that. This is before I even met y'all. You know what I'm saying? I had gotten to that point around like 2017-ish. You know, some and was it, was it Was that the era that it felt like they wasn't taking this shit serious? Now that was a little bit more recently than that. That was more recently. They would fuck around and not record an episode, not say shit. The episode would come late all the time. It was like 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still before that because 2020, I was working at a coast. So you had been off of being idiots for some years. I'm about to say, bare minimum, you was off for some years. 17, 17 is when 18. By the time 2018 came around, I was watching. One every other month, maybe. Word. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had yeah. completely fallen off at that point. Yeah, I wasn't like that far, but I definitely fall off. I was just yeah. like, it was just natural. It was just like, I'm on different shit. Yeah, and it just didn't seem like shit was just weird. You like, know what I'm saying? There was like, probably a lot of stuff going on behind the camera that just we heard in the audio experience. And because I couldn't, like, I can't, it leaked over. Yeah, because I couldn't articulate why I stopped watching it, but. Yeah. Now I can like because now we started watching it again. Now that we've started this show, it's like I'm on all these podcasts. <laughs> you remember again. why you hated it? Yeah, yeah. It was I remember? Yeah, what's the, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like I remembered why I stopped hating it, and it was just like it's like the soapbox moments. It's like Charlemagne standing on a soapbox for one hour straight, an hour and a half straight, and driving the same Message. relentless fucking point on. Yep. You used to say that a lot, too, and I never yep. understood what you meant by That's that. That's what I was talking about. But it's just like, God damn, it's so annoying, bro. Yep. It's like... What was the point being made? The one in this one? No, one like, this that he kept honing in on. Like, that Oh, this, this, was, this episode was focused on the... Oh, all, it was just an episode. I thought you meant it was something that happened over a series of episodes. No, 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 no. Mm. I'm just talking about, like, recently and even in the last... Since the last year, since I started watching every single week again, mm -hmm. I'm like, this is why. It's like, there's so many things with the brilliant idiots that could be great again. It's like, but it's just not there, bro. Charlemagne, if he's irritated by something, it carries throughout an hour and a half. The whole way through. It, it doesn't matter what subject we talk about. Yep. It doesn't matter how funny Andrew tries to make it. It doesn't matter if Andrew tries to... Play ball. Get, get his friend out of this slump that he's in. Yeah. To let's go back to just joking about it. It's... The nigga just refuses to leave. This Nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. It's, it's, yeah, He'll say he that just, over and yeah, over. Or, or just repeat his nigga net thing yep. or, whatever or whatever it is. his thing is. You know, whatever his driving message is for this podcast, mm. we can't escape it. And it's just terrible for a listening experience. This most recent episode is the nigga net, right? Mm. No matter what subject they brought up, it ended with the nigga net. I hate the nigga net. The nigga net's not real. Blah, 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 blah. Are, are we on the nigga net? Is bro, this the nigga net? We're yeah, definitely well, on the nigga net. We're sure. on the nigga net right now, but yeah. that's until we start dropping twice a week. Drive is mm, in the yeah. nigga net, too. Oh, we got to work more it to become is, the white net nigga? Uh, eh, you know, <laughs> Lauren worked his ass off to get that claim, so yeah, we have to, too. Say it properly, cracking it. It just kind of seemed like he's getting tired. He's tired of, like, the petty shit. Like, showing up every day for podcasts to just talk about nonsense. Well, quit then. Yeah. Quit. Stop. I don't disagree with that. Stop. Stop then. Stop. Like, why do you, first of all, why are you so offended at the nigga net when the nigga net built you? Let's not get it fucked up. Mm -hmm. The Breakfast Club was nigga net, period. No, no he helped build the you, nigga net. You laid the foundation. Let's mm -hmm. not get it mm -hmm. fucked up. Mm -hmm. You yeah. built the foundation to the nigga net. Preach. That's number one. <laughs> he brought niggas to the net. You brought niggas to the net. For sure. <laughs> and, and, and when niggas wasn't on the net, you was on Vlad DVD. With a lot of different styles. It wasn't just all ignorant. Yeah, you was on, yeah, yeah, you, you was on he Vlad. Was, he was doing smart shit. He, he was, was sniffing Vlad. asses. He was doing a couple different things. He was doing a, a couple different things. You was bringing per, uh, fucking being a pervert. You was bringing nigga activity, all types of shit. And it kind of, sniffing shit. Bro, this actually thing. makes yeah. perfect sense because it's one of them situations where you, hate what you've built. you don't even, like, you realize what you raised and the niggas are junkie. The, I don't even think it's that. Uh, I don't even think it's that. I well, to be fair, to be fair, let me correct myself. Troy Terrain, star, built the nigga net. He laid the foundation. Charlemagne evolved it. 
Yeah, that was the, yeah. that was the next. That Star was the, brought niggas to the net. Yeah, they, with the trolling and shit like that. That was like, hmm. that was that was if he laid that foundation, then in urban space, mm -hmm. then Charlemagne morphed it into the next level of mm -hmm. what it was now. Okay. Today, you know what I'm saying? But you're long story, But long story short, it's like. It's frustrating as fuck that my favorite podcast of all time, mm -hmm. literally of all time, I can't watch anymore because you've aged out of the content that you make every single day, Monday through Friday. And it's like, if you're sick of the content that you make, because still to this day, when you turn on The Breakfast Club, that is nigga net material. Yep. So you wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. every day, Monday through Friday, and you make nigga net material. Uh -huh. You make that every day. Mm -hmm. Then you go to a podcast. You contribute to the nigga net. The brilliant idiots. Brilliant idiots. Nothing about this is supposed to be educational. Mm -hmm. There's education in there. We have Chris Monroe in the back for that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But it's for y'all to spin his truths. Andrew, let that nigga cook, do his thing. Mm. You throw him lobs, he dunks it. You We're know supposed to be having fun. We're supposed fun. to be having fun. fun Eno nigga. And enough yeah. facts to where we don't get sued. But that's at the it. end of the yeah. day. That's but, it. Mm. Yeah. I, it's like, why do I? It's like, you're sick of it. This First of all, you you spend an hour and a half saying this shit doesn't bother you and you're above it, but that you can't get off of it, nigga. It's driving you crazy, nigga. It's literally mm. consuming your life. If it wasn't that big of a deal, why does it bother you so much? These niggas, these white mm. YouTubers are out here dropping 40 on you, dropping Post Malone videos um, <laughs> about how you're ignorant to Post Malone, nigga. You need to be more concerned with that. He's They, they fucking up your, de your target de demographic that you're trying to go over to. Uh -huh. You're trying to leave us and go over to them white folks. They just made a hit piece on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they they made a hit piece on you that, that looked like a black man that hates white men. But you know, so, you know what I'm saying? It's like you don't, I don't think get that it. there's any validity to like thinking that there's a glass ceiling on the nigga net. Like there's only so sure. far that you can go in that realm. Nobody's denying that. And I'm so not denying that. At you least. can't really blame a nigga for trying to break out of that. Is he trying to break out of it? No, he's not. I he think goes, he's already that's out. That's what right? it seems like. He's already out. Well, no, no, that, no, that's a makes, whole different conversation. No, 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 no. He's he's in it. He goes to Breakfast Club every day. Breakfast Club is nigga net. Period. Nah, he half got, the show is nigga net. He got his passport on the white side though. Like he's out. Like he's not just in the nigga net. But Charlemagne. He's, he's complaining about something he's contributing to. He's I think complaining that's about something is, he clocks into every day. I think day. that's what. But the that, thing his is, point is, niggas will say he he contributes to the nigga net nonsense. But then when he tries to get political, that's also with this. And I do agree with your take where you don't get tr uh, credit for participation. You got to be good. Yeah. But the nigga is trying. That's fine. Trying how? He's trying. Like it just seems like he's trying to expand out of that shit with that's, all the the Daily Show appearances. That's fine. You can do white two things at the same time though. You can expand and still contribute to your show the way you used to, like properly. I never said that you could. Okay, it's hard to do that. And I, I made this put like you can't be the CEO and the host. Like it's hard. It's not too many niggas do that. It's true. But it's a weird position to be. That's in. why I said he got. This, he that. got. He got to lean into platforms that allow him to, like YouTube. I, I don't know what Charlamagne does. If it bothers him this does. much, stop contributing to it, which means stop going to the Breakfast Club. But we yeah. won't do that. We're not gonna. You're not gonna stop going to something that built you. Let's not act like that type of. Well, content. isn't he on contract? Yeah, he's on contract. It's like you're not gonna quit. I like you're, you're not, not just gonna go up and leave. I that shit. You're not gonna quit. But now, it's like, at the end of the contract, he's singing don't, a you, different tune. Then it's like, all right, it yeah, makes sense. Then yeah, you he know was thugging it out for the last three years because that's what he had to do. And he did, but that's hypothetical. He did say that he has an expiration date, bro. Give us that. Give us the number, bro. What's the number that you're gonna quit doing this? Because <laughs> you tired I, of you tired, tired of this of nigga this flaking. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. I don't. Don't nobody want to go. You fucking up fun, the fun space. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, there's a ceiling. Niggas as business owners, we already know that. I've already making the plays. I've talked to niggas. You know the conversations that I've had with niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's uh -huh. like you. Try to throw out no fucking uh, juvenile advice, nigga. Niggas, is big. we've already thought about all these things. You know what I'm saying? Like, how old is Charlemagne? Forty five. Yeah. Like, do you think you can't make it to fifty acting like this? Do you if you want to contribute and clock into the nigga net every day, just quit, my nigga. Like, and stop bitching about it. Have fun. Andrew Schultz looks miserable at fucking brilliant. At brilliant idiots sometimes. Period. Sometimes Andrew Schultz bored looked, at least at bare minimum bored, he look a little bored. bored at least depending on the episode. We don't know maybe, what flight he took. He maybe is. miserable, maybe bored to miserable, bro. One or the other. <laughs> there are the times. show ain't fun. There, there, there are times. Hell. They still have their moments, and but it's. I was just yeah. about to say they still. It's not they completely the, dead. It's, no, no, it's not completely dead, but there's more of the. That sounds more, so sad. There's more, though. 
They're not completely like dead. Schultz can't hide it anymore. He can't and, hide the fact that he's also fed up. And you see, this is the this is the fucked up part about like listening to podcasts and getting really invested in the podcast host because as they're making the content, they're actively living their life and coming to these conclusions on their own. But they yeah. still got to arrive to this microphone every day of the week that they fucking record. Mm -hmm. So we don't even know really like the mind space of this nigga. He might have been struggling with this for a while. Like, who am I? What I really want to do and all that fucking middle age shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing and that our show popped up in the middle of his fucking midlife and crisis. And fucking pressure on this nigga. <laughs> so now he really has to figure out what the fuck he wants to do. <laughs> you got niggas documenting this shit, nigga. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, like if if Act was going through this two years ago, he'd be in the clear, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Nah. He got us documenting every fucking week when he do some goofy shit. You right, know? right. Yeah. I just hope at 45, I'm not still caught up in like talking about Blueface fucking somebody else's bitch. Yeah, that's I can it. understand being fed up with that shit. Yeah, I can too. I can definitely too. And it's the thing, bro. There's nothing wrong with. It depends. It depends on what angle you take. Yeah, that's you, true. Because it's like that's be that's a part about it. Like that's, that's a part that's of part the part fun of part. That's the fun part. Where it's like some shit like Blueface and Krishan, like that's some stupid shit. Yeah. But it's like yeah. that's some. It's like what disappoints me but, the most too is that. And you can also talk about I don't know Israeli war, like whatever smart shit yeah, yeah, yeah. that you deem smart that isn't nigga net. They talk right, about right. that type of shit, yeah. which is cool. They talk about what's going on. Yeah. You can talk I'm about it all. I'm gonna tell you the thing that really like fucking you know it really grinds my gears. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's how you know it annoys me. Yeah, use it's just grinds, like, use. what grinds my gears is that like radio broadcasting, comedy, musicianship. Mm -hmm. These are all fields that you get better with time. Yes, this nigga is plummeting in terms of entertainment value. Like, it's not making any mm -hmm. sense. And mind you, you well, they're all professions where you could get better with. That time. is true. That is it, true. It's that not true. expected that you do. <laughs> Most of the time, they're getting better with time, though. Because and like, that's, a, like yeah. a comedian at 50, 60, normally, this nigga's normally hitting stride. I, I, I think you mean with life, you get better with time. Like, normally, most you life, life, you get life. better with time. Yeah. Nigga, fuck sports. Bro, yeah, and, and like, it's yeah. like, bro, bro, it's like, uh -huh. my nigga. Bro, this shit is getting sad to watch, my nigga. You get sick of us talking about it. I'm getting sick of watching it. I'm getting sick of watching a nigga that I thought was in his prime back in the day. Mm. All of a sudden, bitch, and complain about the same shit that he still contributes to and does. It was built off of. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, why is that bothering you so much? Mind you, I don't know how much of that. I'll never forget that point, that moment when he said, um, all that shit was not me back in the day. But you see, but this that is was the his therapist speaking. This we don't even, was that his therapist speaking? Uh, that's what it yeah, sounds like, nigga. Himself, it wasn't him. Who and knows? And that, nah, that was being, him. That, that was, was him. That was around the time when he was getting brainwashed. Yeah, so well, but, oh, what, it depends on what you mean by what is him. Like, is he a nigga who would actually sniff a bitch seat? Probably not in real life. That's what I'm but saying. But are yeah. you willing to do it on camera just for entertainment and personality? Yeah. Yeah, yes. that's where the disassociation is to where... I'm not actually this guy. Right, right, or, right. Okay, yeah, true. But uh, I'm not even look I'm not even looking for him to get nasty like that. Yeah, like that's that's that. okay. It's just an example. That. I'm not yeah, saying no, that no, that's I what know, we want. I know what yeah. you mean though. But it's just home. like uh. bro, bro, it's just like if you just go in PC, bro, I just don't understand his PC is silence. His PC is silence and it's Repeat the same thing over and over again. Uh, repeat the same thing shit over and over again. Repeat the same thing over and over again. That's what old people which, do. Which is Joe's Fuck like no. whole. I told you it was the radio. Yeah, which is thing. Joe's whole like them. thought process of like, you can say whatever you want. It just depends on the words you say and how you say it. Like Joe you can say, you can touch on any touchy subject. Joe right. was cooking you still. You get what I'm saying? Joe was definitely cooking still, but the only, the only caveat to that is they didn't start at the same time. That's true. Start. That's the only caveat. Like he's a little bit early in the game. He might have more time for the bullshit. I'm just thinking of like all these people that I held up to this high esteem or stuff. I'm like, Okay, bro, long story short, this is what I'm really trying to say. This nigga's not having a graceful exit out of the nigga net. That's nah. what I'm saying. Like, you built, you you are built off the nigga net. This, period. Yo, it might be one of them situations. And, to, and it's you literally, hate it, it's, and now you're having a terrible it's, fall. It's one of them situations where he knows it's bad for him, but that shit just gets him very high. And it, no, it's it's gets them very high. It's literally so it's hard to not. It's hard to just leave it alone, but you were reluctantly yeah. using it. it and it's literally it's just, that's what it's every ad explains. This, this nigga loves that shit more than us, nigga. And every you aspect, on vacation, nigga. and every Enjoy aspect yourself. of sports, the OGs are always going to talk shit about the new niggas. Yeah. Like Michael Jordan complained, like all oh, these niggas just complained about fouls. When like you do your research, and it's like they changed the, I would have never thought the from, sport I of basketball you, I for never, Michael Jordan. I would have never thought it would be coming from Charlemagne though, ever. 
Yeah, thought, no, yeah. niggas would have never said, why is Michael Jordan saying this? Joe the Budden same is shit. the last the person shit. that I would have thought would have been like, nigga, pull up. I got an opportunity for you. He's like the I'm last saying. person? No, nah, I can why? see that. Yeah, why would that be? No. I, I don't watch him enough either. Yeah, I, I didn't watch him sure. enough either. Honestly, it makes a lot that. more sense to Charlamagne. It makes more yeah, sense. Way more sense. Joe I thought Joe, no, Charlamagne was giving out so many assists for so many years, nigga. No, it was like, what the fuck? Different. He was but, giving out assists, but, it was, but he didn't talk about shit from the creative perspective for real like that. Mm. Charlamagne, and I think Joe, like is, Joe does at least. Joe is more in love with the game of podcasting. Like, you can just tell by how he talks about this shit. think Charlamagne hates podcasting now? Not that he hates podcasting, but he doesn't have the same level of passion for it anymore. That's yeah. obvious. Look at them niggas on mic. But isn't it crazy Joe that he Joe loves started talking and, that shit. But isn't it crazy that he started a network in his hate for it? Like, mm. in well, his post-love for different, it? It's different playing the game and coaching the game. It's, okay. He might not want to shoot shots up anymore, but he might want to help the next shooter get yeah, shots like, up. Yeah, like, this is something yeah. he's done for so long. At this point, it's like, that's his exit route. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not even really invested in podcasts anymore. I'm invested in Watching it and owning it, and you know what I'm saying, whatever. Yeah, he don't care about being. You the best think Charlamagne sees the brain idiots the same way that he sees the Breakfast Club? Is that it's a rotating position? You think he's he's using nah. that? Way? Nah, I think no, brain nah. idiots is the one that he holds like near and dear. Like to that's him, the yeah. one that's going. Even when he's retired, like he might still fuck around and do brain and idiots do it, type yeah. shit. Yeah. Just because it's like that's the homie right there, mm-hmm. and it's just pure. Podcasting is, probably a lot podcasting of right is the purest yeah. form of talking shit on yeah. camera, on microphone, yeah. on anything. Not a nigga repeating himself and editing himself and not saying anything for an hour and a half. That's just he's annoying. not doing anything, bro. Annoying. But yeah. it's probably he's nostalgia getting on too. that show and he's not. Mm-hmm. We're catching one good episode a month, bro. Mm-hmm. It's nostalgia for him. He's maybe he's, he's, like, one good episode a month. One it's banger, not that bad. One banger, yeah, one, uh, yes. banger a month. Yeah, but one that, banger a month. We yeah. at least got three a month. Back in the day, if we, they was hitting at one hundred percent back in the day, they was hitting at one hundred percent. But you can't expect that forever. I can't expect that forever. But only LeBron. Everybody's Vangers. getting better. This nigga Schultz is getting better. I mean, his he's younger. His solo podcast is not, but like, uh, he's younger. He's getting better. Overall. I think he's more. Hard. I think we're looking at. He's an old man Who that's can, ready to lead a game, but he, he kind of still want to play the game. That's what I'm saying, niggas. It, you can't weird. be doing this double dutch shit. This shit's fucking annoying, bro. It's <laughs> it's annoying as shit, dog. Like. God damn, bro. AJ so wants you to figure period. your life out, nigga. Figure it out. Pick Harry the fuck up, too, yeah. dog. Because it's like, who, nobody wants to hear you complain and stand it on the sofa. It you. Bro, why? I understand, though. Who wants it's like, to listen to a nigga complain for an hour and a half? Nobody. Like, why are you still? About some shit you yeah. contribute to every fucking day. Nobody. Yeah. Period. Some shit that you still do. The shit that made you. Nobody wants to hear that shit. You can grow past what made you. <clears throat> nobody also wants to hear... I also don't want to be. I also, I also want you to get better. I also don't want to see that you have an interview with somebody and know what kind of questions and what kind of answers and conversation I'm going to get. Yeah. Almost everything Charlemagne does, it doesn't matter if it's brilliant idiots and Breakfast Club, nigga. We know what questions are same coming. Questions. We same know what conversation. We know it's the same angle, bro. Mm-hmm. It's the same yeah. nigga over and over again. It's which it's rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, yep. rinse and repeat. That's what I was there's no you. there's no growth in that skill set, like. Bro, we joke about the shit all the time. Shut, let's just do five Charlemagne questions. Like we've interviewed questions. Like, what are, what are his go-to talking points? We, mm. it's a fucking joke. It's an inside yeah, it's joke a, at this joke. point that we know what we're walking into. Yeah. And, but the, the more last, thing about it, you could probably do that with everybody if you listen to him long enough. There's gonna be reoccurring themes. There's I can't. I, no, no, not it, with everybody. I, I'm not gonna lie. It's easier with him. I'm not. Yes, I'm not denying yeah. that at all. It's way easier with him. The best but you interview, can do that it's with radio, anybody bro. you listen to. The radio got him washed. Like he has to do that on radio. I was about to say, you, that's what's done it. Talking what? about Charlemagne. The best content. Him? The best content that I got from Charlemagne last year in terms of just like, well, this nigga's actually talking and like not just like focused on one fucking point was the Loon interview that he did. And that was because Loon had so many fucking questions for him. I'm like, damn, yeah, Loon was and it wasn't nigga net shit. Uh, yeah, it was more about broadcasting and like just the game overall in general. And, and and yeah, he Big wasn't Slaw. asking him about who fucked whose bitch. Yeah, he wasn't. But that's the that's the whole thing though. Well, Brent Idiots in particular, it's like what? Uh, what? Brent Idiots in particular, it's like you're supposed to take those dumbass stories and just make fun of them anyway. You know what I mean? You're like, supposed to if you still got the heart. Or just like, talk about like, whatever, whatever like else the, you want like to. Like on the last episode, bro. He's like, all right, Taylor, let's see what you got. Let's see if I give a fuck. It's like, why'd you come today? You sub somebody in, my nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, Is it like an Andre 3000 situation? To where we want something very specific from this nigga. No, it's how Gilbert no. Arenas feels about Vince Carter. It's just like, nigga, you had all of this. Oh, nah. nah I, to, where, it, yeah, to where it's just like, you have everything you need, but like, it's something wrong. 
Like, is it just... He's not attached to his It's the work ethic. Yeah, it's it's obviously the work. not the work ethic. The nigga works. Yeah, he works. But it's just the yeah. excitement that it comes from actually being on the show. It's the Like, you're just kind of over, like, his kind of, like, whole, you know, melancholy vibe of, you know, like, no, yeah. No, or this t- just... Dis- this nigga, dis- he hates that shit. Yeah. He hates it. It's not even, like... Yeah. He's not even nonchalant. He's not... I would actually... Resp- I think it wouldn't be as bad... I wouldn't be as mad if he, like showed up and was like lazy through it he's passionately hating it as he's doing it i'm like well, he might the, have to go back the fuck? To, why do you hate it so much he might have to go back to like deciding what he wants to talk about beforehand because you know taylor's deciding all that shit you know what oh, i'm saying yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know yeah, how yeah. like you are putting together so many of these topics mm-hmm. so you're much more connected to them right right yeah. like on, on this show even right, compared right. to three oak yeah, you know what i'm saying sure, like yeah, for sure. it's but like you've decided already like nigga this shit is irking me i gotta get this off right so right, once right. charlamagne gets to doing that type of shit again it might be good. But he's probably closed off that side of his brain to where, like, the, the shit side. I want to talk about. Yeah. Well, uh, sometimes. Well, yeah, he's, we'll just, he's, just, he's just looking at, he, at he, he, what's he going definitely on. chooses. He picks and chooses. Based on what is being handed to him. And you know ba- what I'm saying? Based on, like, the easiest thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and, like, you probably should do that. You're not just going to accept everything or just talk about shit that you don't really No, that's, and that's a about. fact. That's, yeah. But if you don't yeah, give a fuck that much, then now it's time to be a little as more a person, hands-on. Like, who's no, Charlemagne? I do agree with that. Who's Charlemagne that. and yeah. what he stands for as in the culture? Like, I mean, I, I would put it, like, on Joe's level oh, to boy. where it's like, nigga, you got, like, a duty. Like, you need to speak on shit. But, but that's oh, yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. He's sure, already served. Joe was still early in his in his allegiance to the army and shit. He ain't like, early, but not early. You saying Charlemagne has already served it, his? He's already like Radio Hall of Fame. He gave his decades worth of good broadcasting and all that shit. Like, so, is it his duty for it to still be given the hot takes? If you Tom. still show up to work, yeah. Is that I what you, I get what you're saying? From Charlemagne, the guy. I nigga. get what you're saying. That's I, our job, nigga. I, I get what no, you're I'm saying. I'm expecting. No, I'm expecting. I get what you're saying, and takes. I understand like the point and the yeah. context of which all of this is coming from. But at the end of the day. I would never want to see LeBron just score 10 points. I don't give a fuck. The yeah. day it gets that low, just leave, dog. Yeah. You're LeBron. Oh, oh, you're LeBron, my nigga. Yeah. So, yeah. But from a consumer standpoint. I feel like you're not being honest. Like, it, it just with a couple things right now. Nah, like, just, from a consumer standpoint, I agree. I just don't think it's as bad as y'all niggas. I still don't say y'all. It's mainly AJ. So, okay, it's AJ and whatever you believe in it. Oh, but terrible. it's just be. You, on certain points, you're not being honest. I don't honest. look for him because I'm not expecting that from that nigga anymore. What are you expecting? That's what it is. You're just expecting niggas to get participate. You're just at this point in time. You're just happy to see a nigga show up. At this point in time, I'm just glad to listen to Andrew and Charlemagne talk. I, I'm one of them niggas that I'm such a brand idiot fan. I'm a ride to the wheels fall off. Bro, now, I still listen. Two I'm still years listen from now, you. two years from now, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna think about them niggas. I so, might get to that point that you were. But wait, I still listen every week, and I can have I these conversations and say the same thing. Like I can still agree you with can't what they're saying. It. He can't say what. I, I, say I what? Listen, what I have listen. I not agreed to? You exactly. Have a, you have a wholeheartedly it. agreed. Like, because if, I got a wholeheartedly I mean, agreed I mean, with you niggas. Well, let me put it this way. Fuck, yeah, this, yeah, is not dog, dog, nigga. Nigga. this is not dog. This is not dog with me, nigga. It feels less objective and more like there's still a little bias no, on your side. No, I'm just trying to see it from a different angle because everybody well, no, complain. I feel that. I feel that. You're right. I'm observing the same thing as you niggas. I just feel like there's a different reason for what happening. That's fair. That's, That's all I've ever said. That's fair. But you know, we should. Just and I just all gave you my. I just gave you one of my reasons. So uh, like, you know, and I said so I just gave you one of my yeah, reasons too. So like, I understand. What That's you're what I'm saying. I agree. I, I have not disagreed with nothing y'all niggas say. And, and nobody think it's egregious. And I think it's a different reason. For Nobody's some of that going shit. as hard as AJ as he said. But yeah. we do agree. Yeah, true. See, because this is personal. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's personal, but don't. Like it's with you too. It's personal. How is it personal? I hear the emotional attachment. <laughs> in your voice. Yeah. And like, I don't want to like say it like that. I can't disagree but it's with like, the nigga. But I hear like Charlemagne. Like I was twelve years old. Like that's the guy. Like no, uh-huh. we're just talking. Like right now, he's LeBron and he's scoring ten points. Uh, and it's like he needs to do something about it. And I feel that. But we are not anybody to tell LeBron James to fucking retire. We uh, no. LeBron uh, James can retire when he but, wants to. We can complain about him when he does it. Well, but, we, but nigga, well, it's up to but, LeBron James when he leaves the but game, it's also right? Our, our our job to talk shit to him mid game, like nigga, you lost it. You yeah. know, or, or, or at least during <laughs> halftime, yeah. like, look, I know you're tired, you're sweating and shit, but dog, my nigga, we really <laughs> need to stop right now. <laughs> yeah. We really need to stop, Charlemagne. We, we love to, to stop. I need to stop for getting not that bad. Make it clear. He's not. Y'all keep saying he's at ten he's points not, per game. He's bad. not as bad. As the hypothetical nah, he, joke, yeah, uh-huh. but right. uh, yeah, but nah, overall, like I'm saying, like you're saying, like he's not as bad as he is, 
or as he has Nigga, been. Nigga, what did you just say? Like, I heard him. My I heard him. him. I heard him. Because I, I, like, I, I see both perspectives. Right. I really don't have a viewpoint because it's like I see where y'all coming from, but at the same time, like when he makes a point mm. and you say some shit, I'm like, Tone, you didn't answer the question because it's like it, what did I not answer? Because I hear it too. Yeah, I hear it too. <laughs> what didn't get answered? <laughs> like right, for so instance, we'll like, say it again. For instance, when like specifically, right? Mm -hmm. We just and I don't want to make it broad. We can rewind this shit. I don't want to make it broad, but just overall, there's certain points and times mm -hmm. where. Like, it's objectively okay to say, yeah, like, Charlemagne's some ass right now. And I didn't say that. You didn't say that? I didn't that. say he wasn't as good as he used to be. Or... Mm -hmm. I don't remember that, honestly. But, uh, and that's the thing. That's, <laughs> no, that's, the, that's the weird, yeah, that's the weird position whatever. Charlemagne is in, right? Like, because I... Because yeah. it's just... Like, we want him to actually say what's on his mind. And like, I would we, like him to get better with time, too. At no point I, would, time, I would love to hear what you have to say. Be, because yeah, it's and, obviously... And it's, don't go around the point. Because you, you don't just go like, from like buying your friend a mold of possibly your ass to like being this PC. This like there's crazy. no... There's an in-between there to which, like, all right, you're blocking off either the well, real you or the fake you. There's still a so, whole lot of gay humor. That never left. Gay humor. I'm just saying as in it's, terms. It's disgusting, how much is I'm, it's disgusting how much replaced all Everything levels else. of conversation. It's, it's just the whole aspect yeah. of that yeah. person, like the yeah. type of person you need to be. Mm -hmm. You get what like, I mean? To smell a seat. The Granted, nigga, it was Mariah Carey, The right? nigga has a topic. Oh, some other the nigga has a topic. topic. He does this every topic. So blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, probably have it. This is fake anyway. And like, like I told you last yeah. time, man, this is what's gonna happen. This is nobody cares about the mm -hmm. fucking truth. And then the lies more entertaining. He, he won't say nothing. And then a gay joke come up. The nigga perks up, and we get the energy <laughs> that we had ten years ago. It's like, can I get some energy on anything else? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I don't want to hear. A, you the only nigga just the only time I get active. You get active and creative is on a gay joke. But I'm too old for that shit, nigga. And you, I'm too old for that shit, bro. And it's really like. And that's the thing, because a podcast, like what a podcast is, it's kind of changed throughout the years. For sure. Because yeah. of like, you know, I guess they kind of did it to themselves of how entertaining they was back then to where it's it like, like they were too good. That's, a podcast was never really supposed to be that entertaining overall. Yeah. Like it's kind of just supposed to be, you know, the fact that it like really if you go to Joe Rogan's old podcast, that's what a podcast is. It's just like kind of nothing, bro. I'm like not gonna lie. Yeah, like but podcasts are loads, man. It's like, to be like NPR, talk, like but, talk radio wasn't even this popular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but as podcasts, but when are, you add Charlemagne, is, yeah. who is like a professional at talking, and then Andrew Schultz, then who is an upcoming professional comedian, it, it yeah. kind of it molds into something different. Niggas, which is like this, you put this gas on this this basic ass. It's thing. a TV show without the watching. You get yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's just listening. So, I don't know. It's a little weird, but I mean, shit. You shouldn't have never been so great in the past, nigga. Like, <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah. I want the best of you, nigga. And on top of that, and it's like, and he hasn't been as bad as you're making it seem. But he has. I'm definitely gonna still, put extra sauce on it. Though. But he still <laughs> needs to try. He still needs to try. I never said he doesn't. Oh, I'm try. not saying that. Both of y'all have gone too far in your respective ideals. I don't sure. think like, I'm going very far at all. Because, because, I get what you're saying. Because, I'm because coming, you're, I'm you're not saving, going too far. You're saving you're, him too much. And you're going further than he is. Well, I'm, I'm coming fresh off the last Brain Eddie's episode, so Facts. I'll be taking this weekly from now on. <laughs> so it's, it's an every week we go yeah. judge. It's a new yeah. grading scale. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you fucking complain and stand on a soapbox mm. next week, I'm coming with the same fucking Which is energy. a fair point. You can't yeah. be in the game complaining about like what's going on, especially yeah. if you're not trying to actively like make changes to it. Mm -hmm. And bro, I agree nigga, with that. Which is a fair point. But this nigga, yeah, and this nigga Charlemagne, bro, he just be doing just a weird shit and got the nerve to fucking complain about the nigga net. Bro, first of all, you sub this and you you we lived in the fucking ask an idiot question for, for a while. For a fucking month and some change, bro. Then somebody would say something or you you fucking alluded to us so many different I'm really not trying to go into like like let me just chill yeah but long story short bro <laughs> don't act like you not don't 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 do that bro don't do that do what you, don't act like this shit bothers you and you not out here actively participating nigga yeah like you know what I'm saying? like actively participating and you're not even at work nigga you watch us at work like let's be very clear like you watch nigga net at the breakfast club everybody see we see this is the, these are the facts, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and, it, and it might be a yeah, thing bro. to where it's 
it's like he wants everybody in the nigga net to kind of like just have that understanding that there's a cap. Maybe that's just and like you said, yeah, he's always trying to like that. he's always punching in the same point for some reason, so it can get a little convoluted <laughs> and redundant, yeah. which can make things mm-hmm. annoying, which can get you you know a little very like, annoying. You and know. on top of that, it's like make you hate the podcast. Yeah, bro, goofy niggas don't understand. There's growth out that, that there's a ceiling to nigga net. Yeah, yeah. Duh. Have you seen what the fuck? We've never moved like goofy niggas ever. Mm-hmm. We've never moved like un- unintelligent niggas. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't think you were. I don't think that Alluding. was looting. Nah, you did a do some. You did some shit. You did some goofy shit where you try to like. Don't do that, nigga. Like you see what the fuck we've been doing, bro. You know it's not. You know we haven't glass ceiling ourselves, don't you? You know. I, I guess, but you know what I'm saying like. Well, throwing well, now, advice. Throwing so advice. You're like, if you're, you're. If we're alluding to Charlemagne throwing sneak disses at us, I I openly throw mine. I well, that's fair. I don't, I don't allude to shit. Well, if if you're mad at him hiding his hand yeah, and I you're just like responding with this, mm-hmm. like nigga, you Every still time. see me with the motion of me throwing the shit, then that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't ask nobody about me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You reach out directly. That's mm-hmm. just how that's just how I feel, bro. <laughs> this yeah, is personal. Period. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this I, is very don't personal. ask nobody about me, bro. You reach out to me. It's personal directly. on both sides, yeah. which is it's good. It's supposed to be. But y'all are both right. In your own crazy way, and that's just a tricky position in Charlemagne. <laughs> like he's just he needs to really just choose like whatever he wants. That's all I've been like, saying is that we agree, we just looking at it differently. Yeah. It's just a different perspective yeah, yeah. about why. But you know, you know I ain't never really agreeing, yeah, but he, he, yeah. Uh he's still uh he's always gonna be goaded. He just has to the brilliant idiots, he can't come at it half ass. He's half assing, bro. I don't wanna have fun documenting his shitty exit though, but I will if I need to. You but know what I, I'm saying? <laughs> Like that's that's I want to have that's, fun that's listening to the at. pod, and it's I still have laughs. I want to have fun. Yeah. I still have laughs, but I do. You're going I can to. Say, it's a comedian. Yeah, and a radio I can say host. that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have laughs. A Hall of Fame radio host, yeah. and and potentially a Hall of Fame comedian, mm-hmm. depending on how Selling he does. Selling out Madison yeah, Square Garden, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But I should be having I, a great I time don't, over here. I don't. It's it's weird to know that today Schultz is the one driving my excitement on the show, when Charlemagne always drove that for me. God damn. Bro. Yeah, like imagine that's weird. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get what you're and saying. And I yeah. agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. But yeah. apparently, I'm yeah. not fair about this nigga. <laughs> 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 Just sometimes. Oh man, I'm as unfair as AJ, <laughs> which well, is fair. Which is bad. That makes it fair. fair. Yeah, that makes it fair. I'll be like, the middle ground. It's you got I feel like I've. Uh, I feel like I've been very fair. I feel like I've slightly turned the the heat up. Mm-hmm. Over mm-hmm. six months, it was like over the yeah. last twenty minutes. I, I was gonna say, I, was gonna say <laughs> over the last I think that five, shit, like that was the hottest it's ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're looking at the thermo- the thing, bro. Over it's there, just, it's, yeah, it's just certain shit. I really don't uh, like that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not that's even just cold that's anymore. just on some man shit. Literally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is outside of everything, bro. Yeah, yeah. That that's is. just some man shit. I don't respect that at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, oh, man. Wow. All right, well, moment of silence. Cat you know, fight. Shout, <laughs> shout out to you, nigga. Deep. How long was that segment, Lord? Uh, I'm gonna get at a good 30. Five it was about good God, we're well, yeah, gonna have a five. wonderful episode to watch at the Breakfast Club tomorrow. Oh man, yeah. Drive, nigga. <laughs> welcome to the nigga <laughs> net, man. Hell yeah. Right, welcome to the nigga net. As you transition yeah. over into your new era of uh, broadcasting, nigga, we will continue to keep you in the nigga net. Mm-hmm. Be careful. We're not the only ones out here trying to attack you. That white boy is out here. Okay, he caught forty on you he's too. Hunting. Well, we're not um, trying he's to. Hunting. I'm, well, not not you, the other white boy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh no no no, not our white man. The white man on YouTube who's mm-hmm. got way bigger reach than we do. We yeah. are not an issue. Way yet. more important yeah, white yeah. man than us. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said, and, you said trying to attack because we're yeah. critiquing. That's what I said. You said trying to attack. It says I'm not trying to. attack. We oh, did nigga. start it. That has to be stated. We what? started all oh, of this. Started what? We're talking about him. Yeah, but it's not an attack. It's, it's not an, an attack, attack though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 not attack. But the white man. I was asking like the white man. He's attacking him. Like yeah, nigga, that shit. They was like talking that. about Charlemagne's like it was the, about Charlemagne's and Post the, Malone's history. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, and it makes it was real specific. It, yeah. it makes Charlemagne look crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks mm-hmm. it looks bad, and it's probably got a million views now. At least it's not like you know it's it, the worst yeah. part of Charlemagne's history, probably. And overall, no, I but the way I didn't think it was that bad either. Yeah. Uh, but when you watch the video, I'm like, damn, that's. Why does it seem way more evil now that I'm older? Probably good editing and all that. No, shit. all that, all yeah, that played yeah, into like, it. Like, and the I know, music. and I know all yeah, that played black. into it. But having it next to each other, I was like, damn, this is kind of a crazy hit yeah, piece. I, I wasn't expecting that. Like of all the, you thought it was gonna be like 
bro, of all the Charlemagne issues with this person, that mm-hmm. was the last mm-hmm. one that I thought was going to come. And the angle, I said, damn, what the fuck? Like, yeah. this nigga does look terrible in front of this situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, but Boss. crazy, man. And it's yeah. not the worst thing overall just in closing to, to advise niggas to not get caught up in the nigga net. Because, truthfully, you don't know what niggas is thinking about or what we planning on strategic and all that shit. From like, that perspective. It was, it oh, was yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. that we was already thinking. But if yeah. I'm an OG in the game He's and I see some people. young niggas coming up and, like, that's a trap I fell into, no, I would no, say no. the same thing. Talking about, like, an umbrella statement? We got yeah, yeah, umbrella statement, yeah. Yeah, like, he was just... Yeah. That's the thing. It, it's... Shout out Charlamagne, man. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna meet him, man. It's, yeah, it, that's specifically that episode only. That episode, oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. not in life. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, let's get over to some this good shit, man. Deep. <laughs> 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 I about to say, y'all this niggas love deep. Charlemagne. <laughs> nah. Well. Y'all love Charlemagne just as much. The yeah. same amount. Yeah. No, no, yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 We literally do. That's yeah. why yeah. it's fun. That's what we literally do, yeah. <laughs> it's just. It's just... It's on some Magneto Professor X shit, nigga. It is, like, right, we just, it is. It we're is. looking at the same thing. It's just different perspective about yeah. that shit. So yeah. it makes good content, niggas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Points of views. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, let me hit this again. Oh, damn. I'll I do th- lower thirds again. Then. It don't even matter. Mm. Whatever. All right, so no jumper. All right, so something interesting happened at no jumper. Finally. Surprise, surprise. It's more beef, y'all. But uh, <laughs> more beef. Oh, God. It's more beef. Yep. Of course, of course, it has nothing to do with mm-hmm. the quality of content. Why would they, why would anybody Yet. think that? Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Yet. Right now. You got some Shout out to uh, Big Hit and uh, Hit Boy. Uh, I was briefly watching Adam and Wax. Cause you know, you know, Big Hit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I bang in my Just blood. That, you know, though. I bang on that nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, He went on there. He was talking some shit. It, it was mad for the twenty yeah. minutes I this watched. This is about it Lush. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. Yeah, this is about Lush and Almighty Suspect. This is the funniest shit I've the seen in a week. Yeah. So yeah, this shit is fucking this hilarious. This is actually pretty funny. So Lush coming back was pretty funny. He didn't come great. back. <laughs> but he just he just he just played ball. He relapsed, nigga. He relapsed. Ugh. Yeah, he relapsed. Junkies make the best content. His, so, his comeback was actually kind of funny, bro. This shit yeah. makes me think about using performance enhancing drugs. No, nah, he was really going crazy. He was really rocks. going crazy, bro. So Almighty Suspect dropped a song, and if you don't know who Almighty Suspect is, the last you're not time, the only one. You're not the only one. The only and the last light. the only and last time he's ever had a moment is when he beat up Kelpie the pimp. Yeah, the uh-huh. light skinned dude that punched on the pimp. Yeah, and a lot of. The young people. Yeah, yeah. And you got to give him credit for how gracefully he threw the headphones threw on. The like, head niggas, are, we're podcasters. We know what it takes to, in that moment, really think about nigga. what's happening. Yeah. He ain't tripping over no cords. He ain't destroying no equipment. It was pretty flawless. He gets respect yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. Spit, headphone throw, Bow. mic push, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. One fluid motion. Yeah, it was, yeah, and it was all swift. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost like he practiced it, right? And Kelvin- Almost like he practiced it, literally. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> that was the last time y'all saw who that is. So, that's who that, that's who that he is. He's mm. a rapper. And Lush is, is a junkie. Is a, <laughs> he's a junkie he that goes on. That. He's a, a junkie, junkie rapper that goes on oh, excursions. Shit. Like for some reason, quest. Yeah, quest. That's quest. even better. Quest. Yeah. Nigga, that's quest. what a junkie is. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> long story short, suspect drops a song. It's fucking trash. Objectively, it's it's terrible. And but the problem is. Lush also uh, disses the song, and that's when shit gets. <laughs> that's when that's when shit gets heated because that's when the, suspect treated. You know, it's like when a junkie talks shit about you. It's like how dare you? It hurts yeah. a little more. Yeah. So this is what happened, and I don't think Lush understand. Lush don't get that yet. Still, he don't and, underst- He don't understand that. Like, yeah, you're just critiquing what what everybody does in this mm, field. Mm. But it's like, bro, when you're a junkie, bro, it's like everything is irrational. Who gives yeah, a fuck, bro? It's like, fuck know. you, nigga. Keep my name out your mouth. Yeah. You know, it's so much easier to disrespect him. But let's let's watch Lust diss Suspects track. Bro, imagine making music as whack as that Those and hands. having the audacity Fresh to he criticize me in any capacity. Yeah. Imagine being as garbage as that, like, bro. <laughs> I'm whooping. Motherfucker running from the relapse. beat. That's avoiding what that was, the relapse. beat like a bench warrant. Had the audacity to say I was trash. I'm thoroughly disappointed. Thoroughly disappointed. But amused. Disappointed, oh but amused. God. He's an old So junkie. thank you for that. He's got the best Ooh. junkie hand. Embarrassingly language bad. Like, that's like the deep song, shit. too. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm sorry. 
Spence, ah, oh, homie. That shit is not it, fam. That's not oh, even my favorite one. He don't though. look that junkie-ish. I've seen worse. <clears throat> Oh yeah, yeah. it's because he just he's relapsed. not sick. Yeah, I was yeah, about he just to say, relapsed. Yeah, nigga, he just took his vitamins. Just also, he's back in red form. Yeah. Shit. Also, to be clear, Lush music sucks too. So nigga, let's be very I clear. I listened to that shit today. Is it worse than like, Almighty's? No, it's worse. It's, it's worse. Bro, this shit is worse. like Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Like, who, it's terrible. Yeah, there's well, just terrible options all around. Well, actually, never mind. I don't know. Nick, niggas have a choice on that one. Maybe Hillary or Joe. <laughs> it's terrible. Options, Hillary nigga. or Joe. That's a little bit better. Nah, but this is Trump and Joe Biden. It depends on your personality, man. It depends it on your personality. Trump and Joe Biden. Biden. analogy yeah. goes, yeah. But I don't know. I might, <laughs> they suck. They both suck. He sucks. Yeah. Lush, Lush like, looked like he has. Yeah. Lush sounds like a strung out Tupac. Like, <laughs> it, yeah, I was listening to this one terrible. song. He had this hook. He had that same moment, me. Like, it, it was. The same case. It was scary. Nigga. Oh, my God. So this is Almighty Suspect. Sound like two pills to cool. Turning up. At No Jumper News when he found out that Lush dissed his song. Hey, man, shout out Sassy. Oh, shit. Yeah, Sassy Dijon or Dijon oh, Sassy. Oh, yeah, man. Them sweatpants are struggling. Sassy Suspect Jadon. sitting in the AJ seat, nigga. Yep. That's where the shooter sit. That's where the shooter sit. <laughs> That's where the shooter sit in that corner three, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I really been trying to spare you, bro. Oh, fuck. Because, like, this is what we finna do right here. <laughs> You keep talking like I won't snatch you up at one of these battles, nigga. And ain't nobody going to do nothing. <laughs> nobody. I promise you. Just stop talking about me, bro. Because you, like, really a smoker for real. Like, and, like, we don't, you don't get no points for beating up smokers, but I will beat up a smoker. Like, I swear <laughs> to God. You don't get no points for beating up smokers, but I will beat your ass. Watch your mouth out here, bro. Stop playing with me. Nigga, I will, I will have my pops take me to one of these battles and I will choke you. That sounds Stop crazy. fucking playing with me. <laughs> He's cooking, nigga. He's cooking, about, even though it's dead. Stop talking to me about Give rapping. Me what is your rap accomplishments, nigga? Tell me a lush rap accomplishment. You have battle rap accomplishments. You don't have rap accomplishments. Nigga, who are you? Nigga, let's be real. Your whole yeah, life went to shambles right after you, you left here, nigga. Like you got fired on camera from here like a bitch. Flacco called your fade out like a bitch. You ain't do shit like a bitch. Nigga, fuck you mean. After you got fired from here, you start popping Xanax and snorting cocaine, nigga. <laughs> Crying on camera, having meltdowns and shit, bitch. Fuck you talking about? Don't say oh nothing about God. me, nigga. This shit was gold. But that was that he was called him, this shit was He gold. called him pussy because uh, Flacco was, called him out. This shit was gold, and it made me realize, I was like, I wish he could just do this without having to be mad at a nigga to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot of niggas that get on mic, and they can only get this entertaining when there's passionate rage behind that shit. He was cooking. He was definitely cooking, Man, but he, he was cooking after that deadline. That deadline was weak. That shit threw me off. I, okay, I I'll, tell you, I'll gotta, fill y'all in on that. I'll fill y'all okay, in on why okay. that was a thing. So, okay. Lush... And Almighty Suspect's dad, yeah. they're they're good. They friends. got the same dad. That's why yeah, I saw yeah, them. yeah. And Lush is okay. Lush used to organize all those battles, those West Coast battles. He was like the one of the top guys in that. Yeah. And and uh, Almighty Suspect dad was also associated with that, and they've worked together. Okay, I'll take it back. So family ties. That's why it still sounds weird in a rant. Especially, it it's funny. Yeah. No especially context. when y'all have no idea the context. No, it sounds weird as hell. <laughs> so it still sounds weird. Context wise, like, though, it makes sense if you know the context. It makes sense if you know that the context. Works. It still doesn't hit that well, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, I get it's my a little dad weird. To me off. Yeah. I, thought, I thought, like, when you leave Adam, your life's supposed to be better. Like, that's what, like, nah. everybody like around him, like, make it seem like Adam's just a bottom theater. Working at No Jumpers, like living in San Francisco, it's like how? you could be a crackhead, but you're getting clean crack pipes. Like how happy do. was <laughs> literally yeah. how happy yeah. was Adam making lush to the fact that like he left and like nigga, he just went right back to Coke uh, and Zane. It probably bro. wasn't happiness; it was just status well, of the life. Well, the thing with lush, bro, or it, junkies need something to do. Yeah, yeah bro, they do, and they it's need like, something to do. And on top of that, bro, it's like I really just I'm sorry to shit on like junk. That's another thing too, like. L suspect is also a junkie too. This nigga will be reform junkie or current. Current. He be drinking leans, nodding off on the couch. Ah, shit. sir. Oh, he's a, that's no, that's nah, that's, but that's a junkie. It's, it's, yeah, it's, that's that's a junkie. fiend activity. Nigga. Yeah, that's fiend activity. That's fiend activity. So yeah, like they're both junkies calling each other. Well, he's calling a junkie is calling another junkie a junkie. Yeah, much. and it's crazy <laughs> because it's like Hot his drug yeah. is stronger, so he has the right to call him a junkie. Right. So. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I might have put the same, same link in there one. twice. Oh, yeah, I see yeah. It. that's what it and is. Click on that so, one. That one might be different though. Actually, so sharp and like these niggas 
yeah. didn't go like oh, yeah. they let him go ISO. Yeah, they gave my eyes off. Sharp was smoking the fuck out of that cigarette, nigga. Sharp was giggling. That was a cigarette? I thought that was yeah, a blunt. Was. Uh, either or. He was smoking the fuck out of it. He might, he might be saying something different. Yeah, it is. It is. He's got different mannerisms. Uh, I can tell by the titles and stuff. I don't know. It might be the same. He's got the shades back on. We'll see. He took them off. Since I left No Jumper, I'm, I'm broke. I've relapsed. I'm just trying to just figure it out. Shut up, nigga. Go <laughs> ahead in the bathroom. Slit them wrists, nigga. Just do it. I forgot it. Just do it. Nigga, just do it. You nigga, like Jay fucking me calling niggas phone talking about I just think I don't know what I want to live for. We trying to figure it out too, nigga. We trying to figure it out too. What the fuck do you do out here, nigga? What the fuck do you do? Fuck you, me. We trying to figure out the fuck you living for, too, nigga. <laughs> fuck you, me. Nigga, he's still trying to find himself. Oh, this is still trying to find yourself, nigga. Shout out to the nigga, man. This is the only he's place you get content. This is the only place you get next to nigga. This is how you think he's still trying to find yourself? Yeah, nah, that's a bar. That's a bar. Bro, he was... He said, oh, "Go man. to the bathroom and slit those wrists, nigga. Just do it." That's tough. <laughs> nigga said, "We trying to figure out why you." When, still I, when alive I first too. heard that, I, that was crazy. I was like, "I was gonna name the episode just do it because I was like, that goes crazy." Somebody gonna think it's Nike, nigga. <laughs> nigga that's what I'm saying. This is a crazy <laughs> Nike commercial. That's what the entendre right? is. Yeah, oh, it's a crazy shit. Nike commercial, nigga. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just do it. Just do it, nigga. Matter of fact, play I'm this trying one to figure again. out why you this, still living. This like, one, no, this is an encore, right? He said, "You're trying to figure it out, and we are too." That shit The nigga was cooking. He nigga, was like, cooking, this bro. Is, that's a 50 piece right there in yeah, about 30 he, seconds. Yeah, he's going since, crazy. Since I left No Jumper, I'm, I'm broke. I've relapsed. Get I'm just trying to just figure it out. <laughs> Shut up, nigga. Go ahead in the bathroom. <laughs> slit them wrists, nigga. Just do it. Just do it. Nigga, just do and it. You see the nigga, spatial awareness? Fuck me, call a nigga he didn't hit the wall when you I don't know what I want to live for. We trying to figure it out too, nigga. We trying to figure it out too. What the fuck do you do out here, nigga? What the fuck do you do? Fuck you, me. We trying to figure out the fuck you living for too, nigga. Fuck you, me. Nigga, fuck. 50 still trying to find himself. Oh, shit. How you 50 still trying to find yourself, we nigga? It's a lot of niggas that are 50 trying to find themselves. Yeah, like, right. to be, That's to be kind fair, of the age you do that at, That's right? pretty much the... I, I think that is the midlife crisis That's age, right? right. Yeah. Trying to find like yourself. 40, 50? I think you got to yeah. refine yourself because you had who you were and now you have what you're going to be. It's yeah. a weird point. It's the time. midlife crisis. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, so... But it doesn't help when you're on drugs, too, trying to do it. Because... Everything's fuzzy now. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't even remember you, what you You can't it even is. begin to think it's clear. Yeah, nah. Suspect would beat Lush ass, though, right? Is he lying? I would hope so. And isn't yeah, Lush, but, yeah. Yeah, like, bro, Lush just moves so weird. I don't yeah. mean, I believe, like, Suspect looks like he has average coordination. Like, Lush looks like he has no, Chunky. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So it, it's yeah. just. It depends on how high he is because he might be able to eat a few of them punches just based off heroin stamina. In his hands, it's just they're crazy. Yeah. Allegedly, I can't even admit, I can't even imagine them in fist. Yeah, because yeah. in every clip they're they're just it's weird. like they move on their own accord. Yeah, yeah. brother, like they got their own cerebral cortex guiding the movement. Yeah, his yeah, fingers are weird. like a little childish, right? Yeah, like he has it's... like only but little. Control. But that's what happens when you're used to holding hot pipes. I was about to you say. You got to contort your fingers in a certain way so you don't burn your fingertips. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a delicate balance. <laughs> Tell that nigga count like a child. That's crazy. Yeah, nah. He counts out loud. This Play this, though, because what, what, what I ain't going to lie. Lush what, eight. Yeah, this is the one I like. This, this is the one I like. This is the one I like. This exchange This is the one I like. Don't even warm it up. This is nigga net this prime is, material, Jesus nigga. Christ, I'm glad I'm young enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> On the gang. And when I say the gang, I mean all three different hoods I used to claim that I got dropped by. Six figure sus gerb. Keto stained fingers dipping in your bitch purse. On the gang. <laughs> Bruh, I shouldn't hate on somebody that reps the West like you. Nobody reps the West like your hairline. Your hairline is constantly throwing up the W. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with, and neither is Suscurb's hairline. You feel me? You Bow down when Suscurb's hairline comes to your town because you know it's westward bound. You should have done like our good friend t Rail did, taking you a little flight over to Istanbul. Got him right with the whole little shit. You feel me? Got it Got it all fixed up, reconstructive surgery and all that because that shit's looking crazy. It looks like you 55 years old, like your hairline's from 55th Street. Like, I don't know who you chose. Choking at a rap battle, the only thing that would happen as far as choking at a rap battle, it would be you choking if you tried to rap at a battle because, you know, mm. rapping actually good isn't really one of your strong suits. Despite being 
What you should do is just stay being the Geico gecko. You saved me a lot of money in my car insurance. I'm grateful for that. Instead of spending all that money on fake designer, you really should do something about the, the hairline. You feel me? That would probably be the best thing to do. You've got the 1988 Mercedes with the Hyundai engine. You feel me? Trying to overflex. But I get it. That's the image you're trying to uphold. This is all up the top. Trying to be, uh, yeah. continue to live this fantasy world existence of being a 2016 era SoundCloud reject making... LA pimp cosplay music for people with Down syndrome that wear helmets and ride the short bus and try to nod to the same rhythm of your offbeat flow. I mean, that's who you make music for, and it's he knows about that. Right, you got yours. Nine hundred and forty-five views in a day. You killing the game. Thirty of them were from me and the homies laughing. So you feel me? We running it up for you. You doing the damn thing? You going crazy? I don't know why you got so mad though, bro. It wasn't that serious. It was just a little critique. It's because you're a junkie, I do. bro. I talk about That's music. That's I'm part of the culture. You um, you, I don't know if you was if it was the unsealed trid, if it, there wasn't a stamp on the bottle, or if you were just you feel me? He was itching and scratching and all agitated for no damn reason, oh, bro. Yeah. Like do. And he was doing hella, hella much for no, I don't know what your problem is, bro. It's just that you suck at rap, you suck at life, and you're desperately trying to suck on Adam's dick to continue to live up to this facade of having a six-figure salary when we all know that it's significantly less than that. And you're really, really just struggling to maintain any type of relevance. And uh, it's visible, but keep nodding off. Keep eating Cheetos and Lunchables and Uncrustables all into your 30s. Or you, I mean, you look older than me already, so doing the damn thing. That's the one lie you told, brother. Pee. Keep shining. We might have to get these niggas. Worse. We might have to get these niggas a round of applause because this is perfectly seared nigga net beef. Like, no, this, this, literally, yeah. this is like exactly really? the epitome of that. Coming from a white man and a mixed child. Yeah, this shit Beautiful. is crazy, bro. <laughs> Yeah, nah. I don't know. I don't even know what to think of this. And I it was think they just like, just, fight. just sit back and be entertained. Yeah, pretty That's much. What this, this is. There's, you're not supposed to think about this. This is mm -hmm. this is fast food. This is like <laughs> yeah. nothing about this. Is, <laughs> you're not getting no nutrients. This is for the you, moment. And, and are going to lose brain cells thinking about <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, Adam probably hasn't said none. Well, it don't matter. well, Adam had the moment when suspect responded, but yeah, Lush is doing his own thing. And the crazy thing too about this whole thing is just like. Uh, the thing that fucks up Lush for me, though, is, like, the every couple words, him just, the like... breathing? Yeah. It, but I he's, mean, like, sucking the spit back yeah. in, pause. Yeah, it's a lot going on. It's like, ugh, God, just yeah. hearing that, like... He got like, that locked jaw, that nigga yeah, don't just open and every, That's he got the only thing that throws mouth, me literally. out sometimes, and yeah, I, I really don't like that shit. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Junkie by, body mechanics are different. They're not as fluid as the average human being. Yeah, nah. Their breaths are more shallow. The eyes tend Just to have more it, yellow. Yeah. And um, it's like, it's so, how long was he recording? It doesn't need Isn't his father yeah. like some, like, his, leader of a bank? No, his father is in Hollywood, and then his brother started Indeed. Oh, you think, that's what it was. You think yeah. Lush and Adam's dads know each other? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. His brother started Indeed. Oh, you weren't even here when I told them about yeah. this last yeah, week. Yeah, that episode. Yeah, yeah his you weren't even here for this crazy. episode. So yeah, a little background. That job that you got, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Thank Lush's brother. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. So yeah, Lush is- And this out. nigga is- This is what he's come turned out to. Yeah, this is what he's turned <laughs> out to. <laughs> That's <laughs> I'm yeah. like. Unemployed junkie, bro. Battle rap legend. But he but has the family to make this happen, though. Like, you can't I'm just do your, this. Your, your brother started Indeed. He's indeed. one of the founders Look of at Indeed. The nigga. He's a junkie. His siblings are some of the closest... Family member, him and his brother get along should be like tight. That. But look at him, nigga. He, he looked like he just left Cobra Kai studio, nigga. Like easy, he's, he's being taken care of. He's explained his story. Like his mom had the most love for him. The mother, his dad, and his brother didn't really sound like they fucked with the nigga like Jesus. that. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. So, they could probably tell he was. The, he, fuck up. He ain't, he ain't gonna make it. Yeah, <laughs> right. A little but defective. Mom nigga. always loves the junkie. Like you kind of have to. That's her baby. That's her baby. Yeah. He's yeah. the youngest, correct? I think he's the youngest. Usually sure. the fuck up unless you Lamella Ball and yeah. just makes you the best. Yeah. Jeez. God Jeez. damn, Lush. The meth bot is crashing now. That's a good name too. That's Lush versus a caller. Hey man, get off yes. the. Get, oh yeah. Get this off is the all from the same stream. I don't know, nigga. This is all from the same crack rock. Yeah. This shit is. It's all amazing. <laughs> I got you. I'm gonna run it too, then. 22 million streams on Apple Music alone. 
And what do you have, bro? Bro, I have a song. I have a one video that has 16 million views. What are you talking about, fool? I have multiple. And you know, you know what you have? You have suspects dick in your mouth because you're a lame suburbanite fucking square. Yeah, and get off my dick, you motherfucking buster ass Mark. I'll slap the fucking shit out you. Listen to you, bro. Listen to you. Listen to you choking on suspects' dick. You got suspects' dick in your mouth. That makes you a. That makes you suspect. He has 16 million. He has 16 million plays, and they were all by me because I'm a fucking. F- yeah, shut the fuck up, Buster. <laughs> Yo, Fuck see, off my line. this is why drugs are so fun because it puts yeah. you into this certain flow state to yeah. where he's <laughs> not thinking. No, he's, he's not, not yeah. consciously choosing yeah. these words. They're he's just, just flowing through him. Yeah. He sounds like a prophet. It's truly great, bro. Who is he talking Who's this, he talking to? This is a caller trying so to depend on my his mother. <laughs> bro, hey, Lush is crazy, bro. <laughs> See you later, mom. The nigga will just like put his his phone number on the IG story, and then niggas will keep it like, I'm live, call me. And niggas yeah. will call, and they're always roasting him, bro. That's it's, what you do. It's like, they're not calling him up saying, man, Lush, I love what you've been doing. They're like, yo, you lame ass nigga. Like, that nigga. is every call I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That so, could be fun, though. Like, there's a lot of, like, you could prank the fuck out this nigga. Just call him and act like you was a nigga that just sold him drugs. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, nigga, I heard that um <laughs> the work I just gave you might have been stepped on. And shit. You might yeah, that'd be cool. Might yeah, double check should, that shit. We should prank call him. That'd be good. Get him to crash That'd be a good out. one. We to bleed that one out. We had to do it to him. Like, yeah. hey, yeah. those pills were pressed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, that, and, and that nigga just be like this. Excuse me, y'all. We uh, here from uh, the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, nigga. Where's my water? <laughs> Literally. Probably. And this, this is going down the business. This is another caller, right? This is the fade thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he fake. It's just... Let's, you want to watch it? Let him yeah, rip. Yeah, let this is the rip. one let good. Go. This is the one time he's had a great moment. Like normally we're talking shit, and this is still shit talk. But like it's, it's really good. good. Yeah, it's really good. It man. comes from a place of warmth. I, I was over here making fun of his music, but if he if he need that, I got it for him, fool. If he really need that, we could we can link up. You feel me in his daddy backyard or wherever, or like you feel me on the low ass homies and fucking. If he needs that, I got it. You feel me? That's it. Period. Talking about a fade. Yeah. All that for a right. fade. If you so, need that, if you need that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I got him. We'll yeah, meet him his yeah. daddies. I don't know. So I you understood see his dad that came perfectly. back up again, so it's like, yeah. it's not a weird thing. It's just weird to hear the first time. Yeah, like, it's strange. Yeah, it's strange. You, yeah, but it's that's the only reason why they know each other, like on some shit. Oh, shit. Because that's like a family f- close friend. God damn. Well, yeah. I'm definitely going to put some parlays on um, Almighty, but it depends on what Les smokes first. I was about to Very say, I point, might actually. change up my if, bed depending on what he smokes because that's good. You know, because I feel like there's no PED. The PDs are allowed in. If Lush get to eat before, I'm going with Lush. If he gets to eat, he can have a little bit more weight. Mm-hmm. Keep him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I don't lean, I don't believe. I feel like that would hurt you in a fight. Yes. Like, for uh, sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you're not fighting. Especially from a nigga who's on uppers. Yes. Oh, very you're true. Done. Yeah. yeah, very it's true. You fighting out of your weight class, nigga? Very nigga, true. You fighting the wrong yeah. energy. Honestly, they need to make it a requirement that they have to be both doing their drugs of choice. <laughs> what, in junkie fights? Yeah, junkie fights. Junkie that's fights. what's so fun about junkie fights is no regulations. We yeah. know everybody's high. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah, what that's they true. Do. I'm on crack. You on meth. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, I'm I'm drunk. Hell yeah, They're, all, every, all of them just <laughs> when it gets to get high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Drug of their choice, but uh, that's really damn. Office yeah. hours. Oh yeah, that's right. You know. Oh, one second, one second. Oh shit. I should have left it on that half bell, just because I just wanted to put this on the screen, man. <laughs> half bell. <laughs> Uh, put that uh, everybody hates ice. Oh, so there shit. was a lot of uh, there was a lot of people who watched the Patreon episode we did, and they were yeah. also disappointed that worst podcaster of the year we didn't give to ice. And yeah. I didn't realize it just it really did not hit me how much you niggas hate yeah. ice because we don't hate him as much as y'all do. But to it, be fair, I don't watch joke. it. I don't watch enough to hate. I think it's becoming just a little joke. For sure, for sure. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Look at the screen. <laughs> this is a big joke, nigga. Well, nah, this is little. This is little. This is just a meme. It's not yeah. even a gif yet. Like, uh, it, it's uh, just... Oh, yeah, that's true. That is the next level. It's the next level. This but is how it starts. Those, I'm sure. But I think he is bad enough for this to be happening. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not really Mel hate, flip haters, Umar haters, bro, Reds. joke lasers. And the re- the real reason it hurts so well, not hurts, but the real reason Nigga, he, he's, Israelis. Yeah, he, which is crazy. Yeah, Israelis. That's an inside joke. Yeah, yeah Israelis. It's, it's got to be a pod joke. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Is it a pod joke? Oh no no this part no 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 Ish, oh Israelites yeah 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 Ish, it's just people Israelites yeah, yeah so oh. it's just, gotcha yeah 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 it's gotcha. just uh, it's just people that. yeah <laughs> that's pretty funny actually yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's a good wordplay yeah, right there that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 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 Israelites Joe but the re- the reason is because uh, Ice talks like he doesn't care about potting but then like he pods yeah but he will like he does this thing where he acts like it's not a big deal but then like sometimes he'll start a story and he'll be like man I was in a barbershop and Man, all they want to do is talk about the pot. I'm like, no, nigga, I don't want to talk about that. Like, I don't want to talk about that. And I'm like, oh my god, nigga, sh- he what does are you doing do that. that for? He does do. I've seen little clips where he'll do like he'll try to do the, I'm too cool for this thing too. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, and that never comes out. It never good. comes out well, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then one not, of, you can't be you too cool not. for another nigga's shit. And it's funny because I think he, he's realizing that he is the, you know, loose, loose link, weaker link on the pod. Yeah. So the he, worst. you can feel him trying to be better now, but it's like. Still manufactured because he's not accepting Cause it's, cause that he really because it's not trained into his subconscious. It's not, yeah, he, he's yeah. not actually just accepting that. Hey, I fucked up. Maybe I should just come out and be honest with something. Say, you know what? I need to be better at this shit. Let me just be better. At he this doesn't shit. think he's bad, but he knows that people expect more from him. Exactly. It's a weird connection. Also, it's a weird connection. And he also thinks because I have seen a clip where he like he definitely just thinks that the internet. All hate on the internet is all false. Right, right, right. It's right, right, literally right. just internet hate. Yeah. Even though sometimes getting hated on on the internet, it's pretty constructive. It's like some, it's, ah, well, not in his case. Not in his case, but, but like sometimes it probably it started be. that way. It probably, it probably started, started that way. from a place of fair objectivism. Yeah. Or whatever word I we just made up. Mean, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. nigga, he just no, refused to accept it. Cause there, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> overall, yeah. It's crazy, but it's I need to. That's the I need to watch. I need to watch like a. A couple full episodes. Me too. Or where, I, that's like, my goal. This where year. Ish isn't even there. Where <laughs> Ice year, can crazy. just be right. like, just himself. There's there are times. There, it's happened for sure. It's happened a few times. Like two, I ain't epi- two, three episodes ago, or the episode before ours. If you watch that, there's literally like three moments where Ice is saying something, trying to like in- interject something, and Joe just ignores him. It's probably stupid. Though. Is is that because, uh, it's because that might be one saying. of his little chemistry tests? It's because he was. <laughs> he might just be trying was, to say he has team spirits, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. It was like something when it was brought up about like what people may think about something, and he was like, "You want to?" He was like, "Can I tell you what I think about it though? What I think about them thinking this?" Like, oh, that's it was an, one of them. Shits. I don't like that either. I can he, is he the nigga that? Oh, so that's him. Like, yeah. can I can I do this? Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't like that yeah. shit. Like, can I, I ask got, you a question? I can understand because. It's just imagine, weird. imagine saying, "Yeah, yeah, what would you do?" I wouldn't give a fuck. That would piss me off. That you mm. just you you kept trying to interrupt me for that goofy ass shit, like mm-hmm. it. Pretty much, yeah. Like it is weird. I never really like even looked at Ice as like face long enough. To <laughs> I don't know. Pick him out of the lineup. Even really a concept. Like for me, it's just Joe Flip. Melissa M4 M4 She's the only girl So it's like It's hard for her And you know Parks You say you like Flip the most I like Ish the most Ish I I like Ish and Parks the most Y'all like Ish and Ice I don't I don't have Well Ish I mean Look the whole cast As a whole works Because it's like Even having these characters To talk about in this way just makes it a whole experience. It adds, you feel to, the like, it adds to the it lore. It all adds to the lore. Everything adds. So I think Joe knows that, and that's why I don't think Joe is like having too much beef with it because he's like, we getting everything we want out of all of this. We him, got the nigga that they hate. Literally, we works, got the person that they love. We beautiful. got, you know, what I'm saying, you have everything. Him being bad is good for the it's show. It's good for the show. It's yeah. probably yeah. better like, than him being better. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, and honestly, yeah, I mean, Ish is really good at podcasting. I just I can't stand his voice, man. Yeah. Can't stand voice. That's a big thing in podcasting, nigga. It is. I, it's, I have a hard time. I can over. like what you're saying and, and hate how you're saying. I don't even think it's. His, I think it's because he just be so comfortable. I think he loves to argue too. He I don't like debating. I, well, I, I'm, don't? Not, I'm not a debater really. Like it's listening to it. It's entertaining on that show, but sometimes I don't like debating in real life. Uh, <laughs> I don't like going back and forth with really about not, like I do, like on the podcast. But yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, See, I love debating, but in like yeah. life. I'm not arguing. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. Really. Life is a debate, nigga. Yeah, I don't really like that shit. Ish was I, the Ish was yeah. the first person. That's why I liked when they changed it from Rory and Maul. Ish was the first person that got on that show 
who wouldn't let Joe get away with the bullshit that I would be driving in a car and be like, why y'all niggas letting him get away with this? Like, Ish will stand on that point like, no, nigga, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? And, like, oh, okay. and fight him on that shit. And well, that's like, different because he, he went from zero okay. pushback to no pushback. I mean, so that's what no Ish push kind of no pushback is. Yeah. To some pushback. To some pushback, yeah. yeah. But Ish was that, like, nah, I'm I'm, I'm going to die on this hill with you. If you really want to have this conversation, but you're going to have to let me have it with you. You know what I'm saying? But Ish will, will like, push the brakes, like, no, 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 nigga. <laughs> it did not, no. You know what I'm saying? He's not, I, his, I his like voice that. is crazy, bro. Can we it's, pull something up? Let's get a simple stuff. Right? I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just the frequency at which that it's bitch about sit the frequency at. Like that, 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 that host yeah. sit at a weird frequency. <laughs> I, it is voices like that to where it's like, yeah, it's something bro. wrong. And sometimes, I used to think of that way of uh, Axe voice. I don't know when like it kind of clicked for me. I just started where listening it didn't to bother you. academics. But yeah. And sometimes a nigga voice be like one octave away from being tolerable. Yeah. But it's just I really it's think one that's, octave I, away. I really think his is. Or for is it, me, at least. Or is it what he's saying? Tolerable, yeah. Or is it what he's saying? It's the it's the sound. You want to hear something, bro? It's the sound. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, shit. God damn. Is it gonna go? This is the Umar Johnson clip. Nah. When you say that somebody is dating somebody because they have low self esteem, you are basically saying that white people are better than we are. So when somebody says, "Yo, he only fuck with them because he hates himself." Absolutely. That means that you think that that person <laughs> thinks that white people are better than you. Them. Do. I don't. You wouldn't have been with. There's more you black women on the earth than any you other are, population. You, you are, can get a black woman from Brazil. You, you can wrong. go to Jamaica. You can go to Canada. You can go to the indigenous Africans of Mexico. Can black we, women, African can we, wait, women can we, can are can the we, largest population. You can get a light skin can we just sister. Speak you can get majors. a Pina Colada sister. You can get you an off-white sister. We got black Jesus. women of every complexion. So if you right needed there. a pale queen, you could have got you a pale African queen. But you I believe that in respect to Jonathan Major. That's a good point. There are plenty of albino women out here, Ice or Ish. I forgot who we was talking about. Ish, yeah. Yeah. There's no excuse. Yeah, yeah, nah. Better come correct in the face of the prince of pan Africanism. <laughs> now, that one clip of. Um, it's just a snow lover. That one clip of Ish telling everybody that his girl introduced, who was talking to them about becoming Muslim. That was, was hilarious. Hilarious. <clears throat> that was hilarious. Yeah, that's his sounds, Portuguese, his that white hilarious. Portuguese girlfriend. Talking about some Muslim that's shit. That's a sketch. That's not real. No, 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 that, no, that, no, was no real. that was real. That was real as fuck, <laughs> introduced, bro. Like, introduced the idea of both of them Niggas converting was like, to Islam. They were really? all collectively like, who the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I like, heard this is why light-skinned niggas <laughs> yeah. get disrespected. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> this is exactly why. What she look like? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know I don't if anybody's know. ever... Like, yeah, if they, she's an overseas white woman. She doesn't come out the house. Is that Brittany Venti going in on Just Pearly Things again? I gotta try to... Man, leave that bitch alone. Nah, no. Nah. Okay. I was about to say she gonna. She's just wanted to bake a cake. She one of the people that even after death, she's still making hit pieces. About yeah, you. yeah. Britney don't. She don't get tired. Jesus. But it's yeah, alright. Okay. We don't have to pull. It. Are you about to pull it up? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, nah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, let's get into office hours and then get out of here. You want to explain what office hours are? Uh, T.K. Kirkland. You know, office hours are the section of the show where, you know, you come to us with your comments and concerns and we answer them like true professors would. You know, this is the time during the podcast where we're not doing all that heavy lifting shit with these topics. So we got enough energy left to, you know, spew on some shit. Whatever the fuck you want to ask. Hashtag office hours in the comments. Is yeah. that the only place that they leave them? Where else do they do that at? Sometimes they put them in like on Reddit sometimes. On Reddit. But uh, most of the, yeah, we're trying to keep them in there. Yeah, the Try video, to, the video comments. Yeah. Try to do YouTube. I don't want to be searching around looking for that shit. Yeah. Episode of Homeroom specifically. I don't want no leaking out into LOI the show. That's yeah, a different yeah, comment yeah. section. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. I mean, if it happens, I ain't. Mad. And even watch the Homeroom clips too. You know, just overall Homeroom yeah. main episode hashtag right. Office Hours. Right, yeah. we gonna get to it. All right, uh, white man's gonna pull these up. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, one second. This is a separate thing. I don't think this was a. This wasn't one, right? It says that off wasn't, subject. I but can't remember why I put should it, up we read there, it. But I think it was decent. Yeah, off subject of the video. But where's the, the podcast, podcast for movies? movies. There's no That's... podcast out that cover movies and TV shows in that whole field anywhere close enough. They okay. just anywhere close enough. Uh they just came to mind that just came to mind now. The whole podcast, twenty three awards, and nothing about movies or awards. Award oh. for most diverse topic. That's yeah, this a, nigga that's just a good ask point. us. What did he ask us? So, okay. He asked us, where are the movie podcasts? Why didn't we include them? And was he talking about the whole podcast, 23 Awards? Was he talking yeah, about, he's talking about the so, superlatives? Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck would yeah. we add movie? What are the movie podcasts? No, no, no. All, he's asking, do we know about any, I think. Like, the podcasts that do movie reviews, and there's a few of them. I just can't, like, really I can't remember them. their name. They're not even, they're not podcasts. They're, they're, they're YouTube, YouTube channels. Yeah. yeah, they're YouTube, like, creators. There's just one dude. 
Well, I'll, I'll tap in on nerd Roddick here and there, but it's like, that nigga's too political. He just... He's too political. It's just like... It's nigga, a couple of them niggas. Yeah, it's a couple. It's just like, I just want you to talk about the movie, and you're talking about how this has to deal with Democrats and Republicans, and I don't yeah, give a fuck, yeah. you know? So Shout out uh, Captain Midnight. That's a YouTube channel. They do a lot of movies and shit, especially if you're into like, the Marvel, uh, all that fucking universe. I can't remember. There's one YouTube it, creator in particular I really enjoy, but I honestly, I don't remember. I'll, if I remember, I'll bring it back next week. I should have. Doesn't Wisecrack do like some type of movie? Like, don't they have a movie category where they break down like fucking what happened in Wolf of Wall Street or the truth behind Inception? That's not even a podcast, though. It's not. A, I think that Wisecrack comes out in podcast format, though. I think that they put all that Possibly, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, maybe because podcasts and TV and movies, this just... People that's, think people think they want it and then they realize they don't. Maybe. Yeah, I was about to say oh, that's so fucking niche. And there's a lot of podcasts that come as companions. Like there's like a Rick and Morty podcast where they talk about everything Rick and Morty. There's probably yeah. a Game of Thrones one where it's just we going True. through the Lord Game of Thrones. True. But those are so niche it's like nigga. Yeah. You expect us to name them niggas. We're nigga that niggas. Don't forget. Yeah. That, uh, that literally comment, have to follow them. That comment did remind me of one I saw on Patreon that was saying on the awards, like maybe even doing a um Best podcast, like individual specific podcast of the year award, like podcast episode of the year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we definitely need to do that. Yeah, Maybe we definitely need to do so that. Next year, you know, it's going to be a lot better, uh -huh. more refined, you know, everything improves. Yeah, honestly, just start a file. Yeah. 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 And just start collecting shit in there, like mm -hmm. ideas and moments, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Like this moment, we need to come back at the end of the year to this moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm like saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. trying to remember, because honestly, bro, when we was doing the whole podcast awards, it's like... <laughs> Off the top of the dome, this is really the last three months feeling. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, off yeah, the yeah. top of the dome, like, they're really getting my energy for the last Literally, three months. Uh -huh. Not It, it wasn't not been, the whole year. It was nah. not the whole, or even since the start of this podcast, it really wasn't. So. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Because I it's forgot. It's a little different. Because I forgot. I feel like we should have had a rewarded Joe that moment when he was cooking Adam on AMP. That shit was legendary. That shit was great. Yeah. yeah. Like, Does that, that count was, as podcasting? Because it was AMP. Yeah, it was uh, on AMP. Yeah, that's right. right. Like, uh, I guess we're, we're, we're not counting it was like, Twitter spaces. It was an interview on AMP. He, he got up there to interview. Yeah, him. I guess we couldn't. Yeah, yeah. but it, it was depends like moments, on how streak we want to be. It was it was literally moments like that though. I was like, damn, I completely forgot about that moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's too much shit happening in the year. It's like, easy to forget. In real it's time, easy to forget. Nigga. Yeah, we're only human. But hashtag office hours. First off, I appreciate your follow up on my Corey Holcomb question. Great A content, sirs. Second. Eddie Griffin is among my favorites, and he's kind of extreme like Corey. My question is, do you think comedians like Dave Chappelle and Kevin Hart are famous because of the white power structures feeling they're safe, feeling they're safe to support? Also, do you think black people control who the top black comedians slash entertainers are, or do black people just choose the field and white people pick the stars? That's a loaded question, my nigga, but uh, I guess we're going to take it piece by piece. Yeah, I mean, nah, I can't just put Dave Chappelle and Kevin Hart famous on I'm like definitely, white. Yeah, well, I, I can't put that. If I, white people control everything, I guess. But they've been trying to get Dave Chappelle to fuck up out of here. Yeah, I don't know yeah. about Dave Chappelle. Um, I don't even see. It's it's all about perception because it's feeling they're safe to support that. Like that kind of innately has bias that you think that it's like some type of uh like predisposed, like, predisposed Dave, Dave stereotype. Ain't safe to support today. Yeah, he's not safe by any means. I think it's these are the black people, white people also find funny because yeah, they right. can speak to some comedians. They Can't get like real niggly. Like it's yeah. almost like you're speaking a different language. Kevin yeah, they, Hart they, and Dave they Chappelle don't have the power to yeah, even go yeah. back and forth. Yeah. They can they can talk to niggas and white people at the same time. They can go yeah. in those rooms. So, you know, a nigga like Corey Holcomb, he's a nigga's nigga. He is. You got to speak yeah. a nigga to understand this. Yeah, pretty much. 100%. Yeah, that was another thing that I was about to say. Like, it's kind of just like when hip hop goes pop. Maybe that's not a good example. Uh, it's just, long story short, if we're just like, it has nothing to do with white power structure, it's just overall numbers. There's still more white people than black people, period. Yeah. Like, black people, the percentage wise, it's like we're like 13%. I that's think, not right? changing yeah. until like 2042 where everybody's Yeah, Mexican. it's like there's a long time. Nigga. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's going to take a while. And even then, they're not black. They're going to be, they gonna be yeah. mixed. They're going to be Mexican yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's like, because the Mexicans might take over. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, if you just want ultimate power where even though they want to cancel you, like they always want to cancel Dave Chappelle and they can't, you just have to win the most people. Win the and people. Just winning black people is not enough on any level. You have to win, you have to have. 
Yeah, some everybody Mexicans, included. like gotta have everybody included. A in couple there. of the enemies. Yeah, a yeah. lot of the enemies. A couple of the ops. Yeah, Most of the yeah, yeah. Shit, a, lot a lot of, of ops. Uh, I need about forty percent of the ops. Because remember what Dave Chappelle said in one of his stand-ups? He said, "What if I said white people can't come here?" He's like, "Boom, number one, that'd be fucked up, but number two, that would destroy my bottom line." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like nigga, I would lose my life. That's hilarious. If I if I didn't let white people in here, nigga, I'd be going home with twenty five hundred, nigga. That's the issue. Crackers gotta come. And uh, Christopher also felt the need to add that he asked that question before the Cat Williams Club Shay Shay debacle. Cat the goat. Shout out to Cincinnati. Is that where Uh, Cat's from? I I have no idea. Out to Cincinnati. I yeah, don't Cincinnati. Not remember. I don't even think Cat Williams remember, but oh, he had asked us another question. I think. Mm. Uh, no, that's what what I just said was that little. Yeah, that was that, that was that yeah. back. That was that yeah. extra part. He yeah. annotated it. No, I think it did. I see you're working a hundred. Thanks for answering my questions a couple of weeks back. Shout out to the gang. The work is acknowledged. I see why Patreon is going up. That's see, a rumor. I see why Patreon money is going up. That's a rumor. Office hours, your favorite comedian beefs, <laughs> Kevin Hart, Cat Williams, yeah. and top, and and top said, three funny but disrespectful comedians. Top three funny Ooh, but disrespectful. Top three comedians. funny Ooh. and disrespectful. Patrice, but, uh, I bet it was Patrice disrespectful. Maybe. Well, I'm going. Oh, say, funny but disrespectful. Paul Mooney. I didn't see the. Yes, I, I yeah, think we're going for like the Paul violent Mooney. niggas, like Paul, yeah, Paul, Paul Mooney. Mooney, Eddie Griffin, Eddie Griffin. Yeah. I, well. Yeah. I would give it more to Ari Spears and Eddie Griffin, but I guess you could put Eddie Griffin in there. You'll give it to Ari Spears before. In terms of Hannibal funny Burst. but disrespectful, it's a like that's a very specific question. Hannibal Burris isn't really disrespectful. He's not too he just had that. Nah. He just had that Bill Cosby moment, and that was still a joke. Yeah, yeah, it that wasn't, wasn't even. He I don't even think he knew. What no, was no, about he that. didn't know that was. He didn't know he was going to do that either. Um, Ari, yeah, Corey Holcomb, fuck a- it. Andrew Schultz. Corey Holcomb can probably be disrespectful. Oh, yeah. Andrew Schultz is definitely Andrew disrespectful. Schultz. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. sure. Yeah, that's Andrew a Schultz. great definitely one. Definitely disrespectful. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Andrew Schultz. Patrice O'Neill. Sorry, not Patrice O'Neill. Paul Mooney. Yeah, no, nah, take Patrice Mooney. out. Yeah, Paul Mooney. Mm. Andrew Schultz. We just said two other niggas. I forgot Bill their Burr? names. Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Richard Pryor. I mean, that's old though. Bill Burr. Bill, Bill Burr. Burr. I that, would what do we mean by disrespectful? Because the know. more the more names we have to the list, the more I'm like, um, this, just the caveat is changing for him. Like I'm thinking more will, like a nigga that's make it real uncomfortable in here. Real uncomfortable. That which oh, yeah. is why I said Eddie yeah. Griffin. Yeah. Like yeah. if white people's in the room, they're probably gonna make it real uncomfortable. Yeah. It's gonna get real yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. I yeah. thought we meant niggas who are like just. But Bill Burr has that Philly rant though. Yeah, that set, that yeah. fourteen minute Philly ram. Where yeah, he's like, he said, "Fuck I, Philly." Yeah, Bill Burr's a good one. Yeah, Bill Burr's a good one. Yeah, a good I one. almost said him too. Mm-hmm. Bill Burr's a good one. Hey, you said top three. We gave you like six. So, uh, yeah. I guess that suffices. <laughs> Do y'all have any other comedian beefs? Uh, any other comedian Kevin Hart is definitely my favorite. But it's it's who, probably been so many. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who else. Who Mike Epps beef with? Beef with? He was beefing with somebody, right? That's the thing. I forgot who said this, but was beefing with somebody for a while. There was a comedian that was like. Nigga, most comedian beefs are just like, you know, within us. Yeah, like this yeah. is the only time that like it gets this big, yeah. which is why it's this big. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah, but they it's Joe not Rogan and well, um, Carlos like, Mencia. Yeah, Who? honestly, it feels like Carlos none of them Mencia. like each other really. That nigga stole from everybody. Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah it, it feels like there's clicks. And Ooh. those clicks do not, in in comedy. Yeah, there's clicks, and those clicks normally don't fuck with each other. I think Dave Chappelle put it best. He was like, "Nigga, I can't. I don't like watching other comedians because that's like watching somebody fuck your bitch. Like, mm, I fuck yeah. her way better than that." Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. got you. Okay, mm-hmm. that's pretty good actually. Yeah, that kind of ends it all right there. Yeah, Shout out does. to Goat. <laughs> right, office hours. You want to read this, Jay, nigga? I mean, I guess because you don't. What I tell you, niggas, y'all number two. Y'all I'm number not two. All these shits. Well, can I? Are you going to, after the J? After the JBP, I listen to hella pods, and this show is the one that covers exactly what I'm looking to see get covered. Niggas on the JBP Patreon salute. Uh, there wasn't a question, but you know, thank you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love the support. That's um, real love, nigga. Crowd of spaces. Hey, what's the, up with the, the, the question? The was niggas is? on the JBB Patreon? So the answer is yes. And what's up with the ninja emoji? Yeah. What does that mean? Nigga. Hopefully, S- nigga. But just mm-hmm. salute niggas. Salute uh, nigga. Yeah. Salute nigga. I would have yes. put the exclamation marks after the nigga. He could be white too, which is why. I, well, nah, nah, he said nigga. Nah. And you better not be the white. The skin tone that he chose for the ninja. <laughs> you never know, yeah. nigga. The skin tone was very black. It was very melanated. But yeah, yeah. Joe wrote, I mean, Joe Biden, I mean, it was as crazy as y'all think it is, honestly. Yeah, it was. 
Honestly. Hashtag office, office, oh, go office, c- c- Congrats on the <laughs> Joe Button Pod. I feel like a proud classmate watching y'all skip a grade. AJ, what's your history with tap dancing? And <laughs> how many Patreon subscribers would it take for us to see you tap dance for the white man? Oh, uh, Jesus so Christ. Why did one, they make it erotic, though? I don't know why they did that. I don't. I would have literally just gave you a basic answer mm-hmm. if you didn't add the white man. But since you want to make it gay. <laughs> since you want to make it gay. <laughs> well, if you're tap dancing in front of a crowd, it's probably going to be some white dudes in there. Yeah. Uh, depends on what era you live oh, in. Y'all don't got to make yeah. it homosexual, I think man. he's just talking about how much it's going to take for you to sell out. Yeah. Oh, see, oh, we oh, white man, yeah. we think Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. why is he yeah. throwing Lauren but in there? But he, 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 said that that way. he said it that way because I'm here, more yeah. than gotcha. likely. But he's trying to do a little double entendre. He's a rapper. Two such just. I see you, bro. Two such. Oh, he be commenting off them too. I remember Always, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know Shout if he's a rapper. Shout out Two Sus Just. I made that up. Two Sus Just. I wonder who gave him that name. <laughs> two, two, two Sus. <laughs> two Sus. <laughs> who gave him that? <laughs> the profile right. picture is crazy too. With look the at context. those. Look how black those emoji hands are. That nigga's dark skin. Yeah, nah. Uh, he's not he's playing. African. It's a lot going on in this comment. He got three tens <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> kicking back in. Nah, yeah, but uh, we kicking back in. We stepping on necks. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Mm-hmm. There's no Timberland emoji. I thought there was a Timberland yeah. boot emoji. AJ boots, has a, a long history with tab dancing. Yeah, I do. A long uh, history with the arts. Illustrious. Yeah, I've been in the arts literally my whole life. So, uh, violin, tap dance. Let's see. How many Patreon subscribers would it take? I'll never tap dance for the white man. That's number one. Um, you tap dance for the black woman, though. I tap dance to get paid. Uh, how many worse. Patreon subscribers? <laughs> it's not for free. You supposed to take that live, nigga. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not <laughs> tap dancing for no black woman either. I'm tap dancing if I feel like oh, it. Fuck you, bitches, too. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, <laughs> when the music's good, I'll tap I will tap. <laughs> I will tap dance for ten thousand Patreon subscribers. You pay for play. Yeah. How many? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. okay. 10,000 Patreon subscribers. Remember that number. Everybody yeah, who's everybody here now, remember that remember number. Remember that Don't number. even bother. I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to be at that motherfucker 999. for Nigga, do you have your routine together? We'll you know yeah. 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 Get the wax. Yeah. Yeah. Clip yeah. this we'll, up for eight months. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. 10,000 Patreon subscribers <laughs> and... I will drop a video tap dancing. AJ's getting busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see elite footwork. Yeah, you can see will. why he has all that toe dick staring. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like grabbing the ground with Hell his feet. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga lying on his feet. Uh, Maybe I'll put uh, it in a music video or something like uh, that. Yeah, that would be crazy. Really but world. you got to play a character. Yeah, yeah. Don't be AJ when you do it. That should fuck around be a commercial. Yeah, yeah, make that like, shit. yeah some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> that should be I'll funny. make it happen. <laughs> 10,000 subs, though. And it's like, you could tell he actually talented, too. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, the way he's like a chilling and shit. I ain't like, running from I'll it. Do it. I ain't running from shit, so I'll you, do it. You don't got to warm up or nothing. I need 10, though. Oh, my God. Oh, I need, I need that 10K. You They're know not even going to know what they're looking at. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Literally. laughs> so fucking fast. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, who is this man? Oh, uh, that's it, though, right? Yeah. yeah that's yeah, the show. That's, that's the end of the office hour. So... Yeah, Office Hours. Yeah, another great episode. <laughs> That's how we got in the show. When we're tired. recording this late. Yeah. yeah. But um, how long was it? How show? many hours is that long? Ah, Three we hours. Don't, yeah. 3.15. The use. You know, look, we say this all the time. Like, really appreciate y'all for, like, even coming and supporting. Again, shout out to all the new fans, all the new supporters, wherever y'all want to call yourselves. Class we going to call y'all students, yeah, but, you know, mates. wherever y'all want to call yourselves. Don't call but yourself fans. Call yourself supporters. Fans overall. Are, fans are fanatics. Students. Classmates. All right. Fans scholars. Guy. Call yourself scholars. Fuck it. Scholars. Yes. That sounds good. Nice Hopefully ring. y'all that smart. Y'all can't all be valedictorians, but somebody got to do it. And like we said, Patreon is $5 right That's now. Perfect. It's a couple smart niggas in the comments like, yeah, you know, shit about the rise, you know, inflation and shit. We just right. dropped the hour it's 30 smart. on there, too, so, you know. Really, yeah, we gave y'all the Patreon was four deep. hours and 30 today. We oh, okay. Four hours and 30 yeah. Consecutively. And we're talking about the New Jersey One trip. Break. Yeah, yeah the we're talking N- about the Joe Budden the trip. The NY trip, you know yep, what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that Patreon was extensive today. That yeah. Was a whole, that was a whole podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it really was. You know, mm-hmm. this is what we do, Not nigga. a single footprint. <laughs> but as always, office hours, any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments down below. We're going to get to it. But another beautiful episode. Thank you for watching. It's been good. It's been great. Jay Nobles. Tone Groove. AJ the Menace. White man behind the boards. Yeah. We out.
Oh, that's the best bell right there. That means the bus is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go home.